told me bam, that was bam, insanely bam. offensive. What, what did <laughs> oh tell my you? God. Because I'm sure we've got all of our dev stories because you know he's got a mouth on him. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, go on. Well, tell go us on. the crazy story. What did he what say? Was... Wait. There was Sitch, no story. I made Wait, it Sitch, all. Are up. you also streaming this? It looks like you are. No. What? What? No, Adam and Sitch are premiering <laughs> something. They're trying to compete with this stream. Oh, oh they're competing. They're... Wait, there's time slot listen. stealers. I'm not even. I, that was not me. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. That shit. It was me. <laughs> it was all me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it was me, this Barry. You Adam under the bus. Yes. Like, yeah, my employee. Fuck this guy. The eighth. It was book. our editor. All right. Fuck uh, yo. Fuck yo. Yeah, go away. So hit the where hit the button. Let's talk about um. Well, I mean, yeah, how yeah do we, we should describe this. We should this jump right into it. Well, oh, are you talking to someone else, or should I get going right, on the vinyls? Vinyls? Uh, no, you, you do you. you okay. You yeah. read the room and follow the you know trail to happiness. Here I go doing mm. me. All right, everybody. All right. As you've yep. heard on Real BBC slash other places, I've been awkwardly trying to explain when things will happen because we've had delays all over the place. It's been a nightmare. But I can tell you mm. that without a doubt, well, I guess first and foremost, the information, I feel like the thing they're going to be wanting to know the most is the video. The Quantumania video is indeed coming out Saturday. <gasps> Guaranteed Yay! now. There's, there's literally nothing I could imagine that would stop it that is within reason. You know, so there's a couple things that could stop it, like Voldemort, but I don't know if he's... Is he real? Which one's real of all the... I think he died, right? Oh, did he die? Yeah, so we should be good on that. I think he died. Yeah, but um, he's back He has now. no nose. He has no... Oh. He can't even smell my video. He does smell. <laughs> Nothing. He oh, he smells it. awful. That's true. Well, Smelly. so there's that, and if that's happening, then yes, you guys have figured it out. That means that we managed to get the thing we were talking about. To happen. I'm I'm gonna do it in a cool way. Look, I'll, I'll spook him out with this first. You got You guys got to boot up the stream, okay? It's like, what's this? What's happening here? Look at that. Oh my, okay. Oh let my me, God. Look at this image. What could this possibly be? It says coming soon. Oh my. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Is it, wow. oh, oh my God. It's look, Pikachu. It changed. It's a different one. Who's this? What's Squirtle. Here? That's probably yeah. That must. Be oh wow. One. Look at that boy. Oh. Oh, wow. oh that's oh, Pikachu. There's another one. Oh my goodness. So terrifying. Oh wow. What's happening? I who knows? Ooh. Okay, I'm sure it doesn't speak for this time. My god. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this one. It's spinning. I don't have a spinning one for all of us. <laughs> I only have the spinning one for Whoa. me. How intense. What could this be? It's the thing. Wow, it's spinning. It's spinning at the at the Red Dead Redemption remake frame rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full FPS. This is the launch of the EFAP. Final figures. Whoa. That's yeah. true. It's finally here. The day oh has God. arrived. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, good. Look at those guys. Hold on, hold on. When you said vinyl oh. before the stream, I thought you meant like actual records. Why? What, Stop, what is, all of you old why? people. <laughs> why? Yeah, like how how many hours do you think you can put on a vinyl record? <laughs> like, it's like you're just like gonna release vinyls of your old episodes for people <laughs> who want to collect them. We can even put yeah, for one people on who want to see an eighth. So for people who want to see an eighth of an EFAP, they can buy an entire <laughs> record for it. Yeah. I can't yeah, tell if Dev stole my joke. I said before the stream. Or he did steal it. That. It's his now. Or did he actually believe that? No one will. No, believe I actually it was believe yours. that wasn't a joke. <laughs> Listen, I've seen. Oh, I've seen people sell some weird shit on vinyl. Okay, like you. So I, I thought you were actually going down this road. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. No, right, vinyl figures. All right, cool. That's what they are. And look at them, ain't they swell? Isn't I think they swell. Look at them. They're awesome. pretty <laughs> sweet. They'll come with like a little thing that everyone's holding. I got my my precious, precious film reel piece because I'm, I'm looking right into the, the a scene. Rags has got his poppied corn because he's watching a movie or something. I love popcorn. Popcorn is an apex snack. And then every way better than poop corn. My signature green goo. Beautiful. Mm. What is that goo, by the way? Well, it's, it's hey, look, you it's, can get green with a little vinyl figure. Yeah, you, know? you can finally oh, you inspect it. See what this is right. going on here. Well, I mean, you could with the with the plushies. Open it as up. Well, but see what's inside. Yeah, with the vinyl. Now you got now you got a vinyl one. God, yeah. I have a fringy plushie looking right at me while I'm sitting here from my shelf, judging me. 
Yeah, I've got you lot. I'm just off to the right there, worshipping a marker. That's wrong. Look, they come with wonderful packaging, too. Look at this image here. Look, look, look at that. Oh, look, wow. oh my god, look at the rags one. It's like here a, it is. It's Oh, wow, look at that. It's all nice and look look lovely looking. Look at him in there. It's sleek. He's just waiting. He's, He's just yeah. waiting. Ready to be collected and stacked with others. Look at that fringy one. Yeah. Wow. Can I mint wow. them and sell them for 5 million euros? Yes, they come with mints. Oh, wow, look at them. Uh, look. Sorry, right, they don't come with mints. No, but uh, like look at that. They're stamped as well to be one of three of the EFAP collection. That's what they are. You own them all. You become a true fapper. Which isn't that what we all want, ultimately? Mm. I think so. I'd say so. So I think I'm these are, are gorgeous and beautiful. And I reckon you guys uh, should check them out. However, of course, if you well, aren't interested, like briefly, that might work against your favor as these are hyper exclusive. They, Limited time only. They run away from the whole world once they're gone. I doubt they're going to be coming back. It's uh, it's not quite like the plushies where you'll probably get different ones as time goes on as we kind of design different ones. Uh, there's there's uh, not a huge expectation that the vinyls will have a second run. So these, like I said, are hyper exclusive, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't Super get these, special. you will be out of luck. You'll never have anything like them. Mm-hmm. I've already picked so mine The campaign up, is available for... 28 days. So that is true. Uh, I can't even count that far. The timer begins. Oh, yeah. And it's okay, I can count for you, Mel. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with that. Look at I'm that. Sure On the website, that. they spin. Woo! Whoa! You get a nice 360 degree look at them. Yeah. Don't spin too fast or they're going to puke. They can handle it. Oh, okay. Long creatures are more than capable. Right? Yeah, we're quite happy with how these turned out. They're gorgeous. Honestly, they are super impressive. These look great. Yeah, I think that I think they look great. Um, they're real neat. We'll obviously let you guys know as time goes on what's going on with them, what's happening with them. Uh, if you buy them together, you get yourself a little discount, fifteen percent. It's true. It's not too bad. I um, mean, that's hey, that's a that's a decent amount. And That's 10 um, plus five percent. Yeah, links in the description. If you want to go check these boys out? Um, though we shall be moving right along because we've got quite a set of things to check out today. We've uh, we've dragged. Talk about links. YouTube broke all the uh, basically all the links again that are YouTube links. Do any of them work? <laughs> do uh, the, do the vinyl see. ones what? work at least? Yeah, those ones work. Just all the oh, ones that God. have the, like fr Fringies is fine. Uh, but the other rags is works, even though it has the numbers now. But oh, the, all the ones that have like an ad before them <sighs> change them back to <laughs> every <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Great faster. feature, YouTube. I'm glad you put that in. Getting faster. At, I was about to say faster at fixing them, but it's like no, this might not even fix them, so I shouldn't speak so soon. <laughs> um, we'll try this. Probably. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Cool. Thanks, YouTube. Very cool. <laughs> why, though? Like, why do they have a system that they want you to use and doesn't work? That feels... I don't know. ...wrong. I think it's just like pretty you sure can put YouTube slash at rags. It should just pop up. Just have it. Like, it, yeah. just do it. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, That's it's really it. weird because if you, if you click on it and then move along, it breaks. But if you put it all in and then just do double space and go to yeah. the next line, it works. It's... Stupid as shit. That is actually fucking retarded, wow. I think what happens is the ad plus username is already li a link in itself. So if you put the link Maybe. after the link, it breaks. That would be my, my oh, IT uh, idea. Looks like they need to fix that shit now, don't they? I yeah. agree. They have Google money. They should be able to do this. That is, is, a that, is that fixed now? Are things <laughs> better? Let things me see. not I'll, cringe? I'll check for you. I mean, I can't say that, but that I mean, looks good. Oh, don't eat the vinyl. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, I would yes, need to say please. that, but please the don't. It's all working and twerking mutually. Right. It's all good. Wonder fuel. Did your manufacturer ask you to say that? They're like, listen, you have to say this. We're going to do this. <laughs> it's part of the contract. We are asking them. <laughs> do not eat the vinyls. The popcorn. It's not real popcorn. Do not do it, please. What? I ate the plushy one. You can eat the plushy, Wait, I there, guess. Uh, was there, pop was there yes, popcorn? Maybe the I'm... Yeah, oh yeah. no, Rex plushy one had a beer. Never mind. I lied. Do not 
do not put them into a jar. Do not. Let them, well, I don't think you're they like could a fit, year too late, right? You'd have to get a big <laughs> jar. Also, wait, you guys had plushies at one point, eh? Uh huh. I think yeah, I'm gonna two plushies. They had two already. Those crazy. I still people. have them. Yeah, I watched, but yeah. Still, yeah. Oh, I missed that. I missed the. I got the uh, Adam and Sitch plushies, but I missed the run of your guys. Sorry. Oh. Oh, right. I wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. You, both of the you know who Dev ours. really likes. Yeah, I, I mean, guess we you do. Know, you just, just You should have saved that both. for the end of the stream. Yeah. See, I'm a real friend. I have all of both of them. I also oh, nice. have all of both True. of them. Did I ever tell you guys that someone on tw uh, when I posted a picture that I got those all someone uh, tweeted at me is like oh that's what parasocial relationship looks like and I was like yep <laughs> those are people I hang out with that's <laughs> happening <laughs> next time you and I watch like a whole TV show on the same sofa we'll be like parasocial baby <laughs> uh, cringe metal cringe <laughs> um cringe. all right uh, so yes we're very happy with those check them out while you can uh, they we'll look great in the description. We'll them all for the discount. You got them all together, you got a discount. And that's that swell. Right. It is swell. All of the swell. I think it's swell. Yeah. The more I look at them, the more that I'm like, wow, these look really good. Real, real slick. Can't wait to mm. have them on my desk. I Which just ones? bought some. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we tricked him. <laughs> oh, no. We got There's parasocialness. No <laughs> <laughs> we parasocialed you. <laughs> Okay, here's the watch together link. Everyone, jump in because we're gonna, alone, some, uh, we're gonna need some. Gonna a little bit of context for this. Uh, this is this right? Because this is the sequel to. This is the, the sequel to a sequel react. to a sequel to a sequel. Really? Yep. So, <laughs> this is the first time I'm on uh, these React War things. By the way, I just realized. My Walker of the React saga. Oh no, well, you didn't <laughs> make missed... it to any of the uh, the trilogy. No, the that's I, I I didn't. I ranted on uh, on it on my streams randomly because I watched the EFAPs on that, <laughs> and I because oh, it was. Do you need a TLDR game. of what's going on? Oh no, I I know what's up. I know what's up. I just okay. just not on on the EFAPs. Well, this I, is I definitely missed all a, of them um, somehow. <laughs> this is definitely a previously on because it all. I think we did Hassan, then we did Irrelevant Denims and Hassan. No, 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 Hassan. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, and I then, thought you were in order. And then we did, uh, of course, the newer, the newer stuff, which is two debates that happened, and then covering um, sort of XQC in a general sense with these lads. And now we we had something happen, which was uh, H three H three Ethan Klein went head to head with uh, with XQC. That was a huge event on the internet. Everyone went it was, nuts. Yeah, it, it was crazy. quite the meeting of the mind. There was fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Good one. And uh, literally everyone was like, what the fuck is going to happen if these two are talking to each other? And, you know, we're going to find out today. But before we do that, is I've, I've, just, I've, I've managed to intertwine some clips oh, here and there classic. from the past. Oh, from our future. first React art. Crimbo. Uh, we've even got maybe a, one or two surprises in here. We got plenty of fun to watch, all right? So surprises. get ready for I'm some excited. efab deception here. Don't worry, your eyes Whoa. do not deceive you. You're fine. Uh, all right, is I everyone ready to gonna... start? This is just uh, oh, these, these eclipses are from the yeah, past. Yeah, let's get it. Some highlights oh, wow, I'm, of I'm the good excited. Times. Be still, my heart. Yeah. <laughs> the title of this video. Yeah, uh, don't draw attention to it. <laughs> They're about <laughs> to get the context for that. Don't you worry. Okay. Okay, YouTube I'm content is there. Man. Hang on. I should have I should have had some like nothing before this because it wouldn't go back. Come on. Your right. YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about, dude. Let's be oh, straight no. about it. This is <laughs> the classic. I remember that uh -oh. one. Classic. A classic line. Not the most classic line from this art, oh. but a classic line. No, and mm -hmm. and it was it's with uh, that was like our first understanding of like oh shit. They blatantly steal, and it's like, yeah, this is something that you yeah. should probably come to understand straight away is that they don't have any qualms yeah, about this it. This is Twitch culture, man. This is yep. streamer culture. Yeah, I don't follow these. Well, people I don't even around. want to say streamer is he, culture. Is he? Is is that guy still around? Is he still yeah. doing things? Are relevant? Are relevant sure. is still around? Yeah. Man, it just shows you how people just don't give a shit to watch those guys. Right? Holy shit! <laughs> Stitch, wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness! Wow. The, what's this? I got literally wasted? an ad for your guys' <laughs> vinyl figure in the watch together. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. It's a sign. Everyone, buy them. <laughs> That's, That's funny. pretty funny. Uh, okay. 
What does take pride in your work mean? I don't know. There it is. The classic. Yeah. Oh, there uh, it is. What does it mean to take pride? That's in your that's work? that's one of those lines I I think about just randomly and, and th just things like <laughs> it yeah, just comes that. back into your mind every now and then. Just like wow. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said what, that. It's like, I don't know what that means. It's like, wow, I'm really gl glad you're a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like, like, what kind of person and, and what life have you have lived to not understand what taking pride in your own effort is? Well, because like, she not yeah. only doesn't understand it, she doesn't understand that she shouldn't let people know she doesn't understand. So, <laughs> it's a lot happening at once there. She's a stupid there. fool. Nobody even Bad cares when you're generous. So, like, why should I bother? You know what I mean? True. <laughs> Why should I be generous? Why should I be generous if I can't brag about it online? Ain't it great? Come on. Why be generous if I don't get anything out of it? Yeah. Yeah. Why should Why I, be should good I help if it my dad out me with, right now? What? Why should I help my dad with fuel or something? Nobody cares. <laughs> I often have to help my dad out with fuel. He often has fuel problems. Oh, fuel yeah, problems. There's like, there's like he two calls things me on the here, phone right? and says, Rags, because that's my name. And, he's, and I say, what is it? And he is says, it fuel again, I need Dad? fuel. fuel. I need again? fuel. I was like, oh, no, Dad's I mean, having fuel problems again. I feel like this is a lot more philosophical than you guys give her credit. She's asking, why be good when you don't receive anything in exchange? And that's, you know what? I mean, yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is a question why be good? Yeah. that you can yeah. ask. Yeah. You can do that if you want. Be good for goodness sake. She never heard the Santa song. Well, I think she's so gonna go down in history as one of the greater thinkers that offers another avenue. Be selfish. What about yeah. that? I have an issue with the song, though, because the song is like, you should be good for goodness sake, but it's also like, Santa will not give a fuck about you if you're not good. That's so, true. You know? Exactly. I mean, there is, I'm gonna there be is two good ways to look at it, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna start defending it. Don't you do it? Don't He's gonna, no, Dev is no gonna defend, defend the horrible <laughs> idea. We all know. But just before Dev, before you start with your explanation, you do agree that Santa Claus is real, right? <laughs> well, uh, hold on. Yeah, yes, Rags. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to your mom about it later. Okay, I almost sure. banned him. Talk, but to my, talk, to my, <laughs> talk to my mom about Santa. Yeah, but, yeah. Wow. Okay, so listen, listen. There, there's so, like, uh -huh. there's two ways that she's wrong. Obviously, right? Two ways. Because at on the least, one hand, at least, yes, there's a, there's two big ways I can think of. So on the one hand, it's like, well, obviously, when she says, "Why should I be good when I get nothing out of it?" That seems kind of, again, it seems kind of selfish. But also, <laughs> if like if you if you do good things to good people, they do generally reward you for it. So if she's doing good things and she's she's actually doing them, and she's around people who aren't rewarding her, even though the reward isn't necessary, you, you, you like it should be happening anyway if you're around good people, it also means that she's surrounding herself with bad people. Because like, if you I see, help one dev. of you guys, I don't, I don't expect you to, to help me out in the future, but you probably would anyway, you know what I mean? We would, yeah. You're saying and she doesn't have friends. You talk about this in your video. You talk about, like, <laughs> virtue ethics and how you have to, like, know it to see it, and... You know, like yeah. its effects are, you know, very, you know, so yeah, yeah it, it's that. probably it's probably because she's like living in L.A. and she's living in that in that streamer bubble. Right. Where everyone's just super backstabby. And there are no transactional. Well, it's, it's, uh, everything it's, is a business. It's, it's very clout brain, doesn't it? Well, I mean, why would I be yeah. generous? Is that clout involved? <laughs> Can I trade generosity for clout? Like, is it like is people it actual fun in that culture? Up? Do they all get switchblades for Christmas? Like, that's just what everyone gets. <laughs> nice and ready to go. From Santa, who totally exists. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he does exist. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> you said it weird, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah. this, uh, this, this weird sort of emphasis on certain portions of your sentences, it confuses me. It's a little strange. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Santa that exists, short for devastator? Never... Do you devastate people? Is that what you do? Do I devastate people? Is that it? <laughs> is that good? Santa, Santa the destroyer. Devastate. How come Santa's never given me a gift if he really exists? Okay. Um, oh shit. I don't want to be the one to tell him. Is anyone else? Uh -oh, Somebody explain I think you might be on the naughty list. Oh. Been a, wow. been a bad you, boy. Might, you might be on the naughty list. Yeah. I think Santa's just an anti Semite, honestly. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no you're definitely not getting any <laughs> Oh, oh Saint Nick. Why did you prove me oh. wrong, Santa? Oh, Give me a gift. on the naughty list. You called me an anti Semite. <laughs> he's just saying that he, he won't even bad. get Oh, he's like, Why did you do that? Why'd you say that? Why? Why did you, did you feel you did you feel like tonight. a big boy when you said that? Oh yeah, did you feel like a big <laughs> that the boy? That's the way Santa said it. <laughs> <laughs> we cut out all the ho ho hos, but that, that feels like, like a really Sean good skit because you just feel like, how did you get in, Santa? And he just interrupts you like, I don't think you should say mean things. 
I want him standing like up in the corner, <laughs> concealed in shadow. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Who are you and how did you get in? I'm Santa Claus. And I'm Santa Claus. I never left, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like yes. I don't understand. Yes. The, the, the bag yes. They're all classic. <laughs> the beauty. I have to stream your video or I'll die. It's my it's my fucking it's, it's favorite. It's classic. It's oh, I haven't heard it from his mouth in the while. That was no, I mean, fantastic. Can we listen to we that again? We can. <laughs> We got I don't so know. much. It from Nobody son. even cares when you're generous. So like, why should I bother? You know what I mean? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. He doesn't understand. It's true. <laughs> yeah. When what he says he doesn't understand, do? I believe him. He's, he's since it, moved on. Um, because he's. Uh, uh, I think he has a maid to cook the nuggies now. Boy, I thought that was his mom. No, it used to like basically sometimes the mum wouldn't be in to cook the nuggies, so he needed to oh. solve the problem. Um, because otherwise he'd die. Oh man. That reminds me. Did you guys see that one clip of XQC's stream where his maid I shows up to clean know his it. room? You know what? Oh, you know what? Let's screen. let's not talk about it yet. Let's not talk about it. Oh, oh, it's coming up. oh sorry. Sorry, I didn't know it was in here. The need to humiliate people, sometimes you need to make an example out of them. Oh, oh. So mean his arm. Wow. Sound like a nice person. Now, for wow. anybody who's relatively new to EFAP, go watch those older episodes about Assad, okay? After this one. They are <laughs> gold. Yeah, that was an crazy, crazy adventure. We're on a different adventure it's today, like though. fine wine. Those are old characters. We got a new one today. What about the pyramids? The pyramids? mids The pyramids? 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 The pyramids, man! What is wrong with this guy? Why are you making fun of me like that? I don't know no. if you're saying the pi pyramids? He doesn't actually pyramids? say that. Yeah, man, the fucking the cones, yo, the fucking... The, the, in the cones. Sand. <laughs> the what cones. the fuck is happening, Muller? We're four seconds in. He said the, the cones, cones in the sand. The sand the cones. The pyramid Rex. cones. The sand cones. Uh, That's what shape the pyramids goes. are. Now, now you might think that the pyramids are shaped like pyramids, but you're actually wrong. They're cones. Sand cones. You know what's funny? I, I said pyram pyramids back in the day, but I that's my second language. It's his second oh, language too, you racist. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wait, what? I thought he's, he's like from he's, Canada or something. Yeah, Quebec. French so Canadian. He speaks French. He's French Canadian, yeah. No, he's the same thing. See, so Metal, you'll have something. And, and to be fair, we make fun of Metal whenever he does that, so. Okay. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I'll also, say something, funny. however. Oh. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Uh, that's uh, our Metal. I can't believe you said that. Dill got it. <laughs> so, regarding uh, you being French Canadian, Right, mm -hmm. everyone says, "Oh, just his accent is the word choice." Like it's just he is not English, not, not his first language. Okay, man, people who have heard him speak French, he's just a schizophrenic. He's just all over the fucking place. It's just how he is. I think anyone who says, "Hey, he's just French Canadian," is coping pretty hard. It's obviously more than that. I think just <laughs> it's more than that. <laughs> Chat. Jam a man of fortune, <laughs> and Jay must man. seek my fortune. Henry Avery's, 1994. Night. Oh. Did he say 1924? Oh my God. Is he? Is he dyslexic or something? Listen, fortune. as much as it's the jam funniest thing ever, man. the jam one you could vaguely understand. You're like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's like, a, as yeah. a joke, he'd be like, oh, that kind of looks like jam, and it's a fun well, meme. Well, so this is the opening of Uncharted 4. Why would it be about jam? <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, man. Jam, yeah, man, man of fortune, and you must seek my fortune. Yeah, 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 like fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, yeah, not, like, what was it, 1994? He, he added <laughs> an Avery. S onto Avery, and he changed the 6 to a 9 to jam. It. It's, it's rather wonderful, jam. honestly. Jam, a man. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can only go yeah, by man, seconds. the fucking the cones, yo, the fucking the, in the, the sand. Cones. The cones in the sand. It sounds like a Thomas Jan, Dolby album. A man of fortune, <laughs> and Jay must seek my fortune. <laughs> we actually did say Jay. Henry Avery's, nineteen ninety four. It's just all wrong. <laughs>
It's great. I love but it. I, I was going to say, I prefer people do this <laughs> than read it. Jam a man. Jam a man of fortune. Like, this Jam is one of the funniest things I've seen like, recently. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> this is best content right here. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yeah. On his way. It's even original. So Crazy. What I'm going to say is I have a cook bottle, yeah? From the machine or some shit. I bring it back oh, up, no. right? And when I touch it, I don't get wet at all. Like, it, my hands are fine, right? But when I let it there, after a couple after a couple times, dude, I play the fucking game, I get it, and it's fucking full of water, dude. It's full of fucking water, dude. Look it's at that shit. This isn't real. Look at that. This is like a troll. Wait, you mean dude, condensation? It's, it's dripping. This is Look at troll, that shit. Right? It's... So you guys oh are all talking God. about this. What is it's that? not real. I refuse to believe this isn't re that this is real. He's, he is talking wrong. about something very annoying, which is that drinks just form water from nowhere, and it's annoying. Okay, I am agreeing with you. You know this totally when you're right. like three. You go, oh, uh, my cup get wet. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is a <laughs> well, weird phenomenon. Well, XQC wouldn't say it that eloquently, but yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how he explains this issue that no one else has noticed okay. yet. It's dripping. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> condensation. Okay. What about condensation? What about it? Comments. What does that shit fucking do? Oh my god. No! So fucking oh annoying. No. Condensation. I mean, at least, no. at least he's looking it up. I appreciate yeah, that's great. that. Like, Condensation. That's knowledge, yeah. That's, yeah, what that's right. Yeah. Water collects as droplets on a cold surface when humid hair is in contact with. So you make water. <laughs> the fuck? There's no water and then there's water. It, it just creates itself, huh? <laughs> so I, I presume that he is also unfamiliar with water what? vapor. So I just, I just <laughs> like. What the fuck? I like. You know that uh, ice is water. The infinite water machine. Does it not come across <laughs> as having someone problems. explaining like a game mechanics to you, and you find it unfair? Like, oh yeah, but that, that's dumb as fuck. Like, well, there's, yeah, there's, there's no water, annoying. and then there's water. Yeah. Okay, that's it's that's stupid. Like okay. God needs Jeez. to patch the game of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> this is some alchemy I see, shit. Like, the you look at XQC and like the gears are turning in his head, and he's like, "I could act. Oh, I could solve the world's, all the world's issues." He he goes to Africa. He's like, "How can I like, monetize this condensation?" Yeah, he, he's like a bunch of coke <laughs> bottles and just puts them out there in the open. Yeah, I'm gonna save water. you guys. There you go, water. Out I'm of going to. I'm going to save the world. We're going to make water out of nothing, guys. I'll save you all. I've discovered. Have it. you guys ever noticed that when you pick up something and then you not hold it anymore, it falls down? You, you yeah, that? Like, that's so that? annoying. What, uh, why is that that's, happen? There. That's de density. density. I have a good authority Wait, from many flat earthers. Google density. 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 Yeah, that's that's the density. demon called density. He's invisible yeah, and he drags that's... everything down to the floor. Yeah. Oh, and condensation is the guy who walks around invisible and throws he spits water on, on things. <laughs> you guys like <laughs> literally <laughs> gonna believe a phenomenon <laughs> that starts with pun? Little spray bottle and goes like licking the balls. Damn you, condensation! Actually, this reminds me of something now. Uh, believe it or not, there was actually a guy who had that complaint about gravity because what? He, he had spent like what? he spent like two or three years on the International Space Station, and the way he kind of organized his area is he just put things in the air and they stayed there because he's yeah. it's low gravity, right? So he's like, I'll, I'll just space. put you know my my two my toothbrush goes right here, just in the middle in the, of the air. He goes, <laughs> over here, like he had like his his area was like meticulously laid out of all this stuff just floating. And then when mm -hmm. he came back down, he, he kept doing it like just out of habit. <laughs> that's, that's he was totally like weird. breaking stuff. He like oh, he's like he, 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 he like he like grabs that's his that's shirt. Hilarious. I'm just like put it over here. He just drops it. Like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah. That's pretty funny. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> what space does to a motherfucker? Yeah. Right. Now we continue. Oh, so, context is. is this is just your run of the mill XQC stream, and he's uh he's got someone in the background, a maid doing some stuff, and he starts typing. Because normally, I'm not like embarrassed chat, so like I'm more social and shit and chill. But this time, there's a lot of fucking trash. A kig. Holy fucking. <laughs> I'm like how much trash Sally shy. So how much trash do you generate? You're just one you just guy. Throw on the ground. The thing you about just, it, well, just throw it away. I have a so bin like had, right next to me, so that doesn't I happen. I might have That's had a trouble, crazy invention you can buy. <laughs> might have had trouble buying it, but when I saw the pictures of Asmongold's room, I was like, oh. So this is apparently not too far from normal for a lot of streamers. 
They will Why? order food and drink, yeah, and then they will finish it, and then it will be tossed in the room in there that they are in. Um... I don't know how this develops, because I'm sure all of you are thinking, like, but why would you want to do that? That's not something you want to do, because then it'll smell, or it'll be there. You're going to leave the room yeah, at some point. Just grab it with you and put it in the kitchen or in the fucking bin outside. It's yeah, not that hard. Like I, I understand, like, leaving it there during the stream, but then when you're done, yeah, yeah, sure. you get up and you put it in a garbage can. As you can see, they've gathered yeah, I... many large bags to collect his waste, and, uh, well, he's feeling embarrassed about it. You should get a well, fucking bill for your a grown desk. man, allegedly. Yeah. Well, well, allegedly. well, yeah. So, firstly, firstly, you're an adult. You should clean up after yourself. You should clean up after yourself. Secondly, let's say you're very busy because you have a very successful business, which, to be fair, he does. You can't clean up after yourself. You hire a maid. Okay, make sure the maids don't come during the stream. Like, do some. No, scheduling. like saying that you yeah, have a big obviously. business implies that you like produce things, and maybe there's like. <laughs> Like byproducts of the manufacturing process. I'm giving process. him the benefit of the doubt. No, this is byproducts that? of the manufacturing process. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's manufacturing content and he... he's producing trash, both on screen and off screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got it. Full circle. But yeah, I, I've heard from a, from a lot of a lot of streamers that this is just kind of normal. Like, I, I mean, Destiny's talked about it, though his it house is not be. that is, is not that dirty. But like Asmund Gold, as you be. see, yeah, a lot of these streamers, they just. They're ordering food constantly. They're like ordering from Amazon constantly. The boxes just pile up in the corner till it takes over their house. And they all have to go through like regular. And you know, to be fair, I've definitely had times oh, where like boy. I've been working like a 16 hour day and I, I've left something out for the next day. It's like, gosh, I, I should have thought no, that. No, that's out fine. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. fine. I knew you'd like, do that. Yeah, I knew just... you'd describe something normal and try and squeeze it into this. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes you don't throw <laughs> yeah. everything away immediately? He's like, yes, that's normal. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's nothing to I'm going to give yes. you. I'm going to give you Dev's law, okay? Oh, okay. boy. De uh, Dev's uh, law of human behavior. Yeah, Every uh, okay. abnormal behavior is actually just an extension of normal behavior, just taken to the extreme. Well, obviously, that's true. Yeah. So, like, good, good job. basically, these people, <laughs> streamers are just doing what normal people do, just a lot more of it, right? So it's not normal oh. then, right? A lot of it in the most, in like a lot of it in the most. You see, see abnormal behavior is just normal behavior, but ab. Well, like hoarding <laughs> is like you. Like, no, I mean, like hoarding is like you know we all get objects, right? We buy things, but hoarders just buy a lot of things and get a lot of things and just stack it up in the rooms until they die and suffocate, or something. Yeah, whatever happens to when hoarders. I or murder like, someone, it falls on them. When yeah, I murder then, someone, yeah. that's just like an abnormal version of not liking them, okay? So it's basically the same thing. <laughs> you have to understand, it's really normal saying. for us to eat stuff. Just for him, he eats a lot and doesn't put things away. That's all. Yeah, or someone who's morbidly people. obese just eats too much. Like this woman in, that, in the video that he's looking at here with the massive gunt. Uh, well, well, the, uh, to be fair, since, 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 since I am morbidly obese, yes, the, that's the, how it is, guys. Furtive gunt. I name my blood there we go. She's pregnant. <laughs> she's not pregnant. Pregnant. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm I trying hope to she's pregnant. This <laughs> pregnant. I'm not trying to excuse this behavior. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that, like, it, it. If you put yourself in their shoes, it becomes a bit more understandable how they can no. get themselves in this position. We don't Absolutely like your good not. faithness here. Okay, this is bad faith time. Okay. Well, there's no, no way I'm going to have all analogy. this trash around me and then have someone come and pick it up after me. Fuck that. Well, I was about to say, yeah. so that's yeah, that's understanding the situation. That's not the reason this clip was shown, like, all over the yeah, fucking like, internet. First Something off, else yeah. happens. Given minorities' okay. jobs and stuff is kind of, you know, you should, <laughs> you you should just do that yourself. Well, what do, what do they think, you know? Because they can read. It's bags and bags! It is. Oh. Yeah, it's, there's two people picking that shit up. They've been cleaning for years. I don't even know what to say. Look, she's oh, no. looking. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Listen, oh. just because you're living in Las Vegas and she's brown doesn't mean that she can't fucking read English. You, well, I mean, it's it's like the well, most. I mean, you, you write all around that. Around here, it's a toss up. For but, some yeah. reason, you believe she's just not gonna look and not gonna read, and then she does both of those things, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ!" Uh, Maybe he thinks that he's the only person Art who could see his own screen. Night. Wow. Yeah. The best part to me, that a lot of people didn't share this part of the video, is the, his reaction after this. Drop the knife now! <laughs> Drop it. Body cam oh, video shows the suspect barely moving oh my or even responding. 
I, I, find, no. I do find that whole encounter strange. Why can't he talk to them? I don't know. Yeah, why don't you say hi? Why don't you say you thank say, you? Do I, or do you say, like, yeah. hey, can you not do this right now? No, I, I don't even, By the way, we, I'm super we, rich. We, I'm going to give you a bonus today because we, I'm we so can, fucking filthy. No, we could yeah. we could just move past that. I'm just I don't know why the whole exchange played out that way. Oh yeah, he, well, uh, uh, he was he was cripplingly shamed because of the insane amount of trash. Like he couldn't speak to them. Even. No. Uh. Okay. Yeah. But I, I mean, you know, you should probably get over that quickly because they're gonna they, that has to be dealt with. You know, what I mean? it's just like, well, that's what it is. Hi, how you doing? You know, things are good. Yeah. Great. I was like. Either you learn wow. how to take care of yourself, Body cam video or if you, if shows Jenny, you don't have suspect. time, just be comfortable with paying them to do it. Because that's their job. Right. Like, they're professionals. You're a professional. Like, do, do the work, you know? Also, just obviously, the PSA, we need to let everyone in chat know if they didn't already. But when you bring stuff to your room to eat or drink, when you leave that same room, you can take it with you and put it in bins or repair it yep. to go out with the, the trash, as they say. You know, these are all options you, you still have. I have a Wait, bin what? right next to me. It's crazy. It works so well. You can just yeah. put stuff in there, and when it's full, you can grab the bag and put it somewhere else. Preferably yeah. outside in the big bin. <laughs> yeah, everyone I mean, in chat listen. is question marking me. They don't know what I'm talking about. What has happened? The West has fallen. This guy West didn't know what condens <laughs> this guy didn't know what condensation was. You're expecting him to understand <laughs> that he can like pick up trash and take it to a different room. At least he knew what the cones and the sand were. Um, so that's dead. well, he might he he might that's not true. know about condensation. But he knows a lot about what? What's the similar word? Con? What? What's the word I'm thinking? Condescension. People were saying con condescension. Con it's like when you yes. condescend. That's too light, rags. Condescension. Con. It's too light. Wow. Yeah, it's really like conservation. So close. He's conserving his trash. Con. No. Nice. Wait. Say that word. Con I condensation is fucked up my mind. <laughs> condensation. <laughs> Your mind is condensation. <laughs> it's so the word condensation is like a magnet, a, a gravity magnet. It's like a black hole, and it's sucking every similar sounding word into itself. So when I'm thinking mm. about conden condescension, <laughs> condensation, condensation, is I think of condensation. The concentration is that falling of into the, the concentration. The no, no, contemplation. Contemplation is good. It might just be con. It might just be con conflagration. On, so, yeah. no, those are fine. Con Conflagration's all good. It's condescension because it's so close to condensation. Con uh, condescension. See, it's like a <laughs> magnet. It's sucking away my Barely ability to say that word. Or even responding to. It's like the hologram in Halo. You're so this is uh, his his intentions with the H three H three debate. As, uh, Destiny asked him, what, what, what's his goal? Goal for the Ethan debate. Are you trying to, like, have a good conversation and everything? Or are you conversation? trying to... Conversation? Um, oh, no. <laughs> are you just trying to, like, get a big own on him? Big own. Okay. Why would you say this? <laughs> like, why would you admit this? A big on? He's gonna get a big own. That. That's, that's his on. goal. Why would you... Why would you admit beforehand that you're not coming into this in good faith? I don't... Oh, that's, oh, his, oh, that's, his, wait, wait, that's his appeal. It's you don't cause, understand. Because he's, he's dumb. No, his appeal to his audience is that he's just going to be a big asshole. I guess okay, that's... But I mean, yeah. I guess the Don't worry, guys, you, I'll be a jerk. If you're trying to win people over, which presumably he would want to do, this mm -hmm. makes it a lot harder when you admit from the get-go that you're not that interested in having a real conversation. But it would also be worthwhile to know, like, as much as that appeals to his audience, they would have been appealed anyway. He doesn't need to say it, but now he's knocked off all of H3's audience, who their interest is much and more in the substance of... People. Yeah, not true. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter, right? It's still going to be on the substance. So, Jimmy, you feel I, because I think, here's what I think. I think people get jaded from a lot of things, and that's okay. It's just human nature, right? And I think, I think his lawsuit jaded them about a lot of things. About I think all the people who are listening to this as a vod on times two just went, what? What, what was what was any? It? It's like yeah, you not be able to watch this on times two. I'm sorry. You, yeah, you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna have to one x your way through this one, baby. Sorry. React content. And, and uh, transformative content. I think it's molding. He's looking to get to really get a win. It's an emotional win, not a rational one. Ah, and so I think I can get him on. Make sure it's molding when something bad happens to you. I'm sure there's some like Aristotle quote or Marcus Aurelius what? quote about yeah, molding. Yeah, said, molding is human molding. nature. <laughs> <laughs> to mold is human nature. To mold is human nature. To mold or not to mold, that is the question. That's the question. <laughs> I, I have become mold. mold. <laughs> These points, like, so, 
just out of curiosity, what I, I've heard only a bit of this, but I don't know the full story. What is the Ethan lawsuit he's referring to? Someone in chat said one must imagine Sisyphus molding. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh my god. Perfect. That's so good. Oh, uh, you now just imagining Sisyphus pushing the ball up the hill, <laughs> pissed off while hair is falling off of his head in real oh time. <laughs> Sorry, what was your question? His head is like, my head has become the boulder. <laughs> I am become mold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that that one Wojak of like he's just pushing be... his own head up the hill. Yeah. Yes. Would it be boulder of worlds? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> boulder of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> this could be so many memes. Okay, so that. making an illogical <laughs> argument about balding is a fallacy. Oh. Ah. Uh... I, Got him. I don't know if people will, though. All right. Yeah, that's all right. All right. So, the Ethan lawsuit. What was the story there? Oh, uh, I don't know the full details on it. I just know that I think he... Didn't he piss someone off with coverage, and they went after him in the nature of their use to try and get him, and uh, he fought back? Yeah, some, and... some guy made, like, a weird... It was like a... What was it called? The thing where people, like, run up and down sidewalks and Sisyphus? jump over things? Oh. Uh, oh, parkour. <laughs> Yeah, some guy made a parkour video, and at the end of it, he, like, hits... It's like him racing a woman, and at the end of it, he's like, Hey, baby, can I get your number? Or something. Wow. <laughs> and anyway, Ethan made a video, like, making fun of it, and he used a bunch of clips in of it to make fun of it in his video. So the guy sued him, saying it was illegal for him to use the clips in the video. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's, that's not true. Yeah, well, that's... And Ethan, uh... I think Ethan used about 60% of the clips of the guy's original work, and Ethan eventually won the lawsuit, but I think it took like a year or longer to go through, and it cost him a crap ton of money, and he had to raise a bunch of money, because obviously this was before Ethan was rich, so... Mm -hmm. well, I mean, good for him, though. Actually taking it to, to court and getting something, you know, on paper. Good job. Well, man. I think the guy like, sued him. I don't think well, he Yeah, but nonetheless, nonetheless, like... Actually right, taking fighting a fair it. use yeah, claim to right, court and right. fighting it and winning is yeah. is a victory, even though I don't like Ethan. True, that's a good point. Yeah, that is a victory. He is, see, he can do good things. He can he can be of some use. I will say, uh, after this little debate and some of the other stuff, Ethan's stock had has gone up lately. Uh, it has gone up. Large. Yeah, it has gone up. It only took an XQC. <laughs> but... <laughs> and a Hassan. I'm only here for a big own. That's it. Oh, you're right. Yeah, uh, it took the combined powers of XQC and Hassan to, <laughs> to, to raise the stocks of Ethan. That's all it to, took. To bring back a glimmer of old Ethan. I will say... Our powers I, unite to create... This truly is the part two, by the way, because like in the previous half of this, so to speak, this story, we did cover the... Uh, what what Ethan said to uh, to to Hassan, and it was incredibly satisfying to watch, because Hassan couldn't run away. He actually had to just admit that he was wrong, and that there were better things mm -hmm. to do. It was neat. Mm -hmm. To prove that it's, it's, it, all of his things are, arguments are done out of like, not malice, but you know, like, they're not, they're not coming from the right, the right place, and they don't make sense, and I can go on that, uh, with that, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bet like the process process of any of words? Like, yeah, man, sure. Say, first off, like I was saying, thank you for, um, doing this i think it's an important conver conversation to have and i'm and i think you're you're the right person to talk to about it simply because yes. i feel and i think you would agree with this premise that you are you push the 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 fair use value or apparently you don't even care about fair use at all I, I, and i don't want to put words on your mouth so you can correct me where i'm wrong but you seem to not so, as we go through this, I want to talk about his strategy, Ethan's, because uh, I, I don't know how many people here, anyone here has seen this in full already? Nope. nope. I, was in, I was not able to make it through the full thing, mm -hmm. but I, I made I've it through some part. Of it, some of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've seen all of it, um, and I have oh, wow. a distinct uh, impression as to what Ethan's plan was, and how, how one was executing it. Obviously, I've seen it because I had to edit this whole piece of shit and I have to put a bunch of little clips in here for the fun of everything. It'll be worth it, I swear. But uh XUC, <laughs> as you guys know, has come in here. He's got he's got some screenshots. He's he's got the the stats on his side and he's gonna get a big own. That's his intentions. Ethan's um maybe we'll 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 talk about them as they develop, but so far, even just from that intro, I mean he sounds pretty normal, right? It's just like 
He's, he's like, yeah, he even yeah. said, you're a good person to talk to about this, and you don't believe in, like, transforming shit or fair use, right? Like, that's not even your worry. Which, um, in terms of strategy, he's probably going to want to not, f like, like, the best chance I think XQC had was to try and focus on how nobody's truly transforming, really. Ultimately, all of us could, you know, go down in a court of law for not transforming enough in a lot of the things that we do. Is, uh, it's easier to win on the law of that than it is on the morality of it, because the morality of it is obviously going to be really, really I difficult for everyone to draw a line. I completely disagree with you. Well, you'd be wrong. Okay. Do you not know I this? mean, <laughs> what you guys, what you guys I, do, I think, I, is far more legally protected. I mean, I th like, in your conversation with him, he said he didn't give a shit about the legality, and people were just arguing about the morality, which I think was crazy, but I think you'd have a stronger case to argue that. Because that's just so, your kind of like personal opinion. If you go by uh, a lot of how the rules work, EFAP covers mm -hmm. basically 100% of the content every time, which is something that can get right. you in a lot of hot water when it comes to trying to reach fair use, because you... Uh, there's a lot of arguments that can be made that we completely replace if the original. only what you... But of course, on, yeah. we would argue, in the spirit, that we've created something new that belongs to us now. And they'd be like, yeah, mm -hmm. but... Th they, th this is the thing. I didn't say that we would definitively lose or anything, but we'd be in some mm -hmm. gray areas, it would be difficult... It would be, uh, it would go on for years, more than likely. And they appeal to that to try and say we're all the same. Everyone would end up in that situation, so there you go. Whatever, it's fine. We can all transform at any, uh, length or ability that we have yeah. a preference for. When, of well, course... I, I know you're trying to spin gold out of, like, dog shit here, because you don't agree with the position. Oh, of course not. <laughs> but, but it's, um, yeah, right. this is the thing. I even, uh, when I was talking to XCC, I was like, this is probably the strategy you'd have to run, along with, like, focusing on how you really do care about the creators and that you want to compensate them where mm -hmm. and if necessary. You're because, right, can listen to you? No, no, not at all. Um, <laughs> uh, and not to mention, we're about to find out why that is uh, almost irrelevant anyway. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll okay. let more play before well, I, because I have so many thoughts to share. <laughs> if, if he, like when your guys had that conversation, I think if he went into this and just said, you know, I, like he, he laid out his moral stance where he thinks everyone should be able to use everything essentially, which is stupid, but then f uh, followed up with saying, I'm totally willing to like pay people or share profits or all that stuff. Like you kind of like, well, I disagree with him, but you know, he's not selfish, right? He's willing to share the money. Yeah, that's. I think that would have been his best approach to the conversation. If he had hardcore focused on how he's very in invested in making people whole, so to speak, uh, Ethan would right. have trouble going after him. I care about it, or at least you push it as far as it can go. So you seem like the right person to talk about it with. Okay, so I think there's three points to that. Uh, I don't want to get too debated yet. I just yet, noticed basically... that giraffe. I like need... him. <laughs> just now. Yeah, he's a good <laughs> boy. It's oddly, he's placed it in front of his closet. Um, I guess you he know, doesn't it's... want to go to the closet ever. Do you think he maybe opened the closet <laughs> to see if he could get the giraffe in and then gave up? <laughs> oh, yeah, like he couldn't tell that it was clearly just way too big. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm not sure it might oh, be able to fit. I see he's got a piranha plan as well over there. Mm-hmm. At, at first, I thought that was the door into his room, and he put it there to prevent the maids from coming in. <laughs> um, I think I value uh, a good life product, right? One. Are those guns there, Two, too? Um, I'm, I yeah. think I'm the regular because I do a lot of it. I do good reacts, bad reacts, but overall, I do a high density of reacts. I do a lot of it. But on top of that, um, uh, against popular belief, I guess these days, I... Um, ask for permission a lot, and I try to make an ecosystem where things are good and not conflictual. Right. That's the main point. Yeah. Okay. So being generous, I think his opening gambit is, I do it all, and my primary goal is to make sure everything is chill and has permission. Mm -hmm. Which is okay as a start. Yeah. It's but, a decent uh, start, but we'll see how it, uh, it goes. How so, okay, also, that's, I just that's noticed all... there's a little rabbit bouncing around. Yeah, there's the bunny. There, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Fair. Look That's at all him good. Go. I want to make one th on uh, Ethan's private I guess beach. I want to make one <laughs> I, thing clear. I sure do love grass. Nom 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 nom. Pop <laughs> is that I want to focus on. Um... He's totally looking at a guide right now, and he's he's, he's oh, got yeah. this set out because uh, yeah. it's been seen before in other podcasts. He 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 writes all this shit out, which is good, by the way. Which for is structure. Good. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's really fine. good. He has oh, notes yeah. and sources, and he he knows what to bring up. And because uh, so that that was yeah. that was almost essentially like intro statement, say whatever you want. Now I'm gonna focus on what I want to focus on. I'm not even sure that he necessarily heard anything XUC just said. The mm. YouTube uploads. 
because yeah. the the Twitch streaming itself, I feel like, is too much of a gray zone, and there's industry standard. So, I <laughs> think that okay. Ethan would condemn the Twitch streaming aspect of it ultimately too, but I think he thinks it's too difficult because there's a couple more aspects involved that make it a little mm -hmm. harder to to attack. Mainly to do with the well, markets crossing over. People argue that they're different markets, therefore it's okay. There's like no harm which is done. Funny when I think I think you can easily make a lot of the same arguments that you would make for the YouTube reuploads as you would for mm -hmm. the stream. If anything, yes. that might be more of the focus, considering the XQC himself has stated that the majority of his income comes from his stream, not his YouTube reuploads. Right. Because at the end of the day, whatever it is that you end up re-uploading is the content that existed on the stream. So if it was principally wrong on the stream, like in terms of not being sufficiently transformative. Mm -hmm. You figure that that would, you know, yeah. <laughs> would what apply changes? both ways. Well, I think that yeah. we would just say stealing is stealing. That's it. Full stop. Can, yeah. can you, can you, as like a YouTube creator, go to Twitch and file like a thing for a stream? How does I it even work can. if you're not like a big it. company? There, there's, there's like, like a DMCA form you can fill out, but oh, I don't okay. think Twitch is competent yeah. enough to actually do anything with it, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think Ethan's just yeah, trying it seems to. Like it's a difficult battle to to fight because of all of the oh, yeah. meta arguments that people make about how you know the streaming ecosystem works and sort of th this weird divide between it being on stream versus being on YouTube. So I'm guessing he is discarding that well, completely because he doesn't want to deal with need it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also just the nature of streaming, right? Like if you were to, to just turn on a protected video right now and just let it play with nothing else your stream would be disabled by YouTube in a couple of minutes. It would just be down because it automatically attacks that. Twitch doesn't have that. You have to manually file with Twitch. Does Twitch have and no Twitch... content recognition system at all? Um, they they Maybe do, for but music? it's not, it's not auto. Yeah, it's for music and it's not like always running all the time on every single stream. Hmm. And it's okay. not like YouTube. That's so like you right. have to file when, when, and then you have to hope still... someone sees oh. it and then hope that they do what, what you want them to do. But then again, if, if like, yeah. let's say that you're a YouTuber and XQC is reacting to your hour long video, right? But the, like you can file it, but there's no way there's going to be an action before his reaction is done. You know, mm -hmm. all you can do then is just try to somehow get revenue out of him. Right. And it's, that's, it's not going to, it can't be stopped in the middle of the stream the way that you can do that on YouTube. Yeah, and, and I think the VODs on Twitch are not monetized like YouTube videos are, if I remember correctly. I think they're just there for you to watch if you want to. I don't think they have like a like a thing oh, man. with ads or something. I could Years be wrong. I just they... don't know. I just don't know. So um, I've said a few times over the course of my EFAPs that like I used to know somebody who used to work at Twitch, and he left around like 2015 or something. Uh, VODs used to be monetized. You, you, oh, okay. you can have like banner ads appear in the VOD at regular intervals, but uh, it broke at some point and no one fixed it. And it's just it broke. <laughs> what? It broke? Yeah. Like something went wrong with the code, some kind of bug or something. And then the, then the, the banner ads stopped, stopped appearing. And now there just hasn't been, they just haven't fixed it. So there's no monetization. But what? Now. That's, that's, that's money weird. they leave on the table, like Twitch themselves. Why wouldn't they fix that? Because that seems Twitch like such is... a worthwhile thing to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch is like full of retards right now. Uh, they haven't what? done any any actual coding or any innovation in like eight years. Lies and slander, nice or something. Um. So yeah. Uh. The the only thing about this strategy from Ethan that I would consider a huge uh benefit to XQC if he notices it, but I don't think he does, is that if Ethan's willing to ignore Twitch vods and Twitch streaming, that means that there's aspects of that that should be able to fold over to YouTube that you can use in your own defense. Like if you could. Mm -hmm. You, you can use that as a wrench later on if you're in trouble. You can be like, how come you're okay with Twitch VODs then? When, you know, when he brings up problems, and then he'd be like, oh shit, you know. Like, it'll, it, it would make him stumble debate-style sort of tactics, but... Because if it was me, I wouldn't let Twitch VODs and streaming go. I'd be like, nope, that's bad too. Yeah. I, I would be less... Uh, I would be more hesitant to call what happens on Twitch a violation of any kind. So I just want to focus on what you upload to your YouTube channel. Is that okay? Um, okay, so that's gonna be a yes and a no, because I truly believe that a Twitch as a is it somewhat of a competitor on uh, VODs. If Twitch didn't have VODs, then that'd be wrong. Uh, th th that'd be right. But Twitch has VODs, and all the VODs stay up. And when people react, they leave the VODs up. And it's quite the same thing. Isn't this fascinating? He's basically but, saying, like, you'd be wrong not to take issue with it because Twitch yeah, VODs can compete with crazy. YouTube videos. That's actually yeah, that's that. that hurts him. That 
Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I had to kind of think about that for a second and be like, wait, the way that he's describing VODs, because I'm not really sure about the whole Twitch thing, but the way yeah. that he's describing VODs, they just seem like YouTube videos. Like, if any, Ethan should just be like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, all right. If yeah, you, like, yeah. explain like just, to me why this helps you. I just opened so, the door for you to go through and just closed it. So, okay, <laughs> I guess we're talking about this now. <laughs> yep. I guess being so, able to watch... Wait, did you can say something? Um, yes. Yeah, so regarding Twitch VODs, right? You have Twitch VODs, which are basically just like YouTube streams, the same thing. You just watch the stream. For for a while, Twitch experimented with ha having up, like VOD, they call them VOD uploads. It's just videos. You're just uploading videos, right? But okay. you could edit a video and upload it to Twitch and have it play like a YouTube video. And they were experimenting with that. I don't know if it went away, but basically um, they didn't want Twitch to, be, to actually be a YouTube competitor in in video playback so if you uploaded a video it had to be manually approved by someone at twitch and really? almost no one's no one's videos got approved like that ever. must be in yeah i mean if they have to yeah. be manually approved how many I people are working with twitch a, just than that that thing at one point yeah, yeah. yeah is it, i don't know if, if that's still going but i think no. because of the, of the manual approval the the feature was so unpopular i can't imagine um, that would be right insane now. i don't know how many people need to have... imagine wait why if you needed to manually approve of any video that goes up on YouTube, how many people you'd have to hire? Like, oh my yeah. god. Are we talking like thousands and thousands of people, right? Like, this is almost impossible. Watch every video. Yeah. Actually, yeah, if you have I to would... watch it before approving it, I think that's just impossible, surely, because there's too many too many videos that are too well, long. Isn't that like, isn't that like, you know, like, like 500 million, like, hours or something of YouTube content that gets uploaded, like, per day? What about people who like upload like first, second, third, fourth draft? Like they keep uploading and they keep approving. Like right. I've seen this already, but okay, I have to watch it again because I don't know. It's just just in case. <laughs> These people stuck in a dungeon just watching YouTube oh. videos all day, every day. Yeah, you just tell them. Yeah, this is a six-hour review of um of oh I don't know Avengers: Infinity War. Uh, I snuck one N word in there, so good luck. Uh, <laughs> They finally Supposedly find there's... it, and they're like, yes, now I can decline the video. Yes. Supposedly there's 720,000 hours of video uploaded every day to YouTube. Yeah, 720,000 hours. Jeez. Yeah. How small. That's, uh... Wait, that's the why, would, that's why would Twitch not want to compete with YouTube? Like, what was the thought process there, everybody? I'm not sure, because uh, oh. I would have thought they would have wanted to set up as soon as possible the ability to upload. Right. Videos. Plus, just just because you have videos saved, if they're videos from the people who are streaming and you're known for those streamers, it's encouraging those streamers to stay on Twitch and to continue to use Twitch for another yeah. purpose. So, I, I think it's because Twitch's game plan was just to monopolize streaming and not care so much about video on demand. And now their objective is to survive. But, but yeah. why? So, well, I mean, well, I, I think like. What happened was is that YouTube came along with streaming, but YouTube streaming is fundamentally different from Twitch. Like it, it feels different, right? It's better. But Kick, better. Kick feels like Twitch in its prime. You go over to Kick, the way that like the, like everything's laid out and the emotes and 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 the culture of the site, it feels like Twitch when Twitch was good. So I think Kick is going to be what basically does Twitch in. So what do you think? Because I have no idea at this point yeah. in terms of Rumble Kick and what's the what's the other one? Another one, right? Um. I like Odyssey's I doing something, BitChute's doing something. They're all. This is preferable that there's a bunch of them. I hope that they all stay alive long enough to make competition happen. Because, man, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, isn't it? Uh, didn't Critical leave Twitch recently? And people are like, uh oh, is this is this truly the sign of the end for Twitch now? The bigger lads are all leaving. Yeah. Did he? Did he really? I didn't even know. Apparently, that. yeah, he's streaming what? on YouTube now instead. Oh, okay. I know. Uh, yeah, Kick signed a bunch of people. To, to take him away from Twitch. It's like, hmm, yeah. I do hope Kick ends up working out because it's actually a pretty fun site to be on. They're not just banning people for making the most mild of edgy jokes. You can actually have fun on the site. So, okay. Oh, people are saying he didn't he didn't leave, but he's he's, he's ended his exclusivity. So now he streams on, I guess, both. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, or listen to music on stuff that remains in the bottom of it. Okay, that's true, but just for the sake of this conversation, I just want to focus on, because, like, from a legal perspective, and I know you don't really care about the legality of it, and that's fine, 
but I just want to focus on like the YouTube videos as they stand as like a product. I understand that the VODs are on Twitch and that, that would, uh, that would, you know, create an inherent problem as well. But just for the sake of the conversation to keep things clean and uh, keep us from getting too messy. That's, that's my focus. If that's okay with you. I think that's pretty reasonable as an explanation of all of this is to figure it okay. out on the grounds of YouTube. Not that it wouldn't apply yeah. to Twitch VODs. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know what? You know what? Okay. Just for the sake of having a good argument, I'll do that. Except for when, um, except for when the topic matters. Sure. Right. It really matters. If it, if it doesn't matter, overall, fine. But there are there are certain points that like it plays a big role into it. <laughs> if it's too big, I think I won't ignore it. But I'll, you I'll, know what? I'll... That that's a hundred percent fine. I guess I'm just saying that for myself, so that when I'm talking. You understand that I'm talking about your YouTube channel and not making general statements about what's happening on Twitch. Okay. That's, that okay, is, cool. uh, that, that, okay. that's fair. I wanna, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Fair. So I guess my first question for you to start is that do you think your work is transformative? Of course, that's one of the main tenets of fair use. Uh, do you think your work is transformative? Um, yes. Which is a really interesting response, because of course, I was like, <laughs> didn't I ask him no. that? And he said no. Or at the very least, he admitted oh. that uh, his content is filled with non-transformative stuff. And so, again, well, this part, awkward. I almost want to try and wait until Friggy is back, because uh, <laughs> this part's <laughs> golden. No, it's fair. fair. Um, yeah. is there a, is a, um, what can we talk about to pretend as though we can't possibly continue in this few minutes? Mm. Well... Hmm, we can talk about, um, well, you let's examine the room. That his, personally? I was about, I was looking at his room and I realized that his, uh, his skeleton, skeleton had, yeah, I just had hung itself. Yeah. <laughs> it hanged itself. <laughs> his skeleton, skeleton couldn't take it anymore itself. and hanged himself. No, 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 that was the maid from before. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's a, it's a warning was... to other maids. Oh, no, Maria. Oh. <laughs> I like, uh, oh. I, I think it's because oh, he's a Dios huge Dios fan Dios. of uh, Jared and it's a reference. <laughs> yeah, that might be a reference. You see some runic does symbols it have on the there. runes? Yeah. yeah, it needs the runes. <laughs> the permanent marker runes on it. Uh, he's got some plushies on some spare computers, I guess. Um, yeah. And, and uh, then, maybe the one behind him is a fridge? Is that a mini fridge? I think that could be a coolie. Yeah, uh, yeah it could be, yeah. I'll say this is very low tier uh, in terms of streamer backgrounds. Um, I think the, he's the giraffe recently is neat. moved. I think that's why. Like it hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't found the uh, the elements yet, yet. The feng shui, as they it? say. All right. Well, I, he had enough time to <laughs> hang his skeleton <laughs> and bring in his his computers and his guns. Well, we and all his get that done when we move in. We He's always put in put the skeleton up. Wait, if those skeleton if those are skateboards, lines. shouldn't there be wheels on them? Snowboards. Are, right? are they snowboards? snowboards? Oh, snowboards. It's true. It's true. It's yeah. Like. There's no snowboarding here. It doesn't come to mind. Mm -hmm. Snowboarding's oh, hard, made, by the way. It's hard as fuck. Reminds, reminds me. I, I I told you about that mutually. Uh, so you guys know the the, the streamer Ludwig, right? Streamer uh, YouTuber. I so, think I've heard uh, of him. I do. But yeah. I don't know anything about him. Yeah. So he recently did a stream where he watched nine episodes of Vinland Saga on stream with everybody. When I saw that stream, I was like, "Oh no! Why are you doing this?" But the he's the mana. kicker. Huh? Was he on? Kick? Oh, it's, it's called the TV man. Yeah. No, no, the thing is, he asked <laughs> Netflix, uh, no, no, uh, Crunchyroll and a creator of the anime if they could do, if he could do that to promote the show. And they both said yes. So oh, he got permission to do both hmm. of those okay. and was able to watch it live on stream with everybody. Nice. Oh, look at that. So yeah, it's just it's interesting to see that, pe that people can figure that out with like big companies. Mm -hmm. But some other streamers can't even ask some YouTubers to watch the video. <laughs> I found that well, really interesting. They're surfing, that... on they're surfing on YouTube, man. They all oh, this looks interesting. You can't expect him to go to stop the stream and go ask or plan things. It's got to be spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. Little, I assume, yeah, it's a cool. But I found thing it super interesting to have super happen. Interesting. But I tried a picture of like if if the six of us were, had a deal where we could all watch I don't know like Simpsons episodes just as an example. It's like well, how would it go? Do you think would we just like sort of just laugh where laughing is relevant, or would we pause to comment, or would we comment while it's going? I don't even know. And what would they want? Do they want the episode played mostly without interruption? You know, probably. Yeah. Well, I mean, before before the um, 
the three EFAPs that we all did last year on this topic. There was the Twitch TV, uh, the TV meta, where they literally just watched full episodes of like Hell's Kitchen and stuff on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. And that was going TV for a while. So that, yeah. that finally got that got slapped by Twitch. Did so it? So for a while, it was very common to just, I think so, yeah, that's why they stopped. I could have sworn didn't, it was um, mentioned that they're still trying it these days, but maybe not. Uh, I think, well, didn't Pokemon get handled like, like a three-day ban? Because <laughs> why does she, was she watching need to Hell's do Kitchen? it? God, I don't know why I would say, yeah. I don't know why I think, like, maybe people who are <laughs> lower on the rung deserve to do it more, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's virtual girlfriendism, okay? You, you, can, you can sit with Pokemon you on your virtual couch Hell's and Kitchen watch Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> gang gang. Oh also, that... Ice cream, yum. <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> Ice cream, so <laughs> yum. Ooh, spicy. Uh, that, that computer. <laughs> That computer in the background, I think that's the one he got from Linus Tech Tips. Oh, it's been retired, huh? Oh, no. Is it, yeah. is it really bad? L L or... I think Linus gave him, like, a free computer as, like, a promo thing for, like, a crossover. And I think th that's its fate. It's now sitting there. All right, Fringy's back now, right. so I'm going to roll it back a little. Welcome back. Oh, okay. Is transformative. Of course, that's one of the main tenets of fair use. Uh, do you think your work is transformative? Um, yes. It, that feels like a different... <laughs> that feels different from what he said before. So, this is why I wanted you to be back first, so here we go, everybody. Okay. And th this part, I was like, because I was watching this when it was happening. You do? Yep. Oh, wait, wait. Here, I mean, okay, because I, I was watching... I don't know if you heard that word. It sounded awfully uh, familiar. That sounded like someone that Might huh. be here right now. Watching you yesterday, and here you said, it's absolutely not transformative. Here it is. You don't have to care. That's totally fine, but do you agree? <laughs> oh, my God. That, uh, oh, my God, Mahler. You... I'm on the H3 podcast now. You made it on the Whoa. H3 podcast. You're so talented. I made it. Woohoo. And I, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, holy shit, he watched the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And if he watched the stream, then that means he is very prepared. Yeah, that means he fucking knows yeah. what advice was given, and he knows what context was given, so it's just like, yep, yeah, this is, uh, good luck, XQC. <laughs> this is uh, all you can have now. You've created non-transformative reactions. 100%, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're, we've agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else yeah, we've even said 100%, so... Hmm. Yeah. So, here you say you've 100% made non-transformative reactions. Did you change your mind? Um, no, 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 no <laughs> absolutely not. I didn't change my mind. The, the whole point is that never is a really bad because I think we all um, have stuff that is not transformative. If you do a, a full-on yes or no, I just kind of like play with the question, and that was kind of like... Play with the question? <laughs> Uh, okay, I just play with a question. I legit my very okay. good my my very good friend that question. I think there's a core <laughs> idea in his head and it's struggling to get out, which is yeah, uh, you know, I was vague with my answer sometimes, or at least left room for interpretation, but ultimately I have made non-transformative and transformative reactions. That's what he wants to get to, I think, but this is like he's just all over the place already. Cause this is gonna be a little bit stressful to be played a clip of yourself talking that contradicted <laughs> what you just said. So, but your work is not fully transformative. Some of it is not, by your own admission. <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah, he's sorry. like, admit it, admit it. <laughs> <laughs> you know you uh, cocked it. Yeah, so some, some of it is less reacted, yeah, 100%. Okay. So, so in that regard, do you care at all about like IP or copyright? Or like the fact that it's illegal, does that matter? If it that it might be illegal, uh, does that matter to you? Oh uh, no, it doesn't matter. Well, if if flat out doesn't, because well, that's fair. That... that that's totally fair. And so because what? you know, to be fair, that was definitely like, like a Chad no situation. It's like, don't you care that this is bad? No. It's like, well, um, okay then. <laughs> All right, I, it makes our job easier ish, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think the problem Ethan was having there was just like, wait, now where do I go? Do I go trying to explain why it's, it's something you should care about, or should I just be like, well, wow, there you go, you don't care, which means you don't care about mm -hmm. stealing stuff. You know, it's just like, because I don't think he expected necessarily for him to just go like, nah, fuck it. <laughs> like, who cares about the law? Fuck it. He's like, oh, it wow, doesn't matter to you. I don't think it's there's any point to really even discuss. Well, I can, I, can elaborate, I can elaborate a little bit. Um, Go ahead, please. And open the door a tiny bit, just to give you a, a general angle. Um, I, general I angle, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. Usually, <laughs> the people that enforce it are the ones that have a problem with it. 
right? The, the problem with the nature of the content itself. Um, I mean, because kind of. The, uh, in terms of legality, right? Technically, if I'm playing some Telltale game, well, I mean, they could take me down anytime they want, right? Here because... comes the gaming argument. Uh, yep. Maybe they could. It's a little unclear. <laughs> The gaming um, thing's strange, but no one really goes after it. But I just, I always hate that gaming gets brought up because it's a very different medium. And uh, yeah. I, you know, if I had my favorite game for its story and I wanted to know what everyone thought of it, I could watch all of you play it separately and then play it myself or not play. You know what I mean? Like, it's one doesn't. Fundamentally, there is a difference between playing a video game and watching a video game, whereas watching a video and watching a reaction to the video that adds only like five minutes mm -hmm. of commentary oh, yeah, is. is more or less the same thing. Yeah. Mechanically, exactly. you well, would absolutely all do different things, but even, that's why I brought up the story part, even that, you could all react very differently. You could all exactly. create an experience that's very unique. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, it feels yep. like there's a reason that, um, you know, companies haven't on, on mass clamped down on that, though it, it probably should be admitted, like, we are in a timeline that is a lot luckier than others where they did, and a hell of a lot less content is available for that, but... That's the argument that a lot of people try to put in for why React stuff, where they don't transform anything, is okay. Mm. Because game's okay, this is okay. But I, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but if someone was to do an XQC with, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a game like a DRS is probably a good example, I'd be like, you pretty much have just stolen the whole experience of DRS to and re-uploaded yeah. it. Yeah. Well, he, did, he did say... Yeah, yeah I mean... I XQC did specifically say a Telltale game, right? So that's... Yeah, but I, I don't think a Telltale, exactly Telltale right. game should count necessarily. Thus, choices everywhere, so it's nope. different. For yeah, choices. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Dear Esther is a game that I think that was the example Total Biscuit gave of like, wait a minute, is this a game? Because you just walk forward, I think, is all you can do. Mm -hmm. Or read stuff. I can't remember if that's... Uh, but yeah. That's their game? And I'm yoinking their stuff? Right? So legality-wise, they could clap me for everything I've got, but for just playing their game. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. But I wouldn't say that because again, I don't think it's true. I don't think it's not true either. It's that weird sort of gray area of nobody, like nobody does it, and it's probably going to stay that way. I wouldn't imagine you were. You do not want to be known as the first, you know, game developers or studio or publisher to really go after people for doing that. Um, it's like the worst PR you could ever do. Um, but I wouldn't just so blatantly outright say, oh, yeah, I'm not allowed to do this. Yeah. Um, it's it's not a good <laughs> position for you to put yourself in. Obviously, well, so fair use is decided on a case-by-case -case basis by a judge or jury. So it's hard to do big sweeping generalizations about what is and what isn't. But ultimately, if I understand your position, you don't really care about the legality of it. You're more, like, uh, concerned with the philosophical mm. thoughts of, like... Of uh, re reacting, he to is content. a philosophical mind of I, The limitations of that is that I care enough, um, enough about it to where it affects me, right? So <laughs> I have to. I only care if it affects me. I mean, me. what a line! <laughs> I care as much about it yeah. as it affects me. Good stuff. Oh my god! Because it's it's the legality of it, right? Like if somebody wants to strike down, wants to uh, send out a claim, whatever. Well, I have to act on that, right? So even though I care or not, that. That will that will happen, Not right. like, and it, it happens all the time. Except, I like to create an environment where uh, I engage with people and content that are not going to do that, because um, they believe in the mutually beneficial nature of the interaction, such as video games. Even though the video games could um, strike me, and that they want for just playing their game on my stream. Right, right. And so, okay. So I think my point is that we can kind of skip this whole conversation and move on to the um because i think we both agree if we did a fair use analysis and you admit that when you says it's not transformative that a lot of the stuff you do would would fail the fair use uh test so oh, I, we're on and, the same and, page yeah and also a lot of your stuff too so we're in the same boat pretty much Ooh. Uh, no uh -oh. no uh -uh. Uh -oh. So this See, I don't so watch. The, S, I don't. I don't watch H three, but they they have so many things where they just talk to each other and then have like clips from something in there. Well, this was this it's was always definitely not compar comparable at all. This is the strategy I mentioned. This is always going to be XQC's plan was to try and level the playing field. Be like we're we're not so different, you and I. So we're you know the same. you can't come at me with your uh, moral high ground because you're the same. As long as as long as XQC can sort of muddle everything we're up enough and get enough of an argument yeah. enough of an example then you know it's like you're in hell with me 
Probably not as uh, much. Yeah, no. but even then, it's like that's a that's not a not the best strategy. It's like you got you have to drag down the other person to your level, which mm -hmm. is like I, I guess in a way that helps, but really it doesn't change anything about what you've done. And mm -hmm. all Ethan would have to say is, yeah, I've done it in the past, uh, but that was a mistake that I did it, and I think that it's bad. So that instantly creates the distinction between the two of them, which is not what uh, XQC wants to have. So it's very easy to get out of, and it doesn't even really help you. Um, so I did a little, a little stats. Maybe you don't want to hear it, or because you want to kind of la la la. But wow! <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that? I could oh, I could translate. Yeah, that was he wanted to say like. I have statistics that will prove you wrong, but perhaps you're going to put your fingers in your ears and say la 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 la. That's what he was just why saying. You, but why, I, I love why that song, that? la 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 la. That I, was that's such a, good a one. strange instant shift into a much more confrontational. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So have you noticed that, like, there, apparently? it's all, I think XUC believes already that Ethan's super hostile. And to I mean, be fair, he, played he the clip, kind I mean. of is, yeah. Like, yeah. you shouldn't sure. take too long to discover Ethan's uh, ulterior plans here. <laughs> I mean, the fact that friend. he's got clips on hand and he's studied, you know, yeah, that's that true. already shows. Yeah. But I mean, but I'm just saying, this comes across as a particularly sort of a uh, big escalation in the confrontation. Right. You don't want to be the first yeah. person to throw out like, you, the insult. Yeah, you wouldn't want to like, well, yeah, do the worm or anything. What's happened there is he's very explicitly said, I have the information, but you might be a bit too emotional about it that you want to ignore it. That's, and uh, like, it, it feels like this is how all conversations go, like the subtext becoming text eventually. It always happens. It yeah, it usually mm -hmm. doesn't happen in like three minutes. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. Um, by density of content, with how much you upload as a person, uh, as a channel, I upload this much, right? Overall, because I have a lot of runtime, you upload about this much. So if we were to break down the percentage of non summer content, your ratio is almost higher as, higher as mine. I, I have I, no idea what you're trying to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> just hang on you to know, that clip, it's, it's, I guess. It's not fair, because Ethan could just say that at any point in the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what, like, I literally don't know what you're saying. It's gonna have to unpack what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that more i don't understand this much that much you gotta have to explain that a little so, more so the content you upload on youtube do you see him smile after saying that i feel yes. like he knows <laughs> like <laughs> he can pull the i don't understand what you're saying whenever he wants well, I mean, <laughs> did xqc have like a data analysis person like go over the entire channel of h3h3 oh, and run like no, how no, can no. he make he's this just, claim we he's will say in words we're gonna okay. see an he's example of search. what uh xqc's editor has done for xqc in prep for this debate Channels, right? The things that are oh. on YouTube because you don't want to Twitch. Talk right? about my podcast. Doesn't matter. Your content. The stuff that you upload, right? The stuff that you you control and upload and upload. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. So so overall, if you add all the content you put out there, right? I have about that much because it's a lot of runtime. It's a lot. It's a lot. I have of no viewer. fucking idea what you're talking about. Do you have proof <laughs> of that? Like you're just saying that Fair. much, this much. That seems a little silly. I have the one of the highest runtime across the internet in terms of like putting out content. Oh, but fair Literally. use doesn't have to do with how long your stream is. It has to do with your yeah. commentary on the video. If, you're, if your if your stream is 12 yeah, hours long down, and you're reacting yeah. to an eight minute video, it doesn't matter. It matters what you said about the eight minute video. It doesn't matter yes, how long you stream for. True. So I don't understand your point. Yeah, he, yeah. He's right. But the thing is, uh, all XUC is trying and failing miserably to say is that you are probably more... A higher um, percentage of your content. Right. Yeah, like, you, you probably transgressed more than I have. That's what that's what XUC's right. trying to say. Uh, sure, but... He's again, wrong, but, you know... Come back to what what is your evidence of this. Well, but this right. is the thing. Ethan knows as well as we do. The audience have no fucking clue what is saying, for the most part. Mm -hmm. And so if he just yeah. says, like, <laughs> actually, you talking about length is irrelevant and <laughs> shows your lack of knowledge on fair use, XQC would be like, I'm not even... I wasn't even... I'm, I'm talking about... And you just be like... Oh. Point. So, if you, if you let me elaborate on my point, instead of... Um, Bring in ah, semantics, uh, right? Uh, bring in semantics, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, you're bringing in semantics by saying you don't understand what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> by not hearing my words, you are doing semantics. I think I think a lot of people Man. they associate the word semantics with like maybe they think that semantics means useless filler of a conversation instead of like an important element of words and what they mean in their context I right think like semantics are, are important yeah. 
I think that um, yeah. it, I find it often annoying whenever someone says you're just doing semantics, especially in a conversation where you disagree on the meaning of a word. Yeah, right. like, yeah, like this is foundational to our, we sure have to we resolve this. Are using the same words to mean the same thing, otherwise we're just going to be talking past each other the whole and time. if they say, yeah. that's just semantics, you're like, sure. Uh, it's <laughs> not, it is semantics, yeah. it's not it is, just yes. semantics. It is semantics, that's oh, right. Yep. It, it's Sitch's law. Is that Sitch's law? Right. What's know. Sitch's law? Sitch, what's your law? Yeah. Dev gave us yeah. his law. Is yours uh, better? The majority of arguments. <laughs> is yours really better? Arguments. Mine is much better. <laughs> the majority of arguments oh, are really right. arguments about definitions. You just don't realize it. Um, interesting. Yeah. Sure. Maybe. Huh. Yeah. Now, what do, do you, you say? What do you mean when you say definition? Well, listen, <laughs> semantics <laughs> is the condensation of words. Okay? Whoa. That's so it's bright. mysterious and wet. Yeah. I'm a, Sitch is a man where, where of jam. Where does it come from? <laughs> words generate meanings in the He's same way that the air generates water. Jam a man Imagine of molding. More. Imagine jam if a the man. Was that Libertalia was just full of jam. That like Whoa. Avery and all of his pirate buddies had just taught a jam and they killed each other fighting over the jam. And then Nathan starts <laughs> shoving the jam into his shirt to try and collect it all to get it out of there. <laughs> he's running out with jam seeping out of his shirt, like, all over him as he's running. Well, and the shirt was dry when he started, and then by the time he's got out of there, it's yeah. all wet from the jam, and he's like, how did this happen? And then they have um, a mini Why can't I hold all this jam? jam. You're just know. slipping on it as you're, <laughs> you're running. But you got Not semantics. Against... That's how fair well, use works. Okay. We're not even talking about the nature of the content yet. Fuck the con. It could be, it could well, be a blank. Hold on, just to be clear, you said you don't do fair use, but I don't also. So, we're okay, real quick, it it sounds like what's happening right now is XQC is panicking. He he knows he's he's kind of caught in a corner like this early on, which is crazy for a debate. But he's caught, and I that, that's what it sounds like. The way he's trying I'm to. Gonna say, I'm gonna say, you, you, I wonder... that might be how it sounds, but seriously, he's just trying to say, Ethan, you do it as well and worse. That's all he's trying to say. But he's really bad at speaking. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, um, like, if, if you're blind, right, and you're, like, an inch away from a wall that you're about to hit, you don't actually know it's there, even though you're about to run right into it. I feel that's kind of, like, how XQC is here. He He's doesn't plan ahead. The stress when he is starts on. a sentence, no one knows where it's going to go or what thoughts it, you know, let him hear. Well, He's discovering be, it all as he goes. To be slightly fair to XQC, oh, which I yes, hate to do. Yes, Dev. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's just the, Ethan just keeps interrupting him. He should just say, "Oh, like let me state my full argument before you interrupt me, and then we can talk about whether the argument's valid or not." Yeah, uh, that's well, why the, he's getting I think, I think everything I that was like just said is true. Fair. I actually think all of those things are happening all at the same time. Yeah, uh, because uh, showing him a clip of himself definitely would have stressed him a little bit. That's some deer in headlights, a little bit. Oh yeah, I mean he's definitely stressed out. Yeah, well, I think yeah. that's. Yeah. Just and I, and I think you that's, that's part of the reactions. Yeah, the yeah. other guy is more prepared than you are. I'm We're not talking prepared, about yeah. fair use, just to be clear, right? Okay, okay. Let's um let's reel back a little bit and um stop being stupid for a minute and just kind of like listen. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, you you are. Your yeah, bold that makes far stands your confidence. Slipping in the insults instead of just yeah. being like, it's You're a, stupid. It's super just to look at it like like an actual like if there were health bars because it feels like a defensive punch that misses. It's it's like yeah, what are you doing? It's like uh, if you're thinking of a Pokemon battle, it's like yeah, it's just a miss. <laughs> like you cast one. counter, but there was no attack, so it just. Nothing and happened. then it's and then you're <laughs> yeah. imagining like defense like as soon as the clip got played it was like growl defense is down. <laughs> no, I, I think the obvious one here is it hurt itself in its confusion. Uh, oh, yes. there you go. We're not there yet. We're I don't know if yeah, I wouldn't. Yet. There's yeah, something yeah. specific he does that this I would totally save that for. Battle, but um, this is the part yeah. when you're whittling down but, but, all of that status. This just yeah, feels like a miss to me. Like look at Ethan's face. He's like, what was that? You just called me stupid <laughs> for no reason at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> We well, see. Th this is why I think it's a, a deer in the headlights reaction, right? To having yeah. your, ha you know, to being on the back foot immediately, but being hit with your own clip, you know. And I, and I, from what I saw of this, it just feels like he stays on the back foot the entire debate because he doesn't, he doesn't ever recover from having his own words played in him. Well, it's certainly Wait, like yeah. obviously, if if you had a, a PR guy, you'd be like, don't don't do it before Ethan does it. Ethan's audience are now going to be one hundred percent against you. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing here. Is that Fringy is a fake Pokemon fan? Because Whoa. Growl reduces oh, growl. attack, not defense. Attack. That's right. Oh, oh my god. god. Well, it's, 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 it's a tail whip. 
Yeah, Tail 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 and Lear. Come Lear. on. Yeah, Lear, Lear, Lear is making it to fall sharply. Oh, yes, yeah. that's right. And Tail Whip oh, yeah. is the normal. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Uh, and of course, Sand Attack lowers accuracy. Yeah. Fucking Pidgeties throwing their sand. Which is the one lowest speed? Yeah. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, Sitch, what did you just call Wait, Pidgey? What did you just call yes, Pidgey? Pidgey? Pidgey. Yeah. Pidgey. 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 Oh Big fan God. detected. It's oh, Pidgey. Oh, it Pidgey, it Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot. Uh, Wait, it's yeah, Pidgey? It's not Pid Pidgey? Everybody <laughs> laughed. I don't even know what oh, I said. Everyone laughed. <laughs> Pidgey. <laughs> oh, you got me. Pidgey. You got me. Yeah. I'm Pidgey the fool. <laughs> I wish it were called Pidgey. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. What a pity. Oh. Uh, what a Pidgey. Listen, I'm American. Come on, we gotta see it. Oh, that way. I'm gonna say it that way. We gotta see how he gets out of this. Our, our hero. He's on the hero's uh, journey right now. Out of this bind. Yep. Okay. I'm listening. I, you said um, that. I see, I feel like Ethan's like, I'm winning. This is working. <laughs> Grilling him. I haven't even I, tried yet. I'm already winning. <laughs> I feel like I over prepared. <laughs> yes. You said that. You said that too, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. 100%. Yeah. And I said that you do too, right? And I'm not saying uh, you do Jew. So you would say, oh, you did Jew. No, hey, Sitch, you did Jew. You did Jew. I said, you did Jew. That was like a fun game show. Super wholesome. Who did you? Who's the Jew? I'm Gene Rayburn. Welcome back to Who Did You? With our special guest, Richard Dawson. Two double fault fallacy, right? But in the instance where you try to take the high rope and say, well, I don't do this, guys. Well, you do. And the my next point is that an amount of content that you upload, you're non-reactive. <laughs> There's actually quite a lot. I don't of it. know what that well, means. Was that a weird have... giggle? So, I don't know if you've okay. caught it, but seriously, I like my main issue for him right now is he just can't fucking say what he's trying to say, which is just you right. do it, you do it worse than I do. That's all he's right. trying yeah, to say. Yeah, how hard is it to say that? And he keeps like moving around, and, and Ethan's able to just poke at him, being like, "What are you talking about? Why do you keep talking about length and this and that? That's not that's not how fair use works." Just stop saying that. It doesn't mean anything. You're just saying stuff. <laughs> <You're> just saying <laughs> stuff. I'm just saying words. Well, I'm saying that you you're just doing this. You do a lot of this and this. I, it, there's no stats. There's no data. I don't even know what you're referring. And that, by the way, this was this is where I was yeah, like, wait yeah. a minute. If you remember my conversation with XQC and uh, and other times he's spoken on this, he does say specifically the phrase like stats and data. He says that all the time. I think Ethan's heard him say that, and he was waiting right. to throw this out first to be like, you have no stats and data. Look at you, no stats and data. I need stats and data if you want to be proven right. You're just saying this is long. I mean, which if he did do that. Like, if he had prepared and actually, like, taken a sample or something and compared it, he could have gotten him. But if she's just appealing to this vague... Even if you ether, found a couple examples. Even then, right. you could always... You could be like, and think like, of the yeah, ones we didn't ones find. Out, compared to how many videos I can get of you. But, I mean, well, he probably he, hasn't he done that. It. In this conversation, doesn't he? He brings up some... Or tries to bring oh, up I don't know, does he? Okay. Well, I um, vaguely, I saw so like the first thirty minutes. We're going to get all kinds of developments, but like the okay. all I'm getting at here is that Ethan's just trying to beat him up right now verbally. Um, well, <laughs> Ethan is using debate tactics here because he does understand the concept that XQC is trying to say, but he keeps saying what well, you're saying doesn't make any sense. It does like so he's trying to like perform for his audience to just disregard yeah, every, like say... the concept. If Ethan picked up 45% of a point from what XUC said, every time it would be like, unless we hit a 60, I'm just going to, I'm going to appeal to him being nonsensical. Right. Uh, I can, and it'll work. And it'll I, he knows, work. he understands what he's trying to say. I think he, I think anyone can, if they really try to listen to XUC and take it slowly, which is again, why I feel like XUC has got every right to start getting angry, but you've got to hold back on random insults because it makes you look like a, a yeah. fool. Of course. Stop saying that. It doesn't mean anything. You're just saying stuff. Well, I'm saying that you're you're just doing this. You do a lot of this and this. I, it, there's no stats. There's no data. I don't even know what you're referring to. Let's I mean, if you want to talk, if you want to talk about stats and data, See, he's introducing himself uh, to his yeah. own angle. Yeah. He's he's railroading, yeah. which is it's a it's a way to do it. It's a strap, oh but you got to worry for XCC now because it's like, wait, what? No, I was doing a thing. Where are you there's going? One specific video that I just analyzed, just picked one out of the lot. A rapper who got a twenty dollar Anne Frank tattoo. When this Anne this Frank is a re let oh, me just read classy. off some stats and you can tell Sitch, me if do you my have an Anne Frank matches tattoo? up or is worse. Out of respect so this for is your a homies? video uploaded to your channel ten days ago. A rapper who got a ten minute Anne Frank, uh, sorry, a twenty dollar Anne Ooh, Frank face, face tattoo. Okay, so the original video runtime is yeah, nine minutes and thirteen seconds. 
Oh, sorry, no. The original video <laughs> is 8 minutes, 33 seconds. Okay? The video here... He added 40? That's neat. Good for you. He added 40 mm -hmm. seconds? Compared to the amount that he would have added to the JFK Lemono video, that might actually be more. That, right, yeah, I'm not actually sure if the ratio the, works out as less or more there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here, that, you up, that you uploaded is 9 minutes, 13 seconds. That means you added 40 seconds to an eight and a half minute video, adding 7.8% runtime. Uh, Actually, uh, I even uh, did you a favor. Uh, I condensed all of your commentary you know, on I... this specific video into a vo into just a short video, because it's only for- Like, is, is it not a favor? Uh, Easy to see, it's like, you've just been railroaded hard. He's, uh, he got you to a yeah. you don't transform, and then he's gotten you on, like, look how awful this is. This wow. is like, oof. Three seconds, I'm, so. I'm kind of impressed. This yeah, is, uh, he's not doing too bad. It's quite, it's quite he, he just put. He just put the noose around his neck. He's like, let me do you a favor. Let me tighten this noose around your neck. <laughs> I'll show so, this. Ju well, this is important because what you say, well, the commentary does... Like, no, don't speak. Don't speak until I'm done. Don't speak. Matter. Before you finish, let, 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 let me go. So you're about to prove me right. I said it. I do non-transformative dog shit. Yeah. And you're about I do non-transformative <laughs> dog shit. Oh, yeah. uh, I do like shit. him in some okay. ways. We'll have to show yeah, me well, I mean, we don't disagree on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Dog shit, then. Okay, fair. So uh, I don't have to show gotcha. it to you. Gotcha. I mean, you'll go clap me because, I mean, I what? just said I did that. Okay. Yeah, that's, like, that's like saying, um, <laughs> I'm white and I'm, I'm on camera. You said. <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? Why, why do we, we're talking so about why, right, why? His point <clears> is that, me. like, your stated facts that we've already, everyone knows is true. We've all agreed. That's what he's trying to say. But just saying, like, that's like saying yeah. I'm white and I'm on camera. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Like, yeah, Hitler would not be proud. It's such a bizarre fucking uh, approach to this, and like it just feels to me like he's uh, he's flailing a little bit here. He's using splash. Mm. Said that splash. yours is more transformative than there mine, so I don't understand yeah. the consistency or the point well, you're trying to make. Now, now that you've brought that up, I mean, sure, let's look. Um, well, I'm hold on, before you do that, let's just watch. They both want to play their shit. <laughs> They're like, let me. It's like, oh, wait, wait, I am going to do my fist. I do think it's interesting because the commentary does matter. Okay, I'm going to do that. Do that. What? Where? Where? Oh, uh, to notice the music? So this is so funny music? to me because, like, obviously I did it for him with the, the JFK video. It looks like Ethan's editor slash producer, whatever, has gone out and found one of the worst examples and, and he's put together all of the reactions from the video to show you all mm -hmm. of the transformative elements, right? That's how this works. Arno what? didn't have the best the yo, yeah, exactly. You know, this is one of the What the fuck am I watching? And it's so annoying to know that he actually just does this all the time. He just keeps going, what the fuck? What? No way. Yeah, oh, bottom of a big old house. Oh, yeah. I mean, if that, hey. That is pretty good, actually. What the fuck? That guy's really good who did that. I you know this video is narrated. Oh, that's proud, though. Santana? What the fuck? It's so funny as well because, like, you could already see the. He didn't even talk about the obvious thing to talk about with a video like that. Should that be th something you'd be allowed to do? What would you say about a friend who maybe chose to do it? He doesn't talk about any of it. He just goes, mm -hmm. what a fa? What a fa? What a fa? What a fa? What? I'm twenty two. Imagine having a friend. Whoa, 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 what? 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 Like really, like yesterday night. Or, I don't know. It could have been. Could have been. <laughs> no. Ethan's just like scouring, yeah. watching every stream. Well, that's the thing, <laughs> though. Literally the day you before. You can't tell the difference between someone like sniping a really great example deliberately to make him look bad, or the, this could just be a random, normal, newest one. You don't know. Right. Because like I could believe mm -hmm. either. That about themselves. So, so that's that the, the that's the, 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 the entirety of uh, the commentary you added. To his eight, and and I think it's even fair. And I know you don't you don't defend yourself on this, so I guess it's kind of a moot <laughs> point. That in, but the know. the quality of the commentary, like, you've admitted guilt. Like <laughs> Your Honor, he has said he's guilty. Just to be clear, but <laughs> moving on. Clear. And you could tell they probably talked about this off stream. It's like you've now laid him out. The audience aren't going to be sympathetic to him at all at this point. You have to be commenting 
analyzing, uh, being critical of the content you're watching for it to be fair use, but that doesn't matter, right? Because you don't even believe Ethan, it is. Ethan, Ethan uh, I, 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 think, I think you're right. I think, I think you got me. So I think instead, um, I think we should get an example, uh, one, of, one of your examples then. Sure. The end is now turned into, yeah, well, fuck you. You do it too, bitch. It's like, You're just as bad as me, which can only not really do much. It's a lateral us, move at best. Let mm -hmm. us begin the hundreds of millionaires fighting each other by throwing shit at each other. <laughs> it's like, this, is, this is what life is all about, I guess. Um, I'd love to. Let's get one of your examples that that show me the, the guidelines, what I should do to react. Oh, oh does he does have anything. Can no, I post he... this right? No, he does. He does. We're about to oh, see it. Look on that. Okay. Um... So instead of having my having my example of this, I think we should use yours instead. So I could learn how to be a better creator. How about you click on that? Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I'd love <laughs> to check it out. Oh, I have to open it. Okay, I'll open it. Yeah, it's in the chat. Uh, one second here. Don't tell me it's the clip that he was complaining so about when he was watching them on their original podcast, right? Like when they sat so there just watching see how long it would be before he spoke it's, it's probably worth mentioning now uh the way this has worked is xqc has been supplied clips slash edited videos from his editor and i don't even think he's seen them ah this is his editor's okay. uh, work and his editors told him i found examples of ethan doing the thing that he's gonna you know rip into you for so just play these on the on the stream so yeah okay. you uploaded to your xqc clips channel you uploaded uh uh, five. It, it, you'll see. Dude, you're. It's are you so you it's uploaded it. five? Well, I just want to explain it. You uploaded five, uh, clips. Or wait, shit. I'm. You upload on this channel so just, fucking just much. Just play it. So when it was my turn, <laughs> you played my clip. When it's your turn, you don't play the clip, and you just comment before seeing it. No, I'm setting it up for you. I'm gonna play. It. I'm opening it here. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> here it is. Chill. Here's one of them from your channel. One point two million views in six. Now, is it okay if we watch this one? Ethan shows uh, XUC how transformative reactions are done, number four. This is the one you sure. upload. Sure. Yeah. Number four works. Oh, number one, two, three, or four. Yeah, there's one, two, three, or... four. They're all good. So here it okay. is. Okay. So you can right. explain. It's ours. Okay, King. Jesus. Finally over. Logan Paul upon. Do you notice a problem already, Felix? There's a cut here. Okay, King. Jesus. Why is there a cut there? Huh? Yeah, there's a what? cut. So we may as well get what? all the context out early so you can understand how this conversation goes. What Ethan is going to try and argue here is that he's he's taken, uh, what was it, like an eight and a half minute video, and then he took XQC's reaction, which came to nine minutes and ten seconds, something like that. And what he did was have the editor chop out every last thing XQC says, and then look at the length of right. that, and then look at the content of it. That's what I did when looking at XQC stuff as well, because that gives you a strong impression of everything that XQC added. And when you see that it's like, what the fuck, and what the fuck, blah, blah, you know, that's something. XQC's editor, the fucking galaxy brain that he is, was like, oh, so you take an issue with anyone who just sits there watching the thing, right? And it's like, uh, sure. And it's like, okay, so if I cut out all of your commentary, there's, the, look, you <laughs> like sit there just watching it for like three whole minutes. Oh. And it's like, oh, you did yeah, the reverse. Wow. He's, the editor, oh, no, you fool. The wow. editor to prove wow. that okay. Ethan is just as a victim, like basically, it, take an EFAP stream and then play all of the times we play the video and cut everything else out. And you're like, see, you don't transform it. You'd be like, you idiot. Oh, that, you fucking moron. Because, <laughs> that, that, no, you're a fool. Sorry, it's, oh, taking, yeah. it's actually actually taking me a while to sort of comprehend just how foolish that is. I'm here to translate all of it. This is... It's, it's Thanks, wait, how, yeah. how long is the, the... earning the, those vinyl Yeah, stuff? so that, that's the first thing. <laughs> Ethan lays out pretty clearly... This is the length of the original. This is the length of yours. Here's your reaction. That makes it really easy to follow. If you just right. show me three minutes of Ethan not saying anything, that means nothing to me if I don't know how long the video is. Yeah, or and, how and much as Ethan's reaction. already pointed out, the first few seconds yeah. has a cut in it. It's like, wait, what exactly. was in the cut? The cut was something yeah. that I said. The cut was the transformative content. So yes, if you cut out all the transformation, yeah, I guess I don't say anything. And the thing that is, prove, you know, Ethan... Ethan was there when this was created, so he's going to know that he probably exactly. transformed it because he's... This is the thing, you're dealing with Ethan Klein, someone who is very, very familiar with how this works and legally speaking knows he needs yeah. to transform it. Well, yeah, more so than a lot of Problem people, or... he'd be aware. Yeah. Well, there's also the fact that XQC decided to come with this evidence and not even check out what it was. Before. He didn't watch yeah, them beforehand, right. which is a huge mistake. Oh, God. That's fucking... Yeah, it's, don't it's that do terrible it. mix of he's an idiot and also a fool. Um, he just <laughs> Doing this debate in the first place was 
probably never going to work out good, but he doesn't have Maybe. an understanding of his own, let's call it intellectual limitations. Um, and he had debate prep. <laughs> that was weird. He had, yeah. Like, you have <laughs> all of these resources to work with. You can just pay I, people I, to do all this I, work. I did watch the Destiny debate prep. Didn't XQC just do nothing that Destiny said he should do? Pretty much. Just ignored all of it. You didn't take my yeah. advice either. Focus on how you want to help people. <laughs> Focus on you don't don't come across as an asshole. It's a really really good bit of advice, but never mind. Yeah, Why at least be nice. You know, at the very least, come across as likable. That helps. Like you you can you can maybe win this debate if you focus on you know the raw numbers of how much of a YouTube creator gets a bump from a Twitch streamer watching their stuff. You can make a decent argument there, just from like the the consequentialist point of view. Like, hey, look. Your channel blew up after I re after I reacted to your stuff. You can make that argument. He just didn't do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, there's well, there's loads of avenues know. he could have taken. He could have argued this in a way that would work out well, but he's really not doing well so far. I don't know if Ethan points this out, but the video that XQC brought up, Logan Paul apologized to me by Coffeezilla. It's 13 minutes and 15 seconds long. The editor cut out Ethan saying nothing for only two minutes of a 13 minute yeah. video. Yeah, if anything, I mean, that literally makes Ethan's, Ethan's point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Felix, <laughs> there's a cut here. There's, okay, King. Jesus. Why is there a cut there? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh? Huh? Mm. What? Yeah, you know, oh. This is why it's good to explain all of this beforehand. Oh. Yeah, there's a cut here. So, whenever you play my video, did I say, wait, Ethan? I think I think I've seen, I've seen something on the screen right there. Is that a dead pixel? Is that, is that a. Just play the fucking video, bro. Jesus okay. Christ. And XQC has no idea what Ethan's getting at already. Okay, but right. it undermines yeah. your argument if this you're showing an edited clip. If you're cutting out my commentary and then trying to say I don't you do fair use, this seems a little silly. Just, but I'll play it. I'll just play it. Okay. Play the video. Jesus. Finally over. Logan Paul apologized. Coffeezilla. Your slang is probably about Logan the right time apologized. to comment on how insane this is, by the way. We're watching an editor took a reaction <laughs> to a video about a whole other thing and chopped it up to show on a show about reaction content, yeah. whether or not it's fair use. <laughs> I like how the next, cameras are reacting all to it, and we're reacting to that. Yes, it's yeah. and all the cameras are in different yeah. positions as well. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't like, wait who's the real like... one? I can't tell. <laughs> some what? some other streamer reacts to this, and their camera is going to be in like the the final the fourth <laughs> corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately, it looks like uh, Ethan changes his background, so instead of the little bunny in the forest, it's like a winter wonderland. Yeah, mm -hmm. I Just like helped. the I like the bunny on the beach. I like the beach. Bunny. I like the bunny on the beach. He looks I like, like he's having a great like day. Yeah, he's just you know he's chilling out, having a great do. day. Yeah. Who said they, they like beach bunnies? Agenda, I love beach like bunnies. Internet yeah, you got a problem with that? No, no. Criminal. No, why did you say like that? Video. that was the he does that all the time. He said it about Santa, too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. Hmm. First response. He actually apologized. I'm sitting there like a response. moron. Like, Look at this <laughs> idiot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's huh? not. What it's not how I ever. And the editor, by the way, is now edited in clips of. Uh, Ethan saying, "Look at oh, actually well, just... sitting there like a moron, like trying to say, like, okay, ha, so you do it too.' Big, big blunder mm -hmm. because that just makes it hard to follow. It does. It actually confuses it. Need, if there's one thing that you need for this, it's clarity. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's this is like I mean, hold on. Here, hold on. Let me get, let me get a not taste either. Of this. I will say, as someone watching this as a stream, there's two Ethan's. Ethan's voice that's not coming from either of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that uh, XQC's editor said that he needed to condense the video and XQC was confused by that word? Yes. Uh, you know, you're so. probably right. Uh, uh, he didn't talk about it. He's literally just sitting there quiet. And now we've intercut a piece from Leftovers. It's like, wh oh, oh, why are you doing no, that? It's not... just confusing everything. Oh, no. Yeah, Especially there's three the XQCs. Can you see them? Can you see XQCs? no. You see him at the top, he's the top smiling. right, as you see, he's smiling. He thinks he's winning something here. Meanwhile, look at Ethan's face. It's yeah. just like, <laughs> sort of Wait, this. Which Ethan? The Ethan, Ethan. Look, look yeah. at that face. That's look so at that fun. face. Yeah. That's like a face of what is going on. For like, 30 what? seconds. You should sue him. Fuck you, XQC, you thief bitch. Turns out it's actually on his <laughs> secondary seconds, channel. So she chooses I'll it. play the whole thing. Just let me know when to stop. Single if you comment. want me to. It's entitled Thank You Copyzilla. It's the third response. They could sue no you, and they, would, and, and they would be right to sue you, I think. They would be yeah. in the right. I, I think so. Thank you 
Paul, and it's a pretty big change in Logan's attitude so far. So let's see what he has to say to us. Coffee Zilla is not a criminal. Oh, oh, that's I wonder if he's going to hire me. What? Do you want to keep going? I'm just, well, I'm, I'm just wondering. It's just, the guy says, I wonder what he has to say. I, I wonder what you have to say about this. Because I'm okay. watching you. He thinks this is a slam dunk. He thinks he's got him. I know. You haven't said know. shit yet, so I mean... Well, I'm just... It, well, you told me to let the clip play. Do you want me oh, to let no, the no. clip play, or do you want me to interrupt it? You gotta choose a lane. Uh, I was trying to be... I was trying to be creative with it, and kind of... He's trying to be creative? <laughs> what? what? I was trying Straight to be creative. What? It's like, I believe you. You were trying. I do commentary on the same time, and I was trying to... Last, like, I was asking the old Ethan, the guy that's morally above oh, everybody, okay. high-roading, to okay. react to it, but he's not saying shit, so there's like a okay. problem with it. Do you want me to keep playing it, or... or keep playing, yeah, keep playing. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Okay, cool. But in all seriousness, oh, this video. That's a good well, one. Well, right you there, cut out. Looks like, a... fundamentally, for we have no fucking clue what he's cut out. It's like, it's useless, yeah. absolutely useless information. Yeah, I have no clue. Let's have some major admissions in it I want to go through. For one, Logan apologizes to me. I called him, I apologized. My, my criticism of him right now is that he uploaded this to YouTube. Because I understand the nature of. I mean, listen, it's, it goes on. But I, my, I'm going to tell you, I find it really interesting that you think this is compelling. This is actually. Ex <laughs> uh, first of all, there's. What can you say? <laughs> like, when yeah. it's like you I failed to understand the point so hard. So many cuts in it. How, it's not persuasive at all. But one thing I do want to ask you about is why you cut out the beginning of the segment when I talked about it. Here's when I set up the video, here it is. And again, the framing, what you say in the oh before God, and after. And see, the, what would have happened while they were there. playing that is someone as a part of his team would have yeah. just gotten the link, wow. told him, play the beginning, and you could just uh, counter yeah. it in real time. He has a team. See, when you have a lot of money and you have yep. a team of people that you pay yeah. to help you with your job, <laughs> you can utilize these resources in order to well, help you not look like a fucking moron on the internet. Yeah, to be fair, it's not the, the money isn't the problem with XQC. He's rich. It's it's the lazy. Oh yeah, he is a gajillion. Well, I think what we're actually saying is what you have money and then you use it <laughs> to <Yeah>. assist <laughs> your, your shit. <laughs> to buy a giraffe, which by the way, you know that's okay. I I I'd do that maybe. I I I'm totally for buying the giraffe, but I think he had a little bit left over to maybe think, you know spring for improve some improve his. Uh, yeah, so his you content, could like yeah. you, you could build a studio giraffe, like an albino giraffe or something. <laughs> you you, you can build a maids. studio and <laughs> expand your business and have employees and do a real thing, or you could buy a draft. Ooh. He tried to now pay see, his maids. I don't want to know, false dichotomy. His, his mm -hmm. editor did make this montage. That is so true, he and he's paid, so yeah. <laughs> something mm -hmm. went yeah, very true. wrong. Because <laughs> I think what you. Well, well here, the... here, listen. If, if it were a live draft, is it, is it better math on that? Yes. You could, you could ride him around town. Well,. Sure, but you should probably edit better videos. He's pulling that giraffe from his natural habitat. Yeah. Out in the savanna. Eating, the grass, uh, eating leaves off of tall trees and everything. What if it's a yeah. closet giraffe, though? Well, I feel like, I feel like <laughs> that's very antithetical to where giraffes ought to be. Yeah, and that's why it was so expensive and you couldn't afford anyone to do this shit for him. There you um, go, we solved it. Not uh, joking, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I would wonder <laughs> who's, whose team XUC's editors on. <laughs> well, like, oh. him. A traitor to the throne! So here's oh, how no. that clip starts, Felix, which you cut out for some reason. Yeah, so Logan made a video after well, he got absolutely bought, like, bought deed for his response, where he's like, I'm gonna sue you, this is bullshit, you're defaming me. Why did you cut this? Me. Oh, you played a video, an so audio is that, that, is that was a pre recorded without is that like, um, Oh yeah, it's part of the same clip. You just went in and... Yeah, because now it's when you react before. Yeah, react. It's like now we're going somewhere react. else. Like, why does that count? It's like, well, introing a clip should probably count. Yeah, I mean, it should count. Yeah, yeah. It's possible yeah. because that. you're adding content, and also yeah. it's not mandatory. Right. You could just not do it. Well, which well, is bad. I mean, that's what. It's, it, yeah, like that's that's how it works with some reactions on Twitch, right? They'll just throw on the video and then just get up and leave without any preamble. The preamble <laughs> yeah. and your perspective on it is the is transforming it. But it's just the point that Ethan's making. It's like, why'd you cut it? Because yeah, you can't cut it if you didn't have the clip beforehand. Like, it, it's, it's the first it's, thing it's, that happens. It's the first part of the exactly. clip. You can't miss it. Well, to be well, fair, yeah, the crazy part, cut it out. there is an answer to that question that is genuine, and that is, I was just showing how much time you don't react to and that you are sitting there. Right. And then the conversation moves into, yeah, but I'm allowed to do that as long as I'm transforming the majority of it. That's the confusion. But now XQC is yeah. like, preact? <laughs> 
We, uh, yeah. like, we can't, <laughs> well, we can't yeah. stay on. This is a losing argument anyway, but he can't even like stay mm. on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To his credit, the word oh, preact okay. is pretty clever. Okay, it's oh, pretty clever. Preact, I like it. That is funny. Def, stop. React is an all right portmanteau, <laughs> but I wonder who. I wonder where he heard it from. Yeah, <laughs> took out like thirty second slices from it. So basically, what you're saying is that uh, you're going to the bar, right? And this part is like where you get in and you, where you get like a, a beer or something like that, right? And the rest of it, you just huh? fucking what the it. fuck? Is <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's like pre-drinking, guys. <laughs> He's drinking. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why did you make it so much more complicated, XQC? Like oh it's gonna God. confuse the shit out of everyone. Why don't you just <laughs> look at Ethan's this face? Is like, <laughs> Why not just say what it is instead of trying to come what? up with some magical parable to try and get the idea across? Just define it. Just say what it is. Why did you come say up with a story that? about bars? No, no one has any fucking clue what you're going on about. <laughs> fucking just busy. It's like the intro. So if you put an intro, you're good. Just say, guys, I have a Dude, video today, guys. So you don't me. understand how fair use works, and I and that's fine. But I don't know why you want to debate fair use when you don't care about it. Yes, what you say in the beginning matters, bro. You, you're analyzing. I'm contextualizing. I'm criticizing. I'm analyzing it. That's what yeah. fair use is. Oh I'm transforming God, it. I'm not just sitting yeah. there, He's and molding. the audience isn't just otherwise known as pre-acting, <laughs> watching yeah, the pre video while That's right. you know you you. I mean, you do get up and go to the bathroom a lot. Uh, so I know that you want to, so, but, but that's, but that's fine. Cause you don't care about it, but for you to exactly. think that this is so proof, you use me as an example for your indemnity. Is what you're you Felix, your indemnity? 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 Oh, he doesn't, he wouldn't I, have used that indemnity. word. No way. No way. He identity. Word. It must've been identity. Indignity yeah. maybe? Indignity. It could be. Cause you mentioned going to the bathroom. In <laughs> Which is <animosity>. an indignity. <laughs> Indemnity is security or protection against a loss or other financial burden. So there's a chance he could have met indemnity then. I there's a chance that so. that might be. <laughs> if we get if we if we hire a team of seven lawyers to, to investigate this sentence, there is a non-zero chance that this might make some level of sense in a certain context, depending on your interpretation. <laughs> Chat Wait. like this, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that. this clip is compelling? Do you see what I'm saying? That this example is really dishonest. Okay, so in that clip, my uh, my editor edited you your own words saying it. Oh, can I ask you him. something? Your editor did this. Have you watched it? Oh, Oof. so oh, this is a part that I particularly no. love. Listen specifically to the answer XQC gives now. Okay. The answer um, should just be well, yeah. yes. Yeah, wait for it. Yeah, I watched it. Like you just oh, you did. Oh, you just so, watched it for the first time. So, so the cuts. Are Have you watched? Watch the unedited version on my podcast. So uh, I'm gonna go back because I feel like it, it may have been missed. It's really yeah, dishonest. Sorry. Okay, so in that clip, my uh, my editor edited you your own words saying it. Oh, can Look I ask him. you something? Your editor did this. Have you watched it? Boom, boom, um, boom, well, boom, yeah, boom. I watched it like you just did. Oh, yeah. you did. I watched oh, it shit. like I just did. It just. He says like you uh, just did. Like you just. Yeah, did. Ethan, we were we were there. You oh were with me God. a moment ago. That is, we've watched it before. It's That's like insane. a little boy with his hand in the cookie jar. It's like, yes. wait, did you just take the cookie and you go, yep. I didn't, I had, uh, did, what do you, no? No, it's like, <laughs> like mom comes in and she sees you with the hand cookie jar. She's like, what are you doing here? And the kid's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing I'm protecting here? the cookies. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just uh, knowing in that moment, like, Fuck, I obviously should have watched them. What, what, what have I got? Is there anything oh I can say? God. It's like, just say you have watched it just now. Because you just did. That's true. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> there's also, there's also like a drop of throwing his editor under the bus in there, too. Because yeah. it, it's he doesn't really say it, but the, but the way that he, like the tone of his voice is like, well, my editor does this. is like, oh, okay. Mm. It, it feels like he, he's, he's trying to pivot to throwing his editor under the bus. Mm-hmm. That clip, my uh, my editor edited you your own words saying it. Oh, can Look I ask you something? Your editor did this. Have you watched it? Um. Well, yeah, I watched it. Like you just did. Oh, yeah. you did. Oh, you just so, watched it for the first time. So, so the cuts. Are... Have you watched the unedited version on my podcast? Um. Yeah. It's, it's okay. The, so the then, why are... was this removed? If you don't let me talk, I mean, we, we're not. Because yeah, XC is actually correct here. You're not even letting it. He answers the questions, which is good, and then goes to say something else. And then Ethan cuts him off, and it's like being a little mm -hmm. rude, being a little rude. Mm -hmm. I can have a conversation. Well, I just want to get. I just want to get to the point. You know what I mean? Because I don't want then, you to deflect. Then, I want to know then, why you cut then, this part. Then, when you ask a question, you have to wait for me to answer. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You said okay. Go ahead, please. Because you asked a question. You did three times. That's okay. And he apologized. That's good. 
stuff. Okay, not... go ahead. Um, okay, so there's four, there's four of them out of many of them, by the way. There's, there's, we only uploaded four because we didn't want you to go crazy with the DMCA stuff. Um, basically, it's pretty much a lot of it is spliced. And that was a that was a, a knock at him, by the way. That wasn't like a legit point. He's saying that right. um, we had five examples of you not transforming. We didn't want to do more than that because didn't want you to DMCA us because uh, Ethan. But there are many. Ethan on leftovers yeah. made comments about how he's, he hopes that XQC reacts to something he's made so he can DMCA him. So he's ah, like that that's ooh, what that comment okay. relates to, and that's why Ethan made a face. He's like, eh, funny. Because of course he wouldn't DMCA him for using examples in favor of a debate about fair use. Right. It's back to back. So yeah, yeah, there is a cut, but it, yeah, so. it's, it's like it's like you're pausing a video, but it's the same thing. You go in stretch of the two and a half, three minutes. You haven't without proven talking. that. You like how he tried to make two and a half sound log? Two and a half. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a lot of minutes, man. <laughs> that's, that's a huge amount of minutes. But here's what I, here's what I will say. Well, well, go, go to get one other one. Go get the one from uh, um, Meat Canyon. That one is you. Okay. okay. Was, was, yeah, go ahead. You, com you combo um, mustache twiddling, hair, and neck skin, and you do like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is he what? talking about? <laughs> What he's trying what to say means. is that Ethan's commentary on Meat Canyon's video amounts to twiddling his mustache and touching his neck and stuff, but I feel like oh, he just okay. never communicates very well, so uh, you just listen and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Signature villain maneuver, by the way, touching one's <laughs> neck. It's, yeah. uh, you see him all do it. We all do it. Yeah. And you have all sorts of things, and that's, that's, major, that's major react, bro. I have yeah. to give it so, to you. Right. That's no, you're right. Of, you're right. You're right. You understand this concept because you talk about it all the time. Meat Canyon is my friend who gave me permission to react. Oh. Oh, so it's about permission then. So now Sometimes. we're going to go post. Well, so hold on. We're... It is. Well, hold on. I, before we move on, I just want to make it clear that when you're accusing me of not adding enough commentary, that you did upload a clip that's deceptively edited. And I mean, frankly, which is true, he needs to get back onto that point, because that is something you don't want to lose out on. The XQC's editor yeah. tried to fuck you over in a really, really dumb fucking yep. way. Don't let him forget. He's well, dishonest. Why did you cut this beginning part? Well, it wasn't deceptively edited. It was just a stupid concept no, that but XQC you, never explained to the audience or to Ethan. It's, up to the, it's really up to you whether or not you want to go one direction or the other. I think it's absolutely an mm -hmm. accident. The editor misunderstood, but that right. you can easily sell it as deceptive. And especially oh, yeah, if you yeah. want to make XQC right. look worse. Yes, um, but I'm with you. I, th really I think it's incompetence. Himself. I think the editor was yeah. like, "See, he sits there for a whole two and a half minutes." Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. All right. Okay. So, Ethan, Ethan, why did you cut this? Unfortunately, the the problem that I have right now is that you're saying that now, and you're saying all this this whatever, right? But it's quite literally you in the video that's that's edited that says Did your sitting there. cuts in it. It does. It's not the video. How how well, is if there's cuts in it? How it is? How is that a representation of my analysis? All right, then uh, examine exhibit B, the meat canyon one. I already told there. you I had permission. Okay, okay. So why so do now, I need to look at that? So now it's about permission. All that I'm is saying, one aspect, yeah. In the video you're trashing me, you say he's sitting there. For and I will say, I think XUC's managed to slither out of that now. Uh, Eth mm -hmm. Ethan's let him do it. He's like, fine, we'll go into talking mm -hmm. about permission. 40 seconds without talking. Mm -hmm. that's, one of, that's one of your major concerns or criticism. It's why it's highlighted so much in the video. But that's the that's a, a big hit you can do at me, and I'm going to show examples of you. That I, when he goes that fast, <laughs> yeah, I go. got nothing. I don't Dude, know. I can't deal with it. It fucking hurts my head. Like <laughs> slow down just a little bit. The whole point of communication is that other people understand your words and your thoughts. So slow the fuck down. It doesn't matter if you're saying things quickly. If no one understands you, you're just wasting everyone's time. Maybe okay, can, maybe just rewind it and like set it to 0. 0.5. No, no, I don't no fucking no, way. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You understand, that'll make it go from... <laughs> 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 Multiple times, where you go, not only 40 seconds, you go two minutes so here's, without talking. So, so then, so then, right. I don't have to argue against you. You have to argue against yourself, because these are your own words. Well, you can watch your own video. so here's what no. I'll say about that. No. I, no. I, you're right. Because the 40 second thing is not a good analysis. That's not a good, that wasn't a good thing I said. Because when you're considering fair use, you, you consider the totality of it. So what's happened here is that Ethan, I think on leftovers said, if there's a 40 second amount, if there's a time of 40 seconds, you're not adding anything, then that's an automatic fail. But Ethan's probably realizing that's not a good metric. Because there probably are yeah. times where that's okay. I'm sure there's yeah, times exactly. on EFAP where we've let it go for 40 seconds. That's probably happened. Mm -hmm. 
It's um, it's a wider context. You got to consider more things. He was just annoyed to see a stretch but, of three um, seconds. There. I gotta say this this part here is weird. Where it's like, take it back. Then it's like, didn't he just do that by saying it wasn't a well, great the, argument? The thing about it is, th there's nothing to take back because he's talking about XQC's approach in totality, not whether or not he did a forty second gap and that that's exactly. wrong in and of itself. Right. Like, th this is complicated because it's like. Well, yeah, I guess I was talking about your content when I said the 40-second thing, and that that's not a valid critique, but you are, like, one of the worst reactors of all time. I'm still standing by that. So that's what's going to cause a huge fucking breakdown here in terms of communication. Take it back, then. No, you're, you still are a content thief, in my opinion. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> no, you, why would I take it back? <laughs> because yeah, like, why would I take it back? I, I, no, I, I just said that wasn't wrong. a good analytical point. I still think you're a content thief. Okay, but, so, take back what you said, then. Why? I believe it. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I mean. This oh is like, God. this This ain't breaking through very easily, this one. I, oh. I No, I am. Yeah. I apologize for the 40-second thing. I don't think it was a good analysis. Okay. You want to go with the other commands that you made or not? Huh? You want to go with the other... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Like the comments that you made or not? Which comment? We could, go, we could go through all of them. Because you're wrong. You're wrong across the board. So every, behave, every behavior you call me out on, you have done. And those videos. Okay, there's if four, you say so. But why, why did, if, do you no, want to... Okay, hold on, let me ask you a question. What we're, is we're it, 12, why does that we're... matter? Yeah, hypocrisy isn't a great argument, because you, you can just say, well, okay, yeah. even if I did that, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done you it. Can't... I know that it's wrong. Um, well, and that already defeats wrong, the tactic. It, it already I, falls apart. I totally you agree with you. two thieves next to each other, well, and one of them says, what I did was wrong, I shouldn't have done it. Um, that was a bad thing to do, and the other one's saying, yeah, fuck it, it, sh it should be mine, I'm glad I stole, I'm gonna keep stealing. Like, that already is a really <laughs> bad parallel that you're setting up. What, what's happening, though, yeah. is, uh, I don't think uh, XTC's gonna be able to make this argument, but what you would need to do if someone calls you out for, you're just doing hypocrisy, you need to say, I'm trying to point out you don't believe this is wrong, you believe it's right, but you're trying to make exceptions and you're trying to stand on a high horse, that's all you're doing. Right. That's the, just to yeah, attack me and real strategy. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, why why did you say high horse? You should have said stand on a giraffe. Oh, a ah. high giraffe. Oh, I mean, a, a giraffe high. isn't a horse, though, right? Well, like, it's a, a quadruped servant animal, right? You know, it's, well, sure, instead like, of so being on a high horse, animal? get off your giraffe, <laughs> like, you know? Maybe you should just stand on his bunny. No, but then that would hurt uh, him. Well, it's not a real bunny, it's like a little video. Giraffes are high and they're horse like. So you stand on uh, your giraffe. And well, there was a giraffe in the video that we talked about pretty prominently. Or a horse is giraffe like. Um, yeah. I'm thinking I think so. just horses. I don't agree I, with this. I, I just... I, I just don't know if they're ungulates. They might be. I can check, though. Well, I'm pretty sure... Just all horses, okay? This is horses, just conspiracy. yeah, like... All horses. Like deer, uh, like yeah, deer. the it's giraffe is an African even-toed ungulate. So... Okay. You made that up. All horse. No. <laughs> it's, it's true. They're a member of the diverse clade, Ugunlata, which just means true ungulates. Is that like an orc? Sounds like um, I think orcs are. I think orcs are elves. I don't know what elves are. What are elves? Can you imagine Let's... if in like the Battle of Helm's Deep they were riding <laughs> on giraffes and then they climbed up the giraffes' necks to get over the wall? It was nice. Ooh, yeah. Good they work. have like ladders built, like attached to the back of the giraffe's yeah, neck. And then they climb, and they up, climb and... up. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, but they'd go. be like fucked up Mordor giraffes. Like they have armor and Stable red eyes. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm liking okay, it. So... Wings of Power season two. You, you still got time. <laughs> More drafts. In. Do something non cringe. <laughs> they're, they're in the <laughs> castle, right? They're they're in the castle, and then the horn blows. Like, oh no, the orcs are at the gates, and then the knights run out of the second floor of the castle, and then slide down the giraffes' necks. <laughs> like they're going, they're going down like fire right. poles, and then right <laughs> off. <laughs> nice. Why does that matter? Okay, because um, earlier uh, you said, do you care about this all the time, not all the time? And I gave you an answer, you were like, got him. He said, he said not all the time, when you seem to be the guy who doesn't do any stealing or thieving, and I have four examples right there, and you're... No, you're... You the all that just happened there was, uh, Ethan said, if you're going to call me a hypocrite, how does that help you? And then XUC's response was, but I can call you a hypocrite. Exactly, he didn't right. address uh -huh. the reason yeah. why it's important to make this argument. Not show an example. Well, then, then get, get another one, then. Well, that's not my job. You're the one that's trying to prove it. Why the fuck should I yep. go pursue and try to prove <laughs> I don't do fair use? Exactly. Why should I prove I that I'm doing wrong? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. This is like when the judge turns to the witness. What do you have to say in your offense? <laughs> you know what? Some witnesses would be dumb enough to do it. Seems stupid. Wait, that seems like 
that's exactly is that what you guys have been doing on Twitter and whatnot, right? Is that your whole concern? Yeah, like, I'm showing are... stuff about you and not telling you to go find a video of yourself not okay. doing fair use. That's <laughs> Just to, just to, said, <laughs> I've been posting videos of you, not asking you to find videos of you doing not fair yeah. use. Like, what the fuck? Moronic. Oh my God. So you said thief, right? Yeah. Show me one. I just did with the he, Anne he Frank did. one. Yeah. You yeah, did, did 44 <laughs> seconds of commentary on an eight minute, 30 second video okay, where you but, offered no critical analysis. And do you know if I have permission? Did you have permission for that? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I didn't. So this uh, is a really interesting uh, break no, because this is the thing. This is a tough one because XQC needs to hammer the point home that you condemn me whether or not you yeah, found out that know. I have permission. Exactly. Which if is a good point. Smarter, he yeah, would have been like, but, you don't know. You don't know. But you Ethan, don't know you can me. if Ethan's fast enough, which he absolutely is, he can be like, did you? Did you admit it? Do you yeah, not want to admit it? Do you, yeah, you know, like, because right, to the audience, yeah. it's like, yeah, did you? And XQC obviously didn't. His point is that you don't know, but he's losing which ground on it immediately. Point. Yeah, it is. It's a fair point, but he's not good at litigating his own positions. So why don't you tell? Wait, why won't you tell me? See, Ethan's gunning for the, the jugular already. <laughs> yeah. right. Smile on. Yep, because he knows the answer. Did you or didn't? Uh, you know? oh, I'm just saying. Are we moving the goal? Po are we moving the goalpost there now? It's not a goalpost. Oh it's just God. another facet uh, of the. I heard that word it's in the debate post. once. Yeah, that feels like <laughs> one that people roll out. And they're just like, is, right. is that what it well, means? Like, I don't know. It's like, oh yeah, move the goalpost. He's not moving the goalposts. He's up the goal semantics, post. like gaslighting is about yeah, as, all of these as, overused internet words that have ruined things that are actually useful for describing conversations. It's fucking annoying. It it quite literally is when you make it a goalpost. Okay, what? I do want to talk about the permission thing. Okay, there you but go. I just want to. I, I do want to say one thing. Seriously, XUC could have actually drilled a point in there, but he uh, he lost it. But he let it go. Maybe it's it's so tough fingers. to get past the whole. Why aren't you telling us if you had permission or not? Yeah, because uh, if anything, you just showed us an example of you doing the thing. That's, that's all bad. Ethan has to do is just keeps asking that if he brings it up again. In my career, in my ten years of career, I'm sure that there's been times where I have n I've done a less good job of reacting fairly to content. I'm sure of it, right? And so that's you were Ethan, so you were Ethan, you're not anymore. And that's something I acknowledge and something that I'm always working on and analyzing and thinking how I can do it better. It's something I, I really care about. And the reason why this conversation is interesting is because it's something that you don't care about. And I'd like to know, and I'd like to understand that. But are you saying, have I ever done a bad reaction in my whole career? Yeah, pro yes, probably, okay. almost certainly. So, so then, would you agree to e old Ethan or not to old Ethan is a thief? Sack of why dog does, he, shit why does he keep saying old Ethan? It couldn't just be like at any point in time, you know, throughout his entire career. Yeah. He's like trying to cast it as though there was a pattern of behavior of him being shit at it when the point he's obviously making is sometimes I don't do as good a job as I could have. Yeah, because how, how which is a very normal yeah. human That's, being thing oh, to so say. It's normal and it's hard <laughs> to be like, oh, so you admit you're a piece of shit. It's like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he's yeah, admitting and, and, to and, the same time, error, though. not a pattern of behavior. What has already been established, too, is Ethan is showing, like, you know, guilt slash remorse when yeah, XQC's exactly. whole point is that he doesn't give a shit. Exactly. It's a huge difference. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah at, at the same time is that when he, when, he, when he phrases it as old Ethan, he's just giving Ethan a note. He's like, yeah, that was the old me. That, that's true. I've changed. Right. That yeah. is true. Well, because remember, all XQC's goal is is to equalize the field. He's like, we're not so different. He's saying old Ethan at least, right? If it's not new, at least old Ethan is all the things you called me. So, hey. It doesn't you know. even mean anything. No, it doesn't. And Ethan should be able to handle this pretty well. Ethan could easily just, even, even if it was the case that he was bad at it before, he could be like, yeah, I was bad at it, and that was shit. And that's part of the reason why I'm motivated to make sure that, it's, uh, that other people don't make those mistakes. Uh, sure, yeah. In those, if, if that's what happened in that time, sure. I was a dog shit sack loot, whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> Have you made any effort? <laughs> dog shit sack, whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> to repair yes. the damage or the things that you've stolen from the people that you thieved from. Well, again, I don't have specific examples. There's nobody that's approached me, so I, it's, you and know. And have you taken accountability the same way you want me to take accountability publicly for that? I just did, didn't I? Not, not really. Why not? I just said, yeah, I've probably done that. <laughs> what do you want so me to do? You're going to rob a bunch of people and say, guys, I might have robbed somebody. Lol. I'm moving on. What? I mean... Oh. Well, this thing's kind of, kind of a cop out, to be honest. Well, it's not like going uh, in a store and sticking somebody up. Fair use is so interpreted by judge or jury. So, is it is it 
Is it thief or is it not thief? Because the way I see the it, the way you do when, it, I when think it's that. Steal something from somebody, right? There's gonna be a process of like finding who is guilty, how much, and there's a whole process behind it, like the legal system is. Just like, I mean, don't you care about the legal system? You seem to care about DMC a lot, right? So being a thief, surely you're gonna care about that a lot. So did you? He thinks them? he's like making points. Yeah, I, I yeah, assume everyone's yeah, following he's along, but he's getting more triumphant. You know, it's like ah, yes, I'm. I'm like, see, I got him on this thing, definitely. He's trying to wedge in on Ethan, right? Because Ethan's whole thing is that you've taken shit from people that doesn't belong to you, and then he's like, yeah, but you've admitted now that you've at least done it at somewhat at some time in your past, correct? And he's like, yes. And and did you rectify it? Did you pay them? Did you contact them? And if you know, Ethan's obviously gonna say no. Is partly built into his whole thing is that he likely has done it. He doesn't know that he's done it because he always avoids doing it. Kind of the point. Yeah, like, like he doesn't under like XQC doesn't understand that Ethan is saying, "I have a standard. I'm sometimes fallen short of that standard here and there, every now and then." Rather than what XQC does, which was like a pattern of behavior. Exactly, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no like. It, it, I was, I was just trying to think, in, in the entirety of EFAP's history, I wonder if there's any time we, we would have considered ourselves non-transformative. And if someone said, like, Ooh, so you I think you've transformed possible. every single one? I'd probably be like, I don't know that for sure. I don't know. Yeah. I'll say. I think we have. Well, well, be, uh, yeah. if, well if I had to put one or the other, I'd probably go for yeah. we have transformed all of them. But, I mean, there's a chance we haven't, uh, by some standard, maybe beyond our own. Um, There's a difference between that chance versus the XQC chance, which is likely. Basically, you all know. of them. I don't know that I've seen a transformative reaction from him yet. So, mm -hmm. you know. Them? Did you make an apology? I don't know which, where, who the like victims are or if there are any. All right, let's move oh, on. We're oh. talking in circles a little bit. We want to oh, talk oh. about the permission thing? Sure. I mean, so what you're doing is running away pretty much. You're not, we're not running, well, no. we're <laughs> running in a direction and you're going straight forward. And that's what's going on right. now. That's clearly not the case, but gotcha. it's, I'll... I'll I will on, um, just let it be for the sake of continuing the uh, argument. Gotcha. Keep going. But then. yeah, you do it every single day. I mean, I've done it maybe a few times in my career. I've done, you know, uh, and again, I don't know who the victims are and if they come or, or nobody's ever come to me. Has anyone ever complained that you stole their videos? Do you, why do you think he's asking this question? Because the answer is yes. 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 Well, it's beyond the answer has, being yes. Already, he has the screen cap, right, of the... Uh, the yeah, video. he's prepared. Yeah, it's, it's the equivalent of like, you know, off, right? if it's like in Jerry Springer, it's like, if, you, if your mom were here today, what would you say to her? And it's like, you know, I'd probably <laughs> say she's a bitch and I hate her. And it's like, well, we have a surprise for you. Good <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that Ethan has, it was Neo, right? He was the guy who, not Neo from the Matrix, but the, the guy who made the cold <laughs> rune, the cold uh, rune video. That's an example, but uh, no, Ethan's oh, got someone else. Okay. Oh, well, in any case, yeah, I figure that's what he's got, like a tweet or something. Um, anybody that has anybody ever? Me? Oh, absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, because yes. nobody's ever complained to me about that. Oh, so now you care about robbing somebody, right? Well, the and if they didn't tell me, well, you know what? We're you're saying that which is actually a fair response because this this conversation needs to be developed fully, right? It's like, does it only matter if someone complains? Like, well, that's not a good ethical standard, of course. Well, the problem is that it's yeah. almost impossible to develop all of these uh, aspects of the conversation. Yeah. Because um, it's just so... Well, and it's also like just that Ethan's sporadic. already explained that as far as he's aware, he's transformed everything, because that's his goal, but he's probably not done it well at least once, well, maybe more. He's barely, like, comprehending what he's saying. No, I yeah, find yeah. it unbelievable. <laughs> it's insane. I can't believe that he can't understand what Ethan's saying. Well, and, and I do want to give credit where it's due. That is a solid response to what Ethan just said. The fact that he's like, oh, so it's only a problem if people come to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The I agree. victim exactly. of the crime doesn't matter. Which is a oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, gosh, wow. uh -oh. And again, oh, look no. at these face comparisons. Oh, no. Look at that. Angry. Like He's it, oh. it, it should be mentioned. Ethan is more than happy to get him angry. That's like a goal. Oh, of course. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that <laughs> shitty grin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so now you care about robbing somebody, right? Well, the, and if they didn't tell me, well, you know what? We're chilling. You're saying the victim exactly, of the crime doesn't matter? Which is exactly what you went after me with. Does, does the victim of a crime not matter? Well, he's, asked, he's asking after the fact that the exact argument that you went at well, me for, and you're running away from it. I don't know. Listen, the proof that you have victims is literally just concrete proof you did it. That's the only reason I'm saying it. I don't understand well, your point. Which is an okay response, the idea of like, yeah, there may be crimes that aren't accounted for, but we know that there's someone here who feels you've stolen from them. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's more than you've got of me, which is nobody.
So when we say victims, I said yeah, people you, that... some people you stole from. They're a victim. Okay. So okay, what about your victims? I don't know who they are. How many times do I need to say that? Okay, okay. me reaching out and making an agreement with them and every time. This... Yes, we we I, I you're not okay. Listen, Ethan, Ooh. if you. Yeah, and that's, he's, uh, Ethan's moved him in, so now he just needs a reference. If you want to open up the chat and go with the logs, I have so many logs to make your head spin. Let me ask okay? you a question. I have yeah, over, I have hundreds of emails. You should bring those to this conversation. More than any reactor, which is do. more than your... But like, do you remember XUC near the beginning of the conversation said he never likes, to, he, he doesn't like to say always or nevers. He doesn't like those because he always wants to make sure that, and it's like Ethan just said, so you get permission. And he's like, yep, always, every time, yep. It's just like, so now you're screwed, because all he needs to do is get one time where you haven't. But I think mm -hmm. XUC's point was more so that he is invested in it, and he'll do what he can in relation to it. Not that he gets it every time before he covers a video. Yep. Your friend well, is This is why it's good to always say things like, generally, which is what I... Adam, if you're listening, I know you are. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> he does way less asking than I do. Why are you bringing up Hassan? What does that have to do with anything? Because whenever he was on the podcast, he was sucking his balls out. <laughs> what? Like, what? Oh, who's so, sucking whose balls out? <laughs> so we watched, oh uh, we watched Ethan and Assad on Leftovers. That's what XUC is referencing. Um, you know, everyone know, here in chat, know, would you call what Ethan did sucking Hassan's balls out? No, Hassan oh, was, he, <laughs> Hassan was he saw... not comfortable in that conversation. No, he got yeah, grilled. He sucked his I heard. balls out. Of his body. Hassan got more grilled on the topic of React content than it is in the rest of his entire life on that stream. Ethan well, fucked him. Ethan had to apologize after it. <laughs> Even though he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is bizarre. I don't know why he made this point. Yeah. Is, wait, is this the thing that, because there's Hassan, didn't Hassan like start? Even though, like, a couple of days ago, you know, prior to this, he was saying that, like, XQC was a friend. Wasn't this, like, when he started <laughs> chatting about how he was an asshole or something? Uh, don't worry. That's stuff. That'll come later. Oh, uh, good, good. I, yeah. More than any reactor, which is more than your friend Hassan, he does way less asking than I do. Why are you bringing it? up Hassan? What does that have to do with anything? Because whenever he was on your podcast, he was sucking his balls out. Well, like, that's when he was turning on each other. Mr. Chair his balls out and, is odd. Also, XUC just fight. referred to Hassan as Mr. Chair React, which is priceless. <laughs> <Nice>. Fucking priceless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, he's not wrong. No, he's, he's not, not wrong. Right. The, it's it's, wrong. it's the fucking the pot calling the kettle black. It's like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, uh, Mr. Chair reacts. Uh, Dude, you're respect. so dishonest. You don't, you don't even know what you're talking about. Last week, I chewed him out for an hour to the point where I had to apologize because people were mad at me. <laughs> you, like you literally no, don't know. That sounds like your problem. That sounds no, like your that problem. That proves you wrong, you moron. What are you saying? <laughs> it's yeah, that was a huge misfire. I don't I, even XQC knew that uh, Hassan was chewed out by Ethan. I don't know why he phrased it that way. It is my problem, mm -hmm. but you're not, you have no consistency what you're talking about. You just said I lick his balls, and now my, I proved you wrong. Consistency? No, no, you, you, you make no sense. Out. Get it right, Ethan. <laughs> Get it right. Like my, like my whatever. <laughs> Semantics lick again. All same. Bro. So, what do you mean it's my problem? He's shit for doing chair react when he does All right, this, this and is cream. so mine. When he does cookies and cream. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Oh my goodness. What is this madness? What have you done? Family yeah. dumb. Let's just move on to the perf to per Let the permission part. You know, you know, I don't, you want to fucking keep doing a sprint? Let's just keep running. This is a marathon, me and you. How about that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what Wait, those are different. Marathon. Does he understand? Those are the you opposite know, things. It, in his mind, he's like, I know a word that's sort of related to the concept that's of sprinting. So I'll say that. Do, let's do a marathon. You want to do the opposite of this? Yes. <laughs> Some of this, you just have to be like, okay. <laughs> like, what if you say, man? It's okay. Everybody Sometimes the analogies that you come up with on the fly yeah. flounder. Yeah. When, it, when it is all of them, it starts to get a bit problematic. <laughs> it's right now. I'm, I'm running after you, and you are going straight forward now. Okay, good. I mean, that's the point of the conversation, right? <laughs> you were going <laughs> forward. He's like, well, good. Yeah, that's the point, yeah. I so, no, keep going how, what percentage of people would you say you get permission from? Um, the majority. Because yeah. the way it works for me, but for React, the main lines, most of the content that I like, I have it all lined up, right? So people that I really like, I like the best, um, we, uh, we reach out to them and we create this little um, kind of partnership, right? And when there's a smaller creators, I try to be way more careful. 
with um, the amount of growth that they're getting. Um, By the way, this is all really good as a reaction. Like, he should have just brought all this out right at the beginning. Sure that I have partnerships yeah. with all these creators right, that I yeah. care about them, and the smaller they are, the more careful I need to be. Well, it's a I huge mean, winning point with yep. Ethan, because Ethan, yeah. like, the permission part is a big part of it. Obviously, the thing Ethan it. would need to do then is to prove he's lying, if he's yeah, lying. Yeah, provide a Yeah. I mean, that's why this is so weird, because if he just, from the beginning of this, like, drama, if he had just said this, like, I usually do that, and I've made some mistakes, and I shouldn't do that anymore, this wouldn't have blown up. But instead, he had this, like, fuck you, I don't give a shit attitude. And mm -hmm. that's why everyone jumped well, down his throat. The I don't give a shit attitude while very clearly demonstrating that I do. Like, well, supposedly. You know, but it, it makes mean, him seem look, dishonest here. Look at the way he's reacting and look at how, like, like I don't know. It's like, you, you do face. care about this. Right. Yeah, that's a funny face. <laughs> Lots of them. They have. I try, to, I try to be um better with it. And quite honestly, when it comes to small creators, I have never had any pushback. Like, so no victims in that case. Okay. Never. That's okay. that's perfect. Never? All right. Why is it perfect, Ethan? <laughs> Old Why is it perfect? Old <laughs> Have you heard of a guy named Vince, Vince Vintage? You reacted to two of his videos. This one was a, from a month ago. A you remember this video? Um, Disappearance no, of FBI. It's so court of law right now. Do you remember this video? Yeah. <laughs> do you happen to yeah, recall sir, reacting? That or no, do you remember watching this video? Yeah, and then the, the fact that the witness is like, um, uh, I don't remember. Okay, uh, hmm. So I'm clearly there, but, uh. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you remember when you were in the store stealing that we have you on camera doing? <laughs> Which uh, store? I don't remember. I don't know. Is that I me? I, that doesn't I, look I like me. I, I don't know. I just I can't remember. remember. Maybe? I plead the fifth. Guys, most wanted six-year-old <laughs> XQC reacts. This is from a month that, ago. That was two and a half months, uh, two, and no. two and a half weeks ago. Okay, perfect. So it was very recent. So, yeah. so would you consider this guy a small creator? He doesn't have a lot of subs. Uh, in fact, here's his original video. Flying in a store. It ha he only has four hundred thousand. Well, that's not small. But anyway, you did this recently. <laughs> Do you know who that guy is? Oh uh, yes. I think Ethan may have accidentally undermined himself a little bit by describing him as like a small creator because you can tell he right. wants to paint a picture, but then he instantly realized like I shouldn't call a 400k oh. subscriber someone as small. Uh, yeah, small. Um, man, yeah. I wish I would be that small on YouTube. I think a lot of people would say like <laughs> that's small. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> isn't that isn't that viewed as like mid size now? Like a, a million or more is big, right? I mean, it's yeah, it, but you know, compared to the totality of like YouTube channels, it's probably well, the, still it's, like it's in the funny. Top five. The reason Ethan yeah. said small is to help paint the picture of big old XQC is absorbing yeah, and vampiring yeah, this smaller person. Exactly. But really, yeah. it's like you don't even need that as long. The XQC is enormous. Like, of course, he would crush a 400k sub channel easily. Yeah, relative to him, yeah, he's small. Okay, why didn't you ask him for permission? Um, I don't know. Did, did he did he did he complain? Because at at this point, I don't know if I have a victim, right? I don't know. So I didn't do. Well, you do I mean, actually. And what's funny is I literally just reached out to one random person from your recent reacts, just one, who followed me. Cause I oh, knew yeah, I... just one, it's just one. It was only one, for sure. Yeah, no, I swear to God. I so just you wouldn't ask, are you he... a victim, by the way? Are Let me, hold on, this is important. This is, this is important for you to understand. So I reached out Did to you Vince ask a victim Vintage, if they were victimized? and I said, right. hey, I'm just curious. Well, uh, I think what ICC is trying to get at is like you're you're creating victims by tempting them into becoming victims, right? Like, but in a in a way like a like a Saul Goodman type would be like you you have to you, can you make claims on things that have happened in your life? Like, yeah, I think like, no, you hurt your back. You did yeah, hurt you your did, back. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's not okay. You you you're not going to get over it in a week. It's going to be a lifelong debilitating. Come on, buddy. The, uh, the implication <laughs> that XC is giving is like that Ethan would have contacted them and said like, "Are you annoyed that XC did this?" And they'd be like, "No." And he's like, "Yeah, but you are." You are. Right, like you essentially are. work them up. Yeah, and then it'd be like, you know what, you might be able to get on the, you know, you can jump on my podcast if you are annoyed, because you can talk about it. Isn't it? That, that sort of thing could happen. Curious, did XQC get XQC permission? Was and better I'm... at making that argument. Than, yeah, if he was yeah, clear, maybe, and, and dude, if he had evidence. The, the big key that uh, he really should have, uh, like Ethan shouldn't have said, but technically speaking, he probably should give the information, but as he said, the person followed him. It's like, mm -hmm. well, yeah, you're mm. like, oh, biased. In yeah, favor I mean, of you. you could easily point to that. I'm going to read you the message he sent me, if that's okay. Go ahead. He said, really appreciate you reaching out, Ethan. I've never been contacted by XQC at all for any of my Iraq videos. My personal take is this. I love big streamers watching, like XQC, Hassan, Mizkif, Moist Critical, watching my videos on their stream.
I want to pause this moment because it's, uh, it's so priceless. Celebration, obviously. Oh no! Yeah, he's yeah. what? XQC is like There's it's like big... he's reading this out for his benefit, not yours. So yeah. why are you happy? Is... Like you're <laughs> like he's celebrating un unknowingly that there's a big butt. Yes, <laughs> the butt is on its way. It's a big ego bo boost, but when XQC yeah. does it, it's different. When he watches my video, he always re-uploads... <laughs> <laughs> that frown! Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a, it was a funny face. Yep. Whoops. So the whole thing the way on he looked YouTube slumped, channel, it was like a cartoon. Yes. With his insightful commentary as, wow, chat, isn't this crazy? Compared to when Hassan... Hey, chat, isn't this crazy? <laughs> watched my stuff he shouted me out and he says he loves my stuff and he sent a bunch of subscribers to my channel a fair exchange here's a video he showed me a video of, of Hassan doing that and then he said XQC he really just steals my shit entertains his audience of hundreds of hours I put into my videos so what I will say um, is mm. that if I were XQC I wouldn't bother with the bias claim now because the guy himself has said he likes it when people react but XQC does not transform yeah that's right which is that well, point. Well, doesn't like shout out and distinction. doesn't help Hold on a second. Way. I mean, I'm not sure if I can take this guy at his word, because he's making the claim that Hassan transforms. Yeah, but Hassan well, does. It, um, I, you did. know, it should be Sometimes mentioned Hassan on record, does. Hassan is 50-50. Sometimes, and he makes this claim. What he does is he feels he's doing the opposite of what we, people like us, would do. He's never seen what we've said, so he wouldn't know. But he would assume, say he has 10 reactions, seven of them are excellent, one of them's okay, two of them are really bad. We would look at the two and then say, does that every time? And then he would say, nah, I do the seven every time. And that's like, that's like the stupid fight that goes back and forth and why the communities clash and stuff. I'm willing to admit he does right. perfectly right. great reactions sometimes. But the, the fact is when I was doing nice. my, um, sort of getting familiar with his work, uh, for back when we did those, the coverage of him, I took the newest streams and I found, I think it was like three or four examples of him playing videos while he got up from his seat. And I was just like, but the fact is, like, <laughs> if if it were seven good for three bad, but the thing is he streams 12 hours a day every day, then you stack up a huge amount of bad reactions, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. well, easy yeah. to it's, get your ammo. It and seemed then, like for him also, it wasn't a transformation, it was the fact that Hassan wasn't uploading it on YouTube and that he was giving, like, a shout-out and trying to actually help his channel grow. So he's like, even if you don't transform it, just helping me is fine. Which XUC is not doing. Right, right. Well, because because I think that was the problem with them, um, the JXE thing, right? Is that rather than actually helping Jay out, Hassan just clicked away. He clicked away as soon as Jay started promoting the channel. Right. Like, yeah. oh no, 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 can't have that. Bye, bye. And this was after having just fucked off for like what, like sixty, seventy percent of that video wasn't mm -hmm. even in the room. At least, yeah. Man, that was well, that was a that was a, a long time was, ago. Was was Referino, mm -hmm. but yeah, that was hey, like a, it's what, a year and a half or something. Up? I think it might have been two years. Well, hey, it's Damn. it's part of what kind of got this all kicked off again. I mean, that's mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know the the kind of yeah. stuff that still gets brought up. That video Apparently, is it's gonna be a mainstay for us, I guess, because this is the third time it's come back, right? Well, because it's probably gonna <laughs> oh, keep yeah. coming back, yeah. Well, I get just a link in the YouTube description. The problem isn't the reacting, it's the re-uploading of my video with his face on the thumbnail, and also, and, and I don't DMCA him because I don't want the tri the Twitter drama. Mm. Ah, that's a good one. Mm. Which, by the up. way, is, is a good one to bring up. something that's very real, but a lot of people do not take seriously at all. There are some people debating yes, this topic is... that think I, that's not I, a real thing. I just find that remarkable that anybody could think, like, Hmm, why wouldn't like a relatively smaller channel want to get into a big dramatic fight yeah. with a massive platform? Beef with a massive streamer, yeah, on social yeah. media. Yeah. Weird. Like, guys, I think I think a lot of people either are like in a way we're sort of desensitized to it, but it's still like a thing we have to think about. And a it lot of people can't really imagine what it's like to get dogpiled by thousands of people on the internet. Um, yeah. It actually right. kind of fucking sucks <laughs> a lot of the time. Well, and people obviously the, uh, want to avoid that. People are conflict diverse. People don't want to get into fights. Like people generally don't want to get into fights anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's I a lot of I stress think all of and us, infamy. All of us here have probably had like a minor canceling event happen to us at least once, right? So, but nope. a big pile of people come after you, or like it, it's you know the first time it really sucks, but you kind of get used to it if it keeps happening. As as callous yeah, as that seems, like I'm, you kind of get over it, you know. 
like I'm way, you know, I'm I'm way more used to it now and desensitized to it. You know, the things I used to be afraid of, I'm like it's a badge of honor now. But, you know, mm-hmm. not a lot, you know, a lot of people obviously aren't in the spaces we're in and they just want to make their videos and have a good time and, you know, totally fair and they don't want to get I mean, like until it happens to you, it's really tough to know what it feels like. And I promise right. you, especially the first couple times, it really sucks. Yeah, it does. It does, that's for sure. Um I do know that Part of this conversation is that DMCA on YouTube has such a bad rap, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that e- yeah. even if even if you use it in a proper way, there's going to be an assumption that you're just being slimy. And so everyone's going to come after you. Yeah, people view it as, oh, you removed content that this guy I liked made? Wow, that was, I was going to watch that, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's it's a bit hard to talk about because there's an assumption on either side that you know whatever your guy is doing is the right thing, right? Like the 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 creator who takes down a video because it's it's he views it as theft, well he views it as theft. But then the creator who has his video taken down, he views as his rights as being infringed, right? So I mean, and yeah. then wh- whoever you watch, that's who the fa- fans usually side with. So. People can be and, and super the, tribalistic when it comes to defending, you know, their content creators and streamers, and I don't expect the audience that XQC has developed to be the most um, high IQ, intelligent, <laughs> cultured, you know, all those things that you should be. I don't imagine that they are any of the sure. things that you should strive to be. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they're fine people. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want the Twitter drama. Wait, why okay. are you? Well, hold on. This guy says you stole his shit. Why are you denigrating that? <laughs> I think you should take this seriously. That was such an easy fucking hot shot. Just being like, yeah, no. hey, take this seriously. Don't be a beady. Well, because one, he's a paid actor, right? Like, uh, what? 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 <laughs> what? He's a what? Oh. He's a paid actor. He's a paid, paid actor. actor. He's oh. an unpaid YouTuber, but a mean? paid actor. <laughs> Oh, yeah, why did he say that? that way. Why Whoa. did he say that? It's like there's a conspiracy against me. Look at Ethan's face. <laughs> this attempt on my reputation yeah. has left me scarred and deformed. Ethan has some great facial reactions throughout this. He does. <laughs> he doesn't want the Twitter drama. Wait, why okay. are you... Well, hold on. This guy says you stole a shit. Why are you denigrating that? I think you should take this seriously. Well, because one, he's a paid actor, right? Which huh? I think... Well, I mean, it, this is, I mean, that's a paid actor, 100%. Wait, what? What um, did you say? <laughs> Oh, it's a paid actor. He's he's a paid actor. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay, I well, mean, just assume for the sake of the <laughs> conversation that he's not a paid actor. Why did you actor? let that go, Ethan? Okay, no. wait, wait. No, do no, you, no think... you can't just... No, no. Do you think that he just said the paid actor line and then realized it was really stupid and now he's just, like, trying to... Kind of I think he threw it out there. Not yeah. acknowledge it? Well, like he's uh, hold it on. He's like, paid actor, yeah. Faith... Well, I'm so, good faith. I think this is a language thing this time. Because you could you could have like you know uh, someone who is paid to do this, okay, paid actor. He doesn't know the term for it in English when it's not an actor but still being paid to do something underhanded. Dude, like what? I, I think you, you could even like good faith draw so it back you're... to him saying that he was following him and that they could be have a bias. But like this is terrible language to use if you want to get that point across. Mm-hmm. It immediately makes yeah. people think that Ethan actually found a man, paid him, and to pretend that this is all the truth when he's provably a person, provably has the channel. The the react took place like. All of this stuff right. is, is, is absolutely stupid as fuck because of the image it puts in everyone's head. But, yeah, if XQC no, 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 was to Mahler. lay it out as, as just, he's he's someone that you set up to say all of this, that would, that would go over way better. Yeah, yeah. It, it's all, the whole thing. The channel, all the subs, all the whole videos thing. before this. It was it was all set up to catch XQC. Well, the fact is, would it be really funny if XQC doesn't even remember his reactions and so they actually did edit all of that and it's not even real? <laughs> and XUC's like, yeah, I guess I did that. I don't fucking remember, whatever. <laughs> okay, put it, yeah, okay. So the first guy you react, right? The first guy you send a message to sends you a paragraph that looks like the Bible, right? And it's stroking your ego out. So, well, you know what? That's okay. I'll well, bite. Like, I'll bite in the bone. Maybe, maybe yeah, like um, yeah. So what's, what's really points. cool about this, right, is that we can make that Again, Ethan just loving this. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't believe he's saying all this. Yep. It's incredible. Type of, oh type of interaction I have with this person and make it 10 times better um, for our um, ecosystem, right? Of uh, how what I watch, what I upload. If he had asked, what, he doesn't have to, he can use the DMCA system and maybe there will be Twitter drama or not. We usually, we never make, we never make drama for DMCA stuff. But then I don't know he, what you're talking about, dude. Why are you not me, responding me, to his accusation? Me, he says you're let, stealing his shit. 
Let me let, let me elaborate. Let me elaborate. I don't know. Okay. Let me elaborate. Then. <laughs> okay. He he would he would be a data outlier of a person who doesn't like it, and we can either recurve that, make it better, and I will de damage him for every dollar that he had lost to me. Right? And he had analytics to back up how much the video uh, uh, on YouTube um, cannibalized his or any sort of um, damaging data or stats behind it. I would be more than hell. I would be more than happy to give him ten times at ten x. Whatever damage okay, was good. caused. He'll reach out. Oh. Have you ever paid anybody 10x before? <laughs> so if you could tell... 10x bet! Ethan's very... As he watched the stream that I was on, so he already knew that this was something XUC was going to say, and he's already been like, right. yeah, that's great, it's good that you do that. Have you ever done it? Yeah. It's just, uh, he's, he's that? trying to undercut it as soon as possible. Which, again... This is your um, fault. Well, I, I, technically, I, I, XQC, okay. I didn't think Ethan <laughs> would actually watch that stream. Uh, but, yeah, it goes to show. He did. Or someone on the staff did. But um, I would say that this is a little bit mean, um, because this is, it's a good thing that XCC's just said, and if anything, you want to encourage it, right? You don't want to be like... Well, uh, I to mean, be if, fair, XCC said, if you could produce analytics, and that's kind of like, that's the hard part, is like, well, how would you produce that evidence? Uh, right? I mean, we well, had a huge conversation about that. You have to show that there'd be like a massive dip, and if you don't show true, that, yeah. is he going to say, well, fuck you, you know? Well, so part of the, this is this is what I was actually going to say was that unless, of course, he's lying. And so at that point, it is kind of your job to try and weedle it out. And you could do that right. by being like getting him to admit that, yeah, he's never going to pay anybody because they'll never be able to definitively prove they've lost anything. And that mm -hmm. could be what his plan is. Has that ever we, happened? We, we, we have. How many times? Before. Whatever it arises, if it, if it, if how, how many times does that happen? It arises is not uh, really I check with editor, but it, right, it, not it, a lot. It, I'd assume not a lot of people do that. Oh, okay. So the amount really um, is what you're looking at then. That no, this, just what XCC should have said is, yeah, most people are very happy with my reactions, but those who aren't get compensated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just, it just makes you been... sound pretty solid at that point instead of right. going, yep. oh, so with the budget, but the bad. <laughs> That's the amount of times that people actually take you up on that. Because what you're saying is, I'm going to steal your stuff, and I don't care if you have a problem with it. You can come talk to me. Like, that's not, that's not your right. Shouldn't you apologize to Vince? Vince from Shamwow? Oh, yes, it's, it's not his job to come ask you for, for reparations for you stealing from him. Don't you understand that? That is a fair topic. So what yep. you're saying is that you went digging for victims... Well, that is fair, but Ethan kind of made the exact same point like 10 minutes ago. It's yeah, like, but, well, no one's come to me, so... Um, yeah, that's the thing. He, SQC's got to catch those things, but he... Yeah. Not mm -hmm. as good at that. That's I literally been... messaged one dude. Okay, so nobody in your production room believes Why that. don't you just apologize to Vince in Vintage? production room? Uh, I absolutely will, and I feel... I, did, I didn't get a Twitter I DM. Production I, didn't get no, I didn't get nothing. I feel really bad. You want to know why? It's all about the, all, the whole sphere of this, everything around it, is to make something good happen, right? And that matters That's to me a lot. That's such bullshit, bro. Nice try. You literally do it to enrich yourself. You're a multimillionaire, and you steal content from small creators, and you don't give a fuck about their rights or what they want. And then your only justification is, oh, yeah, you can come chase me down and complain and try to get my attention so I can pay you for the shit I stole. It's total bullshit, bro. That's true. That's a good so, point. That was a Ooh, really good if, just slam dunk yep. in terms of yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Can you imagine like if a like if a corporation did this for a company? We're just gonna steal, mm -hmm. you know, anything that you have, and if you manage to find out about it and then you know come after us, then we'll be like, oh, okay, well, we'll give you some, you know, we'll shoot right. you some forgiveness money. Whoops. So uh, the black uh, pill is that actually happens quite a bit. If you're like a, pro a professional photographer, your stuff gets stolen all the time, and you better hope that you see it because they'll give you money if you see it, but otherwise, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, every once in a while, there's a story about, uh, I and mean, this has been happening with like Call of Duty <clears throat> skins and stuff where they just like steal people's shit. Uh, I was going to mention oh. that um, with this sort of slam dunking, it's uh, because XQC was about to get into the whole, like, ultimately, everybody benefits. He does the whole, like, mm. you know, rising tide benefits or lifts all boats or whatever. But right. uh, is, is Ethan's cut him off with the fundamental logic, which is true. It's just like, how come your worldview happens to benefit you the most out of everyone? Mm -hmm. Seems a little bit convenient. You're not creating anything big for anyone. You're just taking attention and views for yourself, and you don't give a fuck about the... The, uh, the consequences of that. It's not your decision to make that for other people's property. I would say that uh, Ethan's clearly following whatever plan he's got on that laptop and that we've come to 
like lay out what what he what he does, how wrong it is, what his feelings on it are in total, the whole asking uh, forgiveness instead of permission, and then once all the major points were laid out and the lack of permission, then how much he doesn't care, he just did the the speech, which I believe possibly was written down because he kept looking back at the screen. And, it was uh, yeah. It's like bold, at this point, underlined. He's pretty much done everything <laughs> he needs bond. to do now. Like this this has destroyed yeah. uh, most people's yep. perception if it was ever positive anyway. Mm -hmm. You sound like I mean, um, watch out! You sound, you sound like Robin Hood or something. Are you like some sort of hero or something like that? Well, uh, what? Oh, what <laughs> great retort! Uh, Fantastic. Would have gone for an example. Well, I think it was. I think I would have gone for him probably if I was XQC on the big impassioned speech. I would have asked if he had written it down. I would have called him Robin Hood. It feels like a yeah. weird, <laughs> confusing well, analogy. You you're know? absolutely what, right. Are you like if, Superman? If you had called out yeah. that he wrote it down, <laughs> what are you a would... hero? It would work really well for like how set up this all is and you can make appeals to the fact that he had like this has all been railroaded but yeah by saying like what right. are you some kind of hero ethan could just be like well thanks i guess i don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know not really but <laughs> sure if you feel that way because it I seems like the, 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 the road the road that xqc had to go down was to say that yeah okay i do take this stuff but you know what here's some numbers here's some figures showing that the people whose videos that I watch actually benefit from it in some material sense. Because there are mm -hmm. examples of that, of people actually blowing up after having their stuff reacted to. Yeah, That's, that should have been his argument this whole time. If he had said... And if um, you are in XQC's position, you need to be like, all right, guys, we've got to find this list of people who blew up because of this, and I need to have this on me at all times and maybe memorize it. Yeah, no, that and, and statements from them XQC. being like, uh, XQC reacting to my channel is the only reason I have a career. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me, and I hope he does it for more people in the future. If you had lines like that, <laughs> right. you know, it would help. But uh, uh -huh. they, they haven't fished for them. And, and, you know, we all know the reason why. XQC doesn't care if it blows up your channel or not. He hopes it does, yep, I guess. he doesn't give a it's, shit. It's, it's better than, is... than not, especially because it'll help his uh -huh. reputation overall. But he doesn't give a yeah. shit, as long as it benefits him. He's only happy because he can use it as a potential defense for his own behavior. Yeah, the and, only and reason he cares. If he edged toward being that level of honest with Ethan, if he said, yes, my worldview of trying to benefit everybody really does highly benefit me, but I don't think the drawbacks are enough to say that it's an overall negative. I still think it's an overall positive. And, you know, if you were that honest about it, you might be able to get somewhere. You do a lot of that. I mean, there's... I mean, and there's... Um, I mean, I guess if he wants to go down the philosophy route, which he, I, he he's definitely capable of doing... He could say, I was like, well, I mean, in a way, like, we all sort of believe in, you know, ideologies and things that we can do that do benefit us. It just benefits other people as well. So that's not yeah, really exactly right. like, a, like a big deal. Um, like his just, just in, very in... specifically benefits him <laughs> in a very great way at the expense of other people. Yeah. So that's uh, I... I mean, I, I think what you're describing, Rag, is like something that everyone does all the time right so like if you let's say you, you know you own a, you own a business you own a little shop you decide to hire someone well are you doing it out of the good of your heart because they need a job well no because you need you need their labor to help you out but you're still going to help them by giving them a job right so yeah there's it's this easy idea to say that... i do things for a variety of reasons and if it wasn't beneficial to me or anybody else i i, I wouldn't do them you know and i yeah. have empathy and I, I realize if it helps me you know then this thing might help other people as well yeah I, I think it's very some level easy of to... and eloquence i don't think he has <laughs> it's very easy to, to bite the self-interest bullet as long as you can say yes of course i'm self-interested we're yeah, all self-interested i'm running a business but here, other you know? people I'm are also helped people. so yeah yeah there's ways to do this he's just not doing it well their ego is what is it egoistic or egocentric altruism what's what's the terminology i think um it sounds objectivism <laughs> oh I, I mean is that what it's <laughs> in, in, in a way yeah that, part of that, that is an american is that, term yeah. for what you're talking about yeah Oh, okay. Um, I'm just saying, you go, he can, yeah, they call go, it go for some kind of broader fill. Gooberism. <laughs> George Washington <laughs> Carver. <laughs> he the invented the, the philosopher. Yeah, I think the, the yeah. point yeah. being it's is altruistic egoism, it, yeah. If he can present it in any way that is more than just pure kind of dumb self interest, that would help him. Mm -hmm. I would defense. Think. You take the high road on that. One, that's, that's my point. You have done that. You do that. You haven't proven are... that. Well, it's 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 all okay. That, oh, fine, I did it. You know what I mean? It's like so stupid. Should, what is it? Should it? What does because the? Because you can't use me as an example Why? for your own thing. Because <laughs> you keep saying that you're doing it. Not proven. You're doing it. You're doing it. You oh call me. God, you call me a thief piece of shit. When yeah. you're yeah. doing it, the major you haven't proven him. that. I don't know why you keep saying that. Oh, oh, let let me send one DM. I I will, guys. 
I'm going to send one message and I he will uh, what was automatically that give me a that was weird. He's really do like he's he's really playing into the whole like this guy you got to say all this stuff is just just happens to worked all out that way. It's like actually so you got to come up with a better point. That one sucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Full response right now. Give me a minute for it. Okay. You're making fun of this message I got from Vince because Vintage, which is a genuine, he was expressing himself genuinely, and he was disturbed by the way he uses content. Can I ask you another question to, related to Vince? I'll take it out right now. I'll take, I'll, I will take it out. If Vince wants, if, if Vince wants right now, <laughs> I'll take it out right now. It was like a machine gun that was yeah. that, malfunctioning. Say, this ecosystem right, but that's doesn't just, work okay. for you. Let, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. This is Go the ahead. video, and you do this all the time. You'll agree. Yes. This. Oh, this is the no. slam dunk. This, this is a tough one to escape this, from. Uh, this Why? does not bode well for the taste uh, test. Uh, Why? No, oh, so, well, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm saying that he's going to ask him why. Now, for the context for the audience, if you don't understand what you're looking at here, this the original video has a thumbnail and a title, and then what the, these reactors do, including Hassan, he did it all the time too is they just take the same thumbnail, put their own face on it, and take the name because it helps feed themselves into the algorithm right. for the, the video itself. The original video, yeah. Now, you, you might be like, they don't necessarily, you don't know that that's why they're doing it. It's like, why the fuck else would they be doing it? That absolutely <laughs> is why they do it. Like, Man, it's most you know of the same search terms in the title, of course, is going to muddy the waters. Yep. That's not even a good reaction face. No. <laughs> no it really? Yeah, you're right. It really isn't. Like he's just kind of sitting there. He's like, uh. Very interesting. <laughs> like, oh, he stole six airplanes. He's like, no, uh, like, yeah, bro, <laughs> what a Chad. He stole six airplanes. How does one steal six airplanes? <laughs> we'll have to watch uh, the video. We'll have to right. watch the video, but well, do you want to watch the reaction? I could, I could watch the X video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, maybe he was just winging it. I'm sure it comes up yeah. second on the test results. Hey, nice one, Rags. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good, Rags. Uh, so so someone know. in the chat says, uh, at least it's not a soy Wojak. No, that's the preferable face to just disinterest. What is this one? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this one know. is... Um, Concerned? It, it, I don't know. Like, like I said, I feel like the sound the sound should be like... Mm -hmm. Like, that's the sound <laughs> that's invoked by this picture. <laughs> 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 I'm watching the little puppet dinosaur break out of its egg. Yeah, exactly. you, you use the exact title and oh. the exact thumbnail. Oh. The only reason for anybody to do that is to confuse search and discovery and cannibalize views from the original. That is the only reason to do that. Do you have any sense to back that up? Because I had the sense of the opposite. There were the Dude, like, are there any stats to you back the up opposite? why you would do it? So, so this yeah, is the thing. How he's, he have the what he's, what SUC is saying is that uh, you'd need statistics to prove that's what's happening. But Ethan's just talking about motive. What, yeah, what, right. what Which, are you trying to do? Not what the result is. The, the thumbnail right. and the title. Don't you see that users will be confused? <clears throat> Let me say something, Ethan. Don't you think so? My YouTube channel does not grow. It quietly doesn't, but you're thinking. Well, that's because you just post a ton of shit there. No, you don't put any effort into it. Ooh. Okay, and I mean, <laughs> wait, why did he let he let him change the topic? He got to stay on the thumbnail. I think they, st I think they do stay of... on it though. Okay. Wait, what? Is... Why do you think that is? Because you don't give a fuck. Okay, clearly. So, gotcha. So these are cut downs for the people that we call the YouTube frogs that are just watching my shit. Um, why are they called YouTube content, frogs? Though. Pepe's, the emotes. Don't sully the good name of frogs. I'm like just Pepe asking, emotes are so like, thorough and used that he can, like, the viewers have now become frogs, right? Like, that's the idea. Oh, I see. Also, oh, XKC's okay. YouTube channel has 2.31 million subscribers. Well, the that thing is, is that when he says it's not growing, he probably, it still probably is. Like, it's probably still growing, it's just the number is lower than I mean, he it thinks. Is. Constitute the growth, growth you see is almost all exclusively people from his Twitch who also like YouTube. And then go people on, who manage to enter into the algorithm thanks to the fact that they're like, who the fuck's this guy reacting to a video I wanted to see anyway? I guess I'll watch him react to it. Those people exist. I don't know how many there are. That's where the stats come in. They have to exist. They that's, have to. that's the whole reason they do the thumbnail title thing. You don't yeah. get that right. Okay, well, same goes by you then. No, you haven't proven that. You keep saying that, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, then show me proof you asked for permission and you got it. Sh uh, why? Now you're asking me to show oh, wait, you this is from... Dude, you're absurd. <laughs> this, is, this thumbnail I just put in, in Discord is like from one day ago. Uh, and I've here we go. Seen the same, I've seen the same thumbnail from the 
actual video, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, he's still going. The, obviously, the, yeah. the Hassan does the same thing. They're all still going. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I just saw it while I was looking at the... Uh, mm. Looking at it the subscriber number, nothing yeah. has been changed. It's just nothing has changed. Oh. Sir, why is it? Why? it you, you you think it's crazy, dude? The fact that you're using the same title and the same thumbnail is so parasitic. It's so shady. You mm -hmm. you are only doing that to siphon off views and confuse people. There, there you go, Sitch. He stayed on it. There's no other reason Good. for that. Why would you use the same exact title why? and the same exact Give thumbnail? Us a reason. Explain that to me. So are you more upset about the title or about the content of the video itself? Well, it's the intention, dude. It's all it's all together. You're you're intentionally it's confusing all people pile. to click your video since, instead of his. Since you're, since you're all about legality, you would understand that intention is one of the hardest things to prove out there, right? I'm I don't talking... think he's ever mentioned legality really at all. But not to mention, that's a fucking awful thing. When Ethan is like, I can tell it's a bad intention, your response needs to be, no, 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 it's this good intention, and now let me convince you that it's the good intention. Oh, your response like, should well, you be, can't prove it to that yeah, you one. can't you prove it. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal. Yeah. Like, why oh, would you no. say that? Did you push the old lady? She's dead now. It's like, you you don't know. <laughs> you can't <laughs> prove it. Why would prove you it. say that? Wait, 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 wait. No, it's about what you can prove. <laughs> you didn't say no. <laughs> about philosophy we already moved past legality you don't care about fair use yeah no no we, we, we're gonna get like do just answer the question Felix. How, how, <laughs> why did you do that why did you give it the same exact title and thumbnail just answer that oh because i wanted to oh. why did you want to is the obvious yeah because i wanted to fail why did you want to Oh, exactly. Yes. Why did you want to? Oh wow! Because yes. the, the thumbnail is good, and it gives the viewer uh, what they want. Right. And, uh, oh which is God. the it's original. Because oh, he failed so oh, bad on that. That, was, that might mm -hmm. be his biggest blunder so far. Yeah. Well, because yeah it... The Ethan was like, "Why did you do? You're doing this because it's effective. Why did you do it? Because it's effective." Yeah. Why? <laughs> because it's siphons. I mean, and he oh, that out because he said, "I want to," which is a shit answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, basically I mean, saying, it, it, oh yeah, I, I'm I'm doing this so I get the most amount of people to see it and watch my content because that's beneficial to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like Weird. it's, it's pretty that? much over. Um, he's got him now because it I feel like driver. that's the definitive yeah. evidence that SUC does not care about anybody but himself. Video. They want the original video. Okay, so the okay, so I'll, I'll tell you since since you you don't like questions, I'm just gonna give you a fact then, right? Um, people that don't watch React content do not get served React content. If somebody wants to watch us react it, <laughs> the way that like, wait, what? Good question. Who cares? Ethan said, "Who gives a fuck?" And look at him. Look yeah. at that face again. It's like, oh, I've won this. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought it being cannibalistic was a problem with you. What well, is it not? <laughs> You're gonna try to say that the Google algorithm is somehow running D for you? That's crazy. It's stupid. The Google algorithm is running <laughs> different. Yeah. So, so you're so you said that it's cannibalistic. I give you a hint on the why it's not. Well, it's, it's, the it's, intention. Irrelevant. it's the intention. Okay, so now, so now it's it. So if you want to just keep going back and forth and say not there, not there, not there. Okay, so you see no you're problem with this. And that's the thing. I, I don't know if XUC understands it and is trying to avoid it, but like actually pointing out your intention to siphon off views is the worst. Like that's the biggest hit Ethan could get on you. Now it doesn't matter what your results are. You only want to benefit. Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. And if you added 20... Because this is the thing. SUC could have said, so we match the title and thumbnail oftentimes in order to let people uh, easily find the original video. It really helps with discovery. You could have made that argument. I mean, you, you could say that. Far better thing to say. <laughs> yeah. It's not I mean, good. You, you can play ignorant. What he said. You can be like, I'm, I'm almost certain that's what leads statistically to benefits. Uh, we haven't been proven otherwise. Well, okay. Here's the question: Is does Felix have some level of moral integrity to not directly lie, or well, but that, is he uh, just too lazy to create a lie in the first place? What like, I just said, I'm pretty sure he believes. He one. believes that they benefit, and if ever they didn't. He, like he, he said, like, he thinks that the fucking person that Ethan's got as an example is lying, that he's doing this for the clout. Like, no, he I mean, genuinely like, believes he... that they do benefit, but he doesn't care if they benefit. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, like, if he gave the, like, the rationale you gave for why it's the same thumbnail and title, like, no one would believe that, except for maybe, you know, his fame. Yeah, but like, that'd be so, obvious surely enough. you agree it's better than saying, I did it because I did it because I did it because I did it. No, right, so it. that's what my question is. Is he too lazy to construct a lie or a rationale? Or does he have some, like, like moral fiber where he's like, well, I'm going to do shitty stuff, but I won't lie about it?
I have a feeling it's that he knows that he does it to siphon the views to get into the uh, additional algorithms. I feel like he does know that, and that that's why that's happening. Right. So yeah, he couldn't come up with a lie, and he was just like, fuck it, yeah, I do it because I want to. Like, whatever. Many yeah. seconds of commentary to his video, and you use the same title and the same thumbnail. You don't see any problem with that. Uh, no. Okay. There it is. So, so it seems like <laughs> all you really need to say. So it seems that like you don't care about... It seems you don't not, not just care about the law. It seems like you don't care about uh, people's artistic, creative uh, property at all. It seems that you don't have any respect for property at all. IP, at least. It seems like um, nobody, to my knowledge, has a problem with any of my videos being up right now. But you're like a prolific thief. You could say, oh, I found one example of you doing this back in two, whatever year. You're a prolific thief, dude. You do this every day, multiple times a day on your YouTube channel. So does the sound, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying it, yeah. Gotcha. So uh, I, I, I will go to somebody's house and say, uh, um, take something, and he doesn't care, right? He surely doesn't, and never, <laughs> never reached out. And you go out there, and you go and seek the victims out, right? And you failed to, um, to establish a pattern of them being cannibalized the way that they well, there's there. just one. This is I mean, getting tough to one. follow. Uh, it is hard. <laughs> uh, and I think Ethan, uh, something Ethan's that... done his job at this point, he feels. And so now we're looking for an exit uh, from his POV. Mm -hmm. It's enough, isn't it? Okay. In that case, it puts the burden of proof on you as well, then. What? So you permission. Yes, because I, I think... Uh, I no, don't need permission to, re to transform content, dude. True. Okay. So, there's four of them, so you guys see all of them. Um, if you have, if you have proof, you, should, you ask permission for, to any of those, you win by a landslide. Why? I don't know. It's a Why little tough we... to follow this. I think XQC think, I guess XQC doesn't understand that fair use literally says you don't need to have permission from the copyright holder. It literally <laughs> says that in section, I think it's 106 of the United States copyright law. I think his but, problem is that he is just latching on to anything that comes to mind, so there's no clear pattern to his arguments, whereas there is a much clearer pattern to Ethan's arguments. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So when I, I said, think, like, an hour ago or something that he was just deer in the headlights and on the back foot the whole time, I think this is when, when it really comes out, that he's just been jumping from whatever comes into his head to whatever comes into his head with no, no actual long-term plan for this conversation. Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ethan I think had he... point set up, proven, knock him down, set up, proven, point him down. Mm -hmm. like, and he's yep. yep. You're nailing it. Kinda. Well, as you said, you know, Ethan's he's obviously Ethan came into this with a structured plan of attack yeah. that he's been following. He's Ethan's had complete control of this entire conversation. He's been directing the flow of it at at every point. And every time XQC tries to drag somewhere else, Ethan will just ignore it and go back to whatever he's trying to say. And XQC keeps falling into the. The question he again, again, was again. traps. He does right. say, yeah. like, Ethan lays out these traps and he falls into them. Because, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Ethan's goal was not to change XQC's mind. It was to no. win. Yeah, of course not. It was to win. <laughs> yeah. No, and, 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 and the thing is, is that XQC wanted to win too, but his strategy was, oh, well, I'm going to make him mold. I think it's like, Ethan, hope for the Ethan's best. Was just systematic. Yeah, exactly. He was... He was really confident that he would win, even though he didn't have any, like, victory parameter. Well, and we got... Ethan um, had. We got insight into what parameters. Ethan well, thinks of him in that sort of little speech he gave, right? Which was that yeah. you're a you're a piece of shit that's just mm -hmm. trying to benefit off of everyone else's work. That's all you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, he did have a victim parameter. It, it was to get a big own, right? Yeah, but right. what what does that even mean? You know, <laughs> like what? Yeah, what I think I think like. like... Yeah, I think maybe XQC was a bit too internet brained for this. You know, it it kind of reminds me of some of the Vosh debates that I've seen. I'm sure you guys have watched some or either yeah. on the show or not on the show, but like the Vosh debates where he just thinks he can be carried through the conversation by charisma. And well, so where he's done absolutely no prep on the subject. Yeah, that's subject. his like meme, right? He doesn't yeah. research ever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you know it's what like there another was one name for water like... is? Aqua. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aqua. 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 Yeah, that's right. That? that was classic. Yeah. So he, yeah. He, he talked to the um, the professor of philosophy. That was the Aqua conversation, and then he talked to uh, what if Alt Hist about history with no oh, prep, yeah. and he's like a history guy, and he just got like completely shellacked. It was it was wild, but mm -hmm. yeah, I think XQC is kind of doing the same thing where he thinks that like he he is just you know he's hard to understand, yes, but he's he's very charismatic. He's popular for a reason. 
he definitely like he's entertaining so he thinks that he can just kind of skate by on style which is not going to work maybe it's it's a massive overvaluing of your traits and attributes mm -hmm. i've never why seen i need proof to trend i've always seen him need... do these debates and he's so bad in them xqc or ethan XQC. Right. Well, I mean, you saw his yeah. content. You saw him watching Lemonade. Well, you're yeah. right. I think he was. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You know what? I think yeah, that was great. Shit. That's great true. Good I mean, shit. like, when he first started off, he was a professional Overwatch player, right? And there was yes. obviously value in seeing someone yeah, play a game at still, a high level of skill. Yeah, he still sure. plays it, and apparently he's very good at it. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think probably that, that plus his unique personality is what got him to where he is now. What is his unique but personality? That, Oh, hold on. Hey, no, this <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to question. be nice here, Sech, okay? <laughs> but yeah, like like that skill plus his personality probably got him where he is. Um, but that doesn't give you anything in the debate arena. Yeah, but so just stick to that. Just stick to doing video games and like don't move out of that if that's all you can do. I mean, that's fine if, that, yep. if you get a lot yeah, of success well, so that way. To be fair, I really think that actually he thought he had this. Like he was like, "This is gonna... he." Uh, I think at some point referred dumb. to Ethan yeah. as being like a complete <laughs> idiot loser. Like this will be fine. But I yeah, was surprised when, when Ethan brought out the clips. You? I was like, "Holy fuck, he's doomed!" <laughs> like that's it. He's, he's done the rap. <laughs> Before he kind of well, talked it... to you about this, has he debated other people on the subject? Only Destiny, I think, or any subject. I don't, like, I don't does think he have so. some? Does know. he have a reason to think that he would like do well in this conversation? Unfortunately, Sitch, I feel like it's like most people feel like they'll do fine if they think they're right on the subject. They'll just be like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I got this." And this okay. thing, Ethan Klein's reputation is it's like everyone thinks he's a complete loser, idiot, nonsense, that can't do anything right. So this will be simple, and he's going to get a big own. Because I'm wondering, like, because you. You were pretty nice to him in the conversation, and I'm wondering if that set like set him up to think he did well in the conversation, even though you like annihilated oh, him. Oh, he didn't understand that Mahler <laughs> right. just was kind of not like soft polite about but just it, like yeah. clear and concise and polite, but right. direct. Um, and maybe because like Destiny and Abba kind of ran interference, and it like gave him a false sense. Well, of what confidence they said they'd be fine with me uploading the whole channels and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but what, yeah, but with like the, uh, the chat simply yeah, the existing takes, on the screen would make it transformative. Right. Oof. Um, Abba with the bad takes. I can't believe that we had to rely on Carantos yep. <laughs> to be the voice <laughs> of reason. Oh, God. He is funny. He, he is really funny. He's ridiculous. Oh, no, he really was isn't. insane. No, I didn't know what was going to fucking happen. I love how insane he is. I love Carantos that. Carantos is shockingly shit. unfunny, stupid, uh, simple minded. Uh, I have no fucking clue. How he has gotten he, in with Destiny the way he has. He's, he is stupid and simple minded, but I will say he's funny. I, I yeah, so just it's kind of like it. it's kind of like the meme, it. like uh, XQC is to like uh, Mahler is like Thor, and he's like I can't defeat you, but he can. <laughs> and there's like Kratos <laughs> coming in, just like screaming. <laughs> one of the videos that, that that I but I did, there's four of them. So you guys see all of them. Um, if you have, if you have proof, you, you ask permission for, to any of those, you win by a landslide. Why would I need proof to transform a video? Oh, I mean, the only okay. one is me, Cannon, because he's my buddy. There's obviously ones where, like, it's obvious when your buddies. I actually did ask me, Canyon. Uh, oh, it's, it's obvious. So I, I well, you understand that. that on Twitch, you... too. There's people that everyone's friends with and, like, but, but, but this guy, you, I mean, Vince. So... Yeah. Okay, then. So you're making assumptions about me, but we're not making assumptions about it's not you. Not an assumption. I have a literal fucking message from the guy you stole from. It's not an assumption. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you stole yeah. From, yeah. It's literally yeah. a fact. Okay, so the whole reason why this debate was in the first place is that people were finding victims that didn't exist. So saying, "Oh, this I is did. a problem for people." <laughs> people <laughs> find victims yeah. that don't exist. Oh I did. my god. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you found a person who doesn't like it. Yes. And there's multiple um, ways out. For actually, he even specifically named you as the problem. He said the other uh -oh. people actually clouded That's me up. Right. Where XQC completely stole my shit, added no valuable commentary, and then stole my views. That's specifically what he said, actually. Okay. So, <clears throat> but that's a problem. And instead of reaching out, is there a skeleton a... hanging off of a ceiling? There is. Just, you know what, Fringy? That's a good yeah. observation. Yeah. It's okay. I don't think Fringy was here when we talked about it, though. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. You're off the hook, Fringy. But yes, that that is a skeleton yeah. hanging <laughs> from the top. A beautiful of the skeleton door. that that took his own life because he couldn't yep. handle it anymore. No, no, no. It, it, it's, I gotta live it's in whose room? Oh God. 
No, God. It's his former maid that he, you couldn't hide in time before the stream. He hanged herself. I would rather kill myself than clean up this <laughs> pig's mess. Do you think she climbed on the oh, giraffe Dios to mio. set the rope? <laughs> yeah. It's just happening in the background the of his level. stream. He's reacting to some <laughs> fucking like goofy clown video, and then it's just someone hanging themselves in the background. <laughs> um, he, he waited for you, the savior of the earth, to come in and just rob him. Savior of the earth. I got you, bro. Why? Why? Why be Robin Hood? Well, uh, why be Robin Hood when you can be Prince John? Do you really not understand the concept that small creators wouldn't want to? The easy, I, I think Ethan should have gone the direction of like, do you not care about people? Like, is that not? Yeah. Is, uh, you, you, you're criticizing me for caring about other something. people. Because like, XQC might be the kind of person who would actually say like, no, I don't. Like, he would, he would think. You might try and chat like, yes at sort of thing. Chad yes, yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound, it sounds bad when XQC is like making lines. You'd expect a Captain Planet villain to be like, oh, here comes <laughs> the savior. I hate caring. I would, yeah, I would I get me. Do you care about the I, animals? I'm so, glad, I'm so glad you said that, Stitch, because I was thinking of Captain Planet as well. Yes. For some reason. <laughs> you know what's Gonna the worst thing in the world? Kindness. Zero. <laughs> Hypocrisy. Kindness is horrible. We have to stop fair. it. Fair? I'll tell you what's fair. I Start am shit evil. With with xqc one of the biggest uh with the craziest fan base in the world like is that really a foreign idea to you that they wouldn't want to deal with this p power dynamic like you would crush them uh, if you said see, anything there, your fans up. would harass yeah. them into oblivion that's too yeah. foreign for you to, to understand so, so th this guy um foreign subscribers uh big youtube videos small creators that's about to fucking die from something ethan oh is God. here to save the day this person will now be able to afford some food. If you're big, they don't deserve to be well, I'm saying, because if you make, is an interesting term. If I make a portrait, if you draw a picture on who this person is, and you say, Poor small picture. creator, like struggling and whatnot, instead of, he, I'm saving him, and you're just so he, mis right. You are misrepresenting. So he doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he does matter. But okay. not, in the not in the capacity that you're trying to paint. Which is what? I don't understand what you're saying. A small, struggling creator. Somebody, please help this person before I mean, yes. he goes out of business. That, well, no, I didn't say any of it. All Ethan said, <laughs> yeah, but, oh, oh, out of all of that, Ethan said small. Yeah. Um, which is probably not the best small. word, but you could which argue it compared to XQC. He corrected well, himself well, on as well. XQC, I but mean, you that could argue it. are not going to get a $100 million deal from Kick anytime soon. You well, know? yeah, and like, XQC's yeah. live yeah. audience of 50,000 people would absolutely swamp any live audience of 400k channels going to be able to dig up. Mm -hmm. it, 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 and just because you have a lot of subs, that doesn't mean you're rolling in dough. Exactly. That. Well, that uh, you did. You, uh, you, you, quite, you did. You just I did. actually quite literally did not say that. You said small creator. That's enough. Let. No, it's not. It, it's saying small does not mean he said that he's like fucking living paycheck to paycheck. He's about to die. That's like one of the things that XC was adding on. I think that's unfair. Well, well it's, it's okay, like was... this weird Robin Hood thing. What are you yeah, doing? It's all. Like... I was like, why are we on this? It's up front about his sub count. I looked at it. Uh, but anyway, let's see. My, I mean, my, my bad. I was just wrong. I was just mega wrong. Uh, let's move on. Let's, let's you keep have running. been this entire time. It's fine. Um, right. So yeah, I'm sure you're you're familiar with this thread because he actually gave you permission to perform this analysis. Internet arc uh 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 arcanist arcan eh, archivist. He said, Archive. I let uh, well anarchist. It's all right. Uh, he said I let XQ, <laughs> XQC repost a reaction to see the impact it had. Okay, and the analysis is basically the video witnessed an 87 percent decrease in impressions on the day of the reupload. Okay, uh -oh. and the video also witnessed a 52% decrease in. Obviously, the problem with this being we need that it would that we need a control on yeah. comparison. Yeah. Well, yeah. because in this case, you could you could easily make the argument of yeah, but the reason why the views are lower is because it's just how it works typically for YouTube videos. Well, you, you, you could also argue you, you would have lost more if not yes. for my yeah, videos. Uh, possibly you could. That's why more would be. You need good. more like, data. Actual... This isn't enough. Yeah. And no, another thing well, that bothers me about this example actually, is the uh, Internet Anarchist had a bunch of stipulations that don't apply to the normal, like, you can't use the same true, thumbnail and yeah. title, which is like, well, but that don't, isn't the point that, okay. Viewers, but on the that's day of the... the thing, is XQC equipped to, like, make these arguments, because he Maybe. could. We upload. We'll see. Actually, Maybe wait, an alternate doesn't, universe. That, uh, doesn't that graph help him? Because if you look at it, it's like sloping down, it's, and then it kind of slower decrease, right? But it yeah. slightly goes up a little bit, it, it, and then it the truth down. is, it's useless. It could tell you, it could be anything. That could it could be higher or lower or the same. Right. It could have been any of it. 
statistics, the, the way yeah. that you interpret it can uh, can go kind of wild. It's just not mm -hmm. enough information. There's of so and, many uh, variables. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's so so. I mean, of the evidence that I've seen, then it it actually shows that it has either a negligible or potentially even a negative effect on the original video. Gotcha. So and actually, you... he even made you change the title and the thumbnail. So why do you think he asked you to do that? That's a great question, to be honest nah. with you. Yeah. <laughs> why do you think he made you do that? XQC. Yeah. He said, don't use the same thumbnail and title. Why do you think he asked you that? Because as a uh, creator of the IP, like you like to fucking say. Be with your because you siphon views from people, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking shit. obvious why you do it. You ask a question and you answer for yeah, me. You, want, you, can you can have a monologue if you want to. You just mute me and just go on a fucking rant. But if you want to ask me a question, you have to answer to listen to the answer. Um, here's the answer. He controls the IP. He wants to be different, right? And he wants some changes. And he um, he uh, spoke to us, right? So instead of cr instead of crying and being a little bitch, it seems like like this. Um, oh, that that's, that's, that's bad <laughs> optics one hundred and one. Yeah, Jesus, this is very much missed out there. This isn't Oof. an answer. He's saying, "Why did he ask you?" And it's saying, "Well, he has the capacity to ask me to change it." That doesn't. Well, he wasn't a little bitch question. like the rest of them. And then, yeah, like, as, as Ethan just said, like Vince. <laughs> Being a little bitch, uh -huh. Ryan, is that yeah, it? Right. Oh, Which, by the way, supports ow. supports the whole thing Vince was saying in the DM, saying like, I don't, want, I don't want the fucking pressure and the stress of coming out against XQC because yeah. look what happened. Yeah. Called me a little bitch again. Like, you might yeah, have you know four hundred thousand subs, but that doesn't mean you have a big Twitter presence. Nope. That doesn't mean that you're used to this kind yep. of attention. There are plenty of creators who get really big, but if you never have any sort of you know drama, if you never have any controversy. You know, the first one's still the first one, and you might not have the personality that meshes well with being able to deal with that. Just it's a big cry. deal. It's not something that should be, um, you know, overstated or understated. This is crying and being a bitch. Is that what you're saying? That, that's all I said. You're putting my words in my mouth. Are well, you I don't know who you're talking is, about. Is, is, this, is this Twitter or what? I don't no, know I don't mean to. I'm just wondering who you're talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Um, I mean, we all fucking know who talking he was about. talking yeah, about. It's pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, you can pull the card. Actor. I never used a name, so I didn't say a name. Put a word <laughs> but I mean, everybody name. except this person who asked me. Yeah, you can't prove it. Okay. So then, so then, um, like I said, I was saying, <clears throat> instead of being a little bitch ass, right? I think Stop you it! You, oh, you did it again. If not a lot of positives, and some of them can actually see. One of the stipulations has uh, include a motivated call to action to subscribe to the original creator. Most do not do this. Like yeah. uh, all the ones that get complained about, of course. That that was like Jay's primary fucking issue that apparently pissed everyone off was just credit and let the person promote their shit if you're going to take the whole video, please. Yeah. Do better. Right? He didn't show any positive. Oh. Speaking of that, we should probably say right now, everyone should follow XQC and Ethan. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cold to action. Okay, if it was only negative, he would have asked us to take it down and would have done that, right? No, he it's... left it up for the experiment and he said, do not use any of my other videos without my permission. He literally told you that. So... It's a social experiment at this point. It's like a, it's like an, an experiment. Ethan, social I think, needs to just word it slightly, but just be like, don't you think that's fucking fascinating that the one that's working with you has told you one of the rules is you cannot react to any other my videos? Yeah. <laughs> don't you think that's interesting, XQC? So now, with now it's the guy's like experiment, and it's, he's only letting it because it's an experiment now. Oh, wait, well, I showed you proof of that in an experiment. Yeah. Negative yeah. effect. Do you have proof of no, that no, a positive no, effect? No, you didn't. No, what? You, didn't. You, you absolutely did not. Absolutely not. So, show us that again. Sure. So explain how this is good. He said, um, I'll let you describe the video witness an 87% decrease in impressions on the day of the re-upload. So hey, Ethan, that, Ethan, explain that dub to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, do you in your position had a time machine? So you, what? You, you guys know what point he's going to make, right? You can't yeah. know. You have to, know. you have to, I, yeah, if you don't access the alternate universe where I didn't, then you can't actually say with proof. You can't make any claims, yeah. basically, at that point. Which uh, is like, uh, gosh, I mean, true. It, which is yeah, technically this is like, true. This is actual claim. Answer the question. <laughs> you do not. Gotcha. Um, since we're going to do the whole, I'll, I'll answer for you. You do not have a time machine, right? Um, it is impossible to know. <laughs> Play in the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you, who added that? That's because it's Ethan's live show. They have that effect 
ready to oh go. Oh my god. That's, that's, a fucking, so that's great. It's brilliant. How would it have went down in this natural curve over yes. time? Yes, I have a time right? machine. Would yes. I watch that's an assumption. You have no proof. Of course, the point he's trying to make is you have no proof, and he's he's cut him off right. ahead and said you have no proof. <laughs> it's like, right. oh, yeah, proof. so you use so I have you, analytics. So one data set, right? You have no data set. <laughs> he's, I have a data set. Oh my god! And I also, have... you're the dude stealing content, so the 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 onus should be on you to stop, prove stop, the great stop, benefit stop, stop. of it. You you okay? I, I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I find it a little it bit dishonorable yeah. and a little bit um, disappointing. That in the middle of a Sorry, about, you, about, about analytics, you're uh, spewing words to your audience and mine about uh, me spewing stealing words and, to your no, spewing words. <laughs> you with your the way he's spewing of words. words. You, you, you're spewing and you're <laughs> your words and you're you spewing. Just me the word, man. If you just shut your mouth, oh, oh, me and me with my words. If you were to use the descriptor spew of words, would that apply more to Ethan or Felix? Oh, definitely more to uh, He's like um me. he's like the uh he's like the, so. the, the water sprinklers for lawns when they're going back to their <laughs> oh, original yeah, set. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's <laughs> <a bit. laughs> yeah, that's what he's like. He's just oh always God, I, on that mode. I bet you could perfectly edit like the tick 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 like to yeah. those the same cadence and rhythm of his speech Probably, yeah. <laughs> throughout this <laughs> video. One of his little machine gun spurts, yeah, matches yeah. up perfectly with it. Super chat that just came in and said it makes less sense that Ethan would reveal his time machine. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you wouldn't want to reveal the time machine. <laughs> it's a tactical thing, okay? When we're trying to, to prove that, it quite literally doesn't help anybody. You're mudding the waters for no reason. Unpack you that, please. Could you stop, please? Seriously, I mean, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get really bad. I don't want to do like the whole insult uh, ad hominem thing because you're doing that. Okay. It's, just a, it's just a statement of fact. So, um, not an insult. Okay, I mean, okay. So as we go forward, you are fucking bald. You're... <laughs> <laughs> I, what? No, he isn't. He clearly. Why didn't he say like fat or something? He that clearly has hair. Bald. Ethan's face. At least like... fat would be like accurate. Yes, but I know. he's not bald. <laughs> like, wait, what? He the thing is. Everyone has been prepped on this. We've all seen it in the previous chapter of the React Wars. He calls everyone bald. It just means you're mad, I guess. Why is that his go-to insult? That's I don't so know. It's so good. A lot of bald people wouldn't even consider it an insult. They're I've like, been told that it's yeah, apparently like I'm a just... Twitch or streaming yeah, yeah, well, thing. Yeah, well, I'm not aware we've of. We've gone over it's it before. Has... It started as mold, mad and bald, balding because yeah, mad. One I, so... That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And now he's taken it a step further, and he just calls people bald. That doesn't make but, any sense. Well, I like how it's a regression, but also a progression. You yeah. Remember, it, you know, yes. You remember yes. the variable that made it funny, which was the angry right. and bold. Like, that's yeah. Just bold. That's not a joke. That's just is. That's you so are bald, weird, dude. You're that's a bald. description that you're isn't bald. You're, you're hair spinning, and it's great, which is, it means that you're old as fuck. Got for it. a man who's isn't shall we in his late thirties. <laughs> Yeah. Look at He's doing face. too bad. Things He's just like, yeah, what the fuck am I dealing with here? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're done with the debate. We're just insulting it's us like, now, is, I guess. What is this creature saying? I mean, it's funny as well because <laughs> Ethan's hairline, that's that's a that's incredibly well, that strong. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty prominent. Pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, is, is, is Ethan like 39 or 40? Exactly. So a lot of people. Ethan is thirty-eight, so it's not bad. I mean, it's really great. Well, a, a lot of people at this age would have a strong hairline that goes further back than this, like uh, yeah. or at least back on the sides or whatever. Like course, that's pretty. To, sure. Yeah, no, it's not bad. To, like your Tim Pools of the world, right? Like, wow. how dare you? <laughs> well, how well, it's just because Tim Pool is 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 he's in his studies, right? But he's he's uh he's, he's younger. younger. Yeah. He's younger. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just some people get it like actually yeah, do stuff it's, getting it's bald in their twenties. But like, well, yeah, again, and for the record, there's, late, there's nothing uh, wrong with being bald. No, there's nothing wrong with being bald. No, <laughs> there's no moral yeah. failing. Yeah. It's, it's not, no, it doesn't man, make you a lesser happen. person. <laughs> you're, 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 you're terrible. terrible. Don't you're listen involved. to the mean execute, the mean streamer. Exactly. He, hey, it, it, it doesn't tool. make you a worse person, but it, it, like, I knew one kid who started going bald at 17, and that was a rough fucking high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. Of oh, course. God. Of course. Just gotta take it off, man. Take it off. Own it. Uh, well, remember, uh, I think George Carlin had the, uh, the joke that you shouldn't shave your hair if you're balding, just own it. Yeah, but that's bad advice. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah. so Rags many people say that George Carlin is wrong. 
Yeah, yeah, you should, you should only take good oh, advice, not the bad advice. I, actually, I think the, the worst the worst that I've heard is I knew a guy in college, right? And he, completely fine head of hair, shaved it off. He, he went around bald for like six years. He's like, I'm going to grow it out again. He grows it out, no hair. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Full Costanza. Whoops. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Well, it's kind of better, though, because he kind of primed everyone that he just looked bald for six yeah. years. Right? Yeah. I've got bald relatives, yeah. and they just, they're, they're, they're just bald. Mm-hmm. But he was yeah. for a while. He was depressed. He was like, "I wasted all my hair years. <laughs> my hair years. <laughs> I, wasted years. I wasted all my hair." That's a pretty good treatment true. that you can get, though, right? If you're, uh, if you're, I, I get ads for like the companies that will talk about, like, yeah, man, my confidence Rogaine got smacked. And... But then, uh, well, I can't remember what it's called because there's a prominent one in Australia. You get ads for it a lot where they do like the treatment to make people's hair grow back. So it seems like there's fairly mm-hmm. effective strategies, right? Yeah, if that's I mean, really, 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 really well, important. Like, like, didn't yeah. didn't Trump get something done at one point? Because his hair looks like he got trans. Well, he's like right? a massive comb over or something. Yeah, yeah, that was actually pubic hair, and then Trump transplanted <laughs> it all. It's, it's <laughs> bald. I'm the opposite of bald. My hair grows fast, and it's a it's a big thick afro. Wow. <laughs> you, know, you think you think that's a hood know. on Fringy's head? No, no, no. no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's the best is uh, Elon Musk. Like, looks really good for what he used to be. That was a transplant, right? I, th- yeah, I don't know. I I is, it, so. is it like in Simpsons when the hair comes alive and controls you and your brain and stuff? Better be careful. <laughs> uh, what's that? Sometimes? It explains a few things, eh? You, like, get somebody else's hair transplanted in and then you adopt their personality. Yeah. Right. Classic. Ooh. Good episode. That sounds fun. Is this fun the premise is, is faulty, my is, friend. Is this fun for you? I have a beautiful you? hairline. Baldi? Baldi. Baldi. <laughs> <laughs> so... But this is the thing it's people point this out. It's, it's actually possibly the worst thing you could target Ethan Klein for because there's a I lot know. of like physical he's... things people make fun of him for and that right. he takes on the chin and makes fun of himself for. Look at his face. He is so happy you're gunning for his hair. It's like his favorite part of himself. <laughs> like the one thing that isn't. Yeah, yeah he's like, thank you. For he just put, he clearly has hair. hair. Yeah, he has hair. He just like, hair. has it. It's just there on his it, head. It, it, you it can see it with your right. eyes. It's, it's like if you said, Chris Hemsworth, you're fat, and he's just kind of looking at you. <laughs> like, it's just not true. It'd be like... Like figuratively, or like, well, you know, that's the thing. Surely not like, literally. Bold right? isn't a literal matter of fact. It's a frame of mind. Yeah, that. Yeah, so next, you see if he was able to explain it, it would be like you. You think bold. You know how those bald bald are. Your soul is bald. Oh God. Is this one for you or not? Spiritual I'm having involved. trouble with the premise. It, it, it has a striking resemblance to you <laughs> trying to argue premise. other points. It literally has no premise at all. It has you, no basis in you're reality. Just, you're just throwing insults for the sake of Go ahead. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to sit away. I'm going to pack. I'll sit away. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. It didn't actually you just said you're just throwing insults, but he just yeah. threw the worst insult. But that's why yeah, he threw it. Insult, he felt yeah. he was being right. insulted, and so he was like, I'm coming okay. for your boldness now. <laughs> oh yeah. shit! That's when you're gonna you know hit you. Even if you're not physically off. bald, you're, even if you're not physically bald, you're morally bald, and that's what matters. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Nailed it. <laughs> you're spiritually bald. Yes, <laughs> you're bald at heart. <laughs> bald at heart. Okay. <laughs> the so, bald and the beautiful. I don't know if you've done any any um statistical analysis in the past. I don't know if you've done any stats. Do you have any statistics or not? Go ahead. Stats. Do you have any statistics? Do you have any statistics or not? Go what? ahead, just, just make <laughs> <your> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, 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 did you do that or did they do that? They did that. It's, it's hairline <laughs> cam. <laughs> that's that's what really mean. good at it. Yeah, oh the producers God. are on the point, right? Like, on point in terms of the jokes. Like, that's like very, that's, that's, that's why he pays when them. You have like a, that's the great thing when you have like a producing crew. They can like do shit like this. On the fly, uh, they can make up some good on jokes. On the fly. Oh man! It's just and, um, like, it what can you say? He's just not bald. Yeah, excuse me. Try it. Try it. Something else, dude. Try to go somewhere else. This is a bad one. That looks like a natural. Curve, this is like right? the meme. Um, this down. is the meme with the crow on the stand-up stage. Yeah, yeah. No, so made his, that meme. Looking at his cards. It's the one yeah. joke. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what this is. That's what's He's happening. Yeah. If you check EFAP memes, yeah. I think it's in there. That one. You, you, oh, has someone done that? Yeah, if oh, you grab me, it, we can put it, it on screen. But yeah, let me let me scroll up and grab it. But hey, apparently XD is about to. Uh, Say something that kind of makes sense. I'm curious he is, how he, he fucks that one up. I'll give you a point right I'm, now, but the problem is, of course, he sunk himself when he went after for being bald. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I, I'm I'm just picturing now though, like it's a, it's a dark room and it's like 2 a.m. and Ethan's he, Ethan's at home and like inconsolable. His wife goes to bed and like, he slowly removes his wig 
and he actually yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta scroll through all these know? fucking golden YMS memes. Oh my god. Any, any um statistical analysis in the past? I don't know if you've I maybe had a stat class. Do you have any experience with statistics or not? Go ahead. Stats. Do you have any experience? Um, a, do you have any experience with statistics or not? Go ahead. Just just make your point. What does it matter? Okay. Okay. <laughs> The curve of a video and on um, how it's so performs, done. He's like, I want that looks like a natural curve, right? You can see it's already going down before I watch it, and it keeps going down at a certain rate um, past it, right? Do you have any proof or um, any indicators that the video would have performed poorly or better um, after the reaction? Wow. There you go. You managed it. to actually get the point out. Get it. Right? That was oh a small point. point. And it's not a bad one either, even though, yeah. it, it, even though, again, it's like, what is to be done when you can never directly compare one video to how it would have performed in an alternate timeline? The best that you can do is like for like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, um, probably the best move here, and while I wouldn't normally do this, I think this might be a time to appeal to intuition. <laughs> and uh, be like, well, I mean, <laughs> reasonably, we can probably I assume that you're really hurting the. I think here. I think it's a fair. I think like the intuition is fair. Somebody's watched the video more or less exactly as it existed before. What incentive do they have to go rewatch that video on that other person's channel? They've already gotten everything they could have out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, you, remember well, he's already killed him. He got him on motive. He did right. get him on motive. That's right. true. Yeah, yeah. But this kind of goes into that question. This, this uh, kind of goes into the question I think you asked, I don't know if it was when we were on or in your conversation with him, Mahler, about the, if an alien, like, steals your work and then takes it to a different galaxy and profits off it. I mean, does that make it wrong? It's like, it still kind of sucks. Like, even if you're not directly harmed well, yeah, by it, even if no one was going to watch his original video, it's still kind of shitty. I think part of the reality I tried to imply <laughs> was that if all the aliens on that planet loved his work and then found that out, which, by the way, there's a future armor episode where this fucking happens. Leela makes a, a, like, a cartoon fun puppet show. And then it turns out that all of her storylines are taken from her going to a planet where all of those creatures are actually real, and she just watches them for a day and writes down all the things that happen. It's kind of funny mm -hmm. how that's like exactly reflective when people find out she's a fraud. Obviously, it's like right. You're not a good writer. You just it, stole because it. yeah, because intuitively it feels wrong. Even if even if they're not being harmed by it, intuitively it feels like you're stealing or doing something. Yeah. Wrong. Normally, yeah. that part of the what some of us would call soul would be like, <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't like oh this is something not right here. You know. I mean, if your soul's bald, maybe you feel that way. Oh, but... it's a full head of hair. Well, you well, isn't understand. that something they say? Like my soul is laid bare. A fully haired soul. Right? Soul my is laid soul bald. Is bald. Soul. My soul is laid bald. <laughs> I lay my soul bald. Oh no. You. Oh, people. Yeah. So people will go after XTC. Like you can't call Ethan bald when your hairline is much worse than his. It's like, oh shit. Uh oh. And, You've and lost. You, know you had one time. thing. It was shitty. In one twenties as well. Rejection. He's a lot younger. Yeah, I think he's he, 28 uh, or something. XQC. Yeah. yeah. But also, like, that's why that's why he has the long hair. That's like like kind of framing his oh, face right, his to hide the baldness. Ooh. Yeah. Which is not a bad idea. It's just to make fun of people for being balding when it seems like you're oh, on yeah. a path to track to getting don't make fun of people for being bald in general. Like it's Yeah, I would never that. tell a murderer <laughs> to use a shallow grave, use a deep grave, you know? Yeah. So 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 Fringy's law is you can there's only certain circumstances you can make fun of someone who's bald. You can't do it here or here, but uh, no, I'd say that generally you shouldn't do it, but if you're gonna no, I'm joking, I'm joking, you're I'm joking, not yeah. bald. <laughs> right. Like, if you're gonna do it, ensure you are not bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> The, base, <laughs> the basic law. If the book you are of insulting someone for them being bald, do not, not be bald. bald. <laughs> you might have heard the old expression, those... <laughs> the, the, the classic age-old expression, those in grass huts should not throw spears. He who is not bald can cast the first bald. Yeah. That was literally a joke in Community, I forgot about that, where uh, he's like, what's the actor's name who played... Uh, oh, Chevy Chase. He calls him bald, and, and he just says, well, you're bald. And then Chevy Chase, like, rages out. <laughs> <laughs> Take that back! So, obviously... Listen, listen, guys. Guys. We, we gotta stop all this harassment going on the stream. Oh, my God! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> now that you've done that, Rag's gonna be like, I'm gonna find a better one. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no need to comb to the dark here. side here. You oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, you got you already. You got <laughs> fucked up. Jeez. Yeah, you're not you're you're not poor in hair jokes, are you? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Any data that we do have, which is of course just one, 
definitely proves that if it did have an effect, it's negative or negligible. And as the guy who is, <laughs> try, I mean, right? I mean, you certainly can't say that this helped so, the video. So, are you so, actually arguing that a 87% <laughs> decrease helped the video at XQC? That's really what you're arguing to me right now. That's yeah, awesome, so, dude. So, so we're going to go ahead and have the conclusion that you did. Hey, wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Let's, let's go back just a little bit. Can we go back like five seconds or something? No. Is five all you want? I'd rather not, but eh, fair enough. Yeah, no, I just want to get a look at this. At yeah, this we're not graph. paying for them. You could go back more if you want. Yeah, so you can go back to the beginning if you want, but it, I'm gonna leave it, <laughs> all the way. Do it all again. So, so it seems like look at like if you want to actually look at numbers here, like it's it seems like the dec the, the rate of decline slowed after the reaction, right? Yeah. So you could make the argument that XQC might have might have given him a little bit of a boost. It gave him a tiny, tiny, tiny help. Yes. Yeah. Arguably, which, which but is, also which the is problem even is like... that it might have happened anyway. And then when he says a 87.87 yeah. 87 decrease in impressions, like uh, it, it's, it's complicated because it's, it's, it's the comparison of what it would have been if not for that. Like that that number, all this shit is so irrelevant until we have a comparison. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean this guy's I mean... analysis is is wrong and stupid, but Ethan can point to it and say, "Look at the graph." <laughs> yeah, and Ethan graph. and uh, uh, Felix can just go, "Yeah, look at the graph. I win." Like no, I win. It's like no, I win. Right. Look at this graph. <laughs> <laughs> so like, there's there's definitely graphs out there of like a there video that's reacted to. Say there are there are giraffe there are graphs, graphs out there. There. Yeah. <laughs> there are giraffes. There... Listen, there guys, let's not split hairs here, okay? Let's not split hairs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> so okay, so there are gra many graphs out there where um. A, a video got reacted to like a month after it came out and then there was like a viewership spike and a sub mm -hmm. spike and then it settles back down to like the normal background views of before i don't think you can make a claim that that hurt them you know because after a few weeks uh, videos just kind of unless they're like certain types of content that j are just always booming most videos on youtube just kind of have the same amount of just background views constantly right well, so I, I think, like, I think they shouldn't have gone spike. this direction anyway. They should have focused on the fact that he does the same titles and thumbnails to get into the algorithm to siphon views. It's simple. It's over at that point. That's what your goal mm -hmm. is, and he's trying to critique him morally. That's it. Mm, right, right. You don't need to bring yeah, up because... all this, because th this is just confusing, and yeah. if anything, I'm willing to concede that it could very well have benefited this person. We really don't know. Mm -hmm. The number. This is why last time I was on Mongler, I said the numbers conversation actually isn't that interesting because it's just math, right? You can just if you have perfect information, you can math out. Oh, did you actually gain or lose from it? Oh, you gained. Okay, it was good for you. You lost. It was bad for you. Mm -hmm. But that's not a moral conversation because the moral conversation is, you know, how do you feel about what happened to, to them taking it? You know, did you get consent? You know, these are these are conversations you can't mathematically kind of suss out. Well, and uh, it's worth mentioning as well, like I said, this one even feels more irrelevant because of the stipulations, which were like, right, make sure to point. promote the channel and the video, make sure to not have the same title and thumbnail, make, you know, it's just like, well, then right. that just doesn't that's help what, us at all. That's what Ethan should be emphasizing is that, like, if he wants to make the argument with these stats is that these stats are the optimal, this yeah. is the optimal situation. Best case where, scenario, like, essentially. It, mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, you're most likely to get something from it compared to the typical kind of reaction. Yeah, what's the average, now? you know, reaction? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, think on yeah. average it helps? Instead of saying, well, it can logically help, you know? Are you arguing that a 87% <laughs> decrease helped the video at XQC? That's really what you're arguing to me right now. That's yeah, awesome, so, dude. So, so we're going to go ahead and have the conclusion that you did not have a statistics class at all. Oh, I understand you, your... Unfortunately, when you fumble the pronunciation, it kind of ruins the dunk. I feel like, yeah. a, like half of his communication problems would be solved if he just slowed down. Slowed yeah. down. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, you, yeah. Can, you can get a speech therapist if you need one, which, you yeah. know. I mean, I'm assuming he has some actual like disorder that would right? like this is we're Wait, making I, fun of someone that has a disorder. Well, I, I think, Canadian. I think, it's I called being French. I think, uh, okay, I mean that is true. I, I, if he does, I, I think that speech therapy can often help with these kinds of problems. Well, I mean, you're right; it could help. I mean, what was uh, the King's speech all about? If not, you know, perseverance yep. and dedication to speaking, and then you true. become good at speaking. <laughs> Everyone's telling me in chat, but slowing down is bold. Fair enough. <laughs> also true. Your point, but you know, like, yeah. I think that it's really odd that XQC is calling Ethan bald when he's the one who needs to pay. 
you worked on that probably for a little while, right? Mm. I don't even get no, that. No, actually, it just sort of it just came to me as if in a fucking I vision from you. God. I believe, I believe that no, I've received special revelation from God in the form of that. Wait, are you mean about one. the fact that, that one. you obviously well, had to have joke? worked on it? Because no, you could work on it for a while or a short amount of time. No, I worked on it for a very short amount of time that's virtually indistinguishable from like just came to me in a flash. It was okay. Oh, it me off the flash. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't get it. I don't even God know. fucking okay. damn it. I okay. see a lot of boobs in pay. Chat. A lot of people. Oh, two pay. Oh, two pay. I would have given you a sensible chuckle if I got that. was worth at least a sensible chuckle on the open market. Us Aussies are the fastest speaking anglers. I don't know about that. I feel like we're the slowest. I have no. I'd be interested in a list though. Yeah. Now, now that you've yeah, with the data, can you back that up? It's just a thought in my head because who is the fastest speaking angler? I, I would have put Australians lower um, on the list of the faster speaking uh, hmm. English speakers. As far as I'm aware, Welsh speak real fast. Um, at the uh, fastest. It's it's to the point we can't understand them. The Brad Pitt character in Snatch is like the fastest talking. Yeah. Whatever that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, uh, if anything, you would describe Australians as uh, very drawn out and relaxed and loose, not fast. You don't have a very thick Australian accent. I don't have a very thick Australian accent, all things considered, yeah. Yeah, from you, what the mm. fuck? What's up what with that? What do you mean? Are you really... <laughs> are you <laughs> I can, I can How dare you? Were you raised by kangaroos? What's going on here? Wouldn't, if I was raised by kangaroos, I probably wouldn't speak English, would I? <laughs> Not with that attitude. Yeah, I, I guess so, but... <laughs> you I, still I'm speak better than XQC. My, my best guess would be... <laughs> oh, wow. What what is the implication, Rags? Oh, that if I was raised by kangaroos, which I'm, I wasn't, like if you were raised by really kangaroos, better. you would still speak better than XQC. Mm -hmm. Someone, someone really doesn't say anything about you. It, I'm not lifting you up. I'm dragging him <laughs> down. <laughs> kangaroos have clear. excellent elocution. Okay. A, well, someone in chat pointed out I don't sound German enough, so I guess I'm in the same boat, Ringy. So whatever. That's right. You sound kind of German. Well, doesn't sound that well. You take that back. None of you know <laughs> what Welsh people sound like. Yeah, dude. And I don't sound that American. Very jammy. No, I mean, you sound no, I do. I sound pretty yeah, American. You sound yeah. Wait, where do you American rags? Yeah, I sound when, pretty. American. When you think that American sounds when American, when rag sounds American, where do you think like is it a specific region of America? Uh, the impression that I get is that what people think of as like an American accent, it's mm -hmm. kind of silly because there's a bunch of different American accents, but I do right. feel like basically California is what people are thinking of with like an American accent. I mean, Rags does not sound Californian at all to no, me. No, it's it's not like it's not oh, like that no. Cali Valley thing. It's more like right. a like a general sort of West Coast American kind of. That's what I imagine because it feels like you go to a mm. lot of other places, you get more distinctive kind of. Uh, yeah, you know, like, I think it's called like or New like, England or New York, various parts like, of New York. Because I, I would say I think it's called like New metropolitan West accent, which is kind of like the lack of a okay. specific. I've dialect. always felt Rags sounds like he's from Arkansas. That's that's kind of the impression I've gotten. What? Yeah. Wow. Very I, no, specific. I, I get the wow. I get the impression with Rags is that it's um, mm -hmm. Rags is more like it's kind of you can you can get that southern kind of uh you can kind of hear it in there but it's it's not quite Asian. so strong yeah, yeah. a little bit Peaks out a little bit not it's strong. it's not strong because my um my uh, dad's from Missouri and my mom never really had a strong southern accent so I never really picked one up from my parents is that she much from the south? but. Uh, yes. As far as I know, she was born in Arkansas. Um, huh, or kind of either there or Oklahoma, but that was before she could speak at that point. But right. I see, I see um, a lot of people yeah. saying a Midwestern ac uh, accent, which I was also kind of thinking, but which is I, fair. Isn't, but there is kind of a, a sort of there are there are some sort of uh quirks to a Midwestern accent, right? There, uh, yeah, when I, I um when I worked in a restaurant, people would often ask where I was from because of my accent. Because mm -hmm. I guess just the where I was and Dude, my, I've had how my parents sounded. Fucking American. I can't you have an odd that. accent. I've, I've I had, had no idea that thing. you. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, but I don't. I don't I get had that, that happen one. as well. <laughs> I I do not understand that one. It's like, oh yeah. Well, no, imagine. yeah, you don't. To an American, you don't sound American, but maybe to no, sure. nah, no way. Yeah. I do not. I do not sound like an American. So, so That's what I'm saying. To an American, you, was from an educated West Virginia. There you go. To an American, you don't sound American. But maybe to someone who's not American, they would. Well, I'm an Australian, and I don't think I sound like an American. So, 
<laughs> well, I mean, I agree, but, well, I yeah, but you're, 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 pretty, you're biased. I'm biased. You're bald. In what way? You're bald. <laughs> <laughs> biased and bald. Done. What do you What do you think is the most? Do you think the Oxford accent is like what people think of when they think of a British accent, or do you think it's more like Cockney or? Or like I have to imagine people have a couple in their head for British. I don't think there's going to be a yeah. dominant necessarily. Yeah. Uh, Maybe English whatever, at that whatever point. You, whatever you are. Well, but I mean English. Like what? It, what That's what I'm that saying, mean? though. Exactly. Like the, 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 the <laughs> yeah. British is already there's like a bazillion accents in Britain. But, which is uh, so If there was one yeah. people thought of, it's probably going to be English before any of the others, and then it, which of English is probably going to be like. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it would be the posh one. Yeah, it would probably be a combination of somewhere between posh and Cockney. I mean, it's all English to me, so I don't know. Racism. I mean, you you know, a bunch of proto-Americans running around. Old racism. <laughs> <laughs> that um, actually makes sense. Bald racism. That there's actually a thread of logic there. I I think like it's of, so apparent. Well, when I think about British accent. It's it comes down to either like um like I don't know the names of them. It's either like a Lee Mack or a David Mitchell kind of thing. Um, yeah. Do you think it, there's very... anybody who thinks of Michael Caine's uh, accent as like typical British? That would be bad. That, that's just uh, Michael sure. Caine's accent. That's what I'm saying. Me, like, I, you know? I feel like... <laughs> that's Michael Caine. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's the best because he's the easiest person to impersonate. Because the meme is you just say my cocaine. And you start to sound like him. There you go. That's his right. name. That's Michael right. Kane. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's great. That's See, wonderful. It's easy. Look at that. We do not condone the use of cocaine on every frame of pause. I do. Whatever, whatever it is that XQC took before <laughs> this tangerines. debate. Oh, tangerines. They're, they're, oh, you know, tangerines are great. Remember, two serves of fruit, you know, every day. It's two serves, right? Two serves of fruit uh, and five vegetables. I don't know how many servings of fruit you get a day. Or I, yeah, I was taught two, and then five servings of vegetables, which uh, I feel like. How many servings? That's of fruit bullshit. Today? Anyway, uh, the I, I American Heart Association, also known as Aha, recommends four to five <laughs> servings each of fruits and vegetables daily. Oh. So, Fringy, I've got some bad news. You're okay. horrifically malnourished, and you may die at any moment. Oh no, I I, I eat a oh, lot of fruit. Too, then. I eat vegetables. I like I like fruit. I like um, apples, I don't know which one I eat. Yeah, most people strawberries. Are. Yeah, I mean, I, fruit fruit is fruit is wonderful. Whereas fruit like is really good. I feel like it's uh, that it feels like they need more work. You know, like fruit is often good on its own. Yeah, because you can just like, you can just eat a. Work into it. Yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, he skipped veg vegetable day. But you can just eat a strawberry or a plum or something like that, and it'll be really yummy. But you're not just going to yank out a cauliflower or a broccoli and just bite in, you know? Right. Yeah, you're not I the flash. I didn't eat garfish lately. I, dude, I don't eat yeah. garfish. I only had it at one time, <laughs> pretty much. How did, you like, did you like it? Garfish? Uh, I liked it. I, I prefer salmon. Yeah. That's, that's no, you'll eat garfish, uh, but you won't eat garfield. Salmon is good stuff. I would, no, I would fish. not eat garfield the cat. No, I wouldn't. I didn't say anything about a cat. You said Garfield. That's where you plant the Garfield. That's what Mookie's cow is called. I got salmon in my fridge. I gotta make it. I'll I'll make it after the stream. I got a half a (laughs) fillet. I think half of a half a fillet left. A decent amount. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yum. You know, love me. We do have to return to listening to XQQ at some point. We can't. We can't avoid it. Oh, I mean, I mean. Well, here's the thing, Mahler. We literally. Don't have to. This is our <laughs> show. We, 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 we literally leave. do make the decisions. We could just leave and say goodbye, well, everyone. Bye. Well, here's the thing. Just... I was about to say before we segue back into, might it be worthwhile to remind anybody who's popped in? Yes. About the the good news. Absolutely. Waller, um, flash it on screen. No, not I that was one. The do other it one between the XQC Ethan section and the Ethan Hassan. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's okay. All we right. Can wait. Yeah, I mean, it perfect. doesn't matter. We could just tell people. Yeah, vinyls. That's true. We'll just keep telling people. <laughs> We're going to give them a big show of it as soon as we reach yeah, the yum. midpoint. But um, yeah, anyone who's like actually in the new and like, what, what, what did you just say? Vinyl? Music? Music? They did music? Check the description and maybe you'll get your answers wow. as to what is he's mm-hmm. referring to. But, but it's he's not making any it, sense. The, and the, the, I love that we return on that. <laughs> <laughs> How is it that a 52% decrease in viewers is a dub for you? 
um, because it could have been a um, it 65%. It could have been a 65% decrease. That's a fair point. Right? It yep. could have been it worse. A fair point. Yeah, it could have been worse. But okay. We're... Do you have any proof that it... Um, that it... Honestly, you could have just let him sit there. That looked, that didn't look great for Ethan, right? Because it just... He was like, oh, it could have been worse. It's like, yep. The power of silence. It would have been or wouldn't have been? Do you have any data behind that or not? That's, I mean, dude, uh, that, that, that's such a silly way to try to deflect from this really compelling data. Because in my data sets, I have a... Gonna be honest with you, I think Ethan's coping a little bit. Well, here's the mm -hmm. thing, though. I don't like when XQC is saying in my data sets, it's like, okay, you gotta show them. Yeah, Stop show them. appealing to data sets that we yeah. never get to see. Yeah. What data do you have that would lead us to even begin to it. believe this? Oh, I have the data. Thing. I have the data. I have the data and, and the statistics. It. Because I would just did, statistics yeah. less. And it's like, can you just show them? Like, do you mind showing them once? Yeah. Evidence you don't present is not evidence. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, do you have any evidence? evidence? Yeah, it's in my car. It's like, I left it at home. It's like a really the end. great argument that Exhibit would destroy a, your point. Just nothing. <laughs> Exhibit A. Yeah. Just imagine it. <laughs> like it's really it's good. Really it's good. a really great exhibit. It's very Exhibit A. Yellow. Exhibit B. I know the a answer, but I'm not going to tell you it. It's a bunch of them, and all the video it curves have the that same. You're looking for any excuse, any out to justify you stealing content from people. Even if... now, it's time to get back to hammering the overall point because. This is a dead end. Base of data that suggests that and it's not okay. here it comes. When the man fails to compile data properly, like somebody who knows what he's doing, you make a conclusion based on one piece of data that you don't even understand. Is this a, a way to proceed with for you or not? Is this a way that you... Uh, if only he was more eloquent, he's actually doing okay. <laughs> what he just said is yeah, like, solid. Yeah, but... he's, he's getting a second win, but he's, he's stumbling, you know? To argue and have that conversation, or, or what, what's going on here? I don't get it. Well, me neither, dude. You're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Seize the opportunity to get away from that point. Trying to tell me that a, a significant decrease well, in views is a dub. Ethan, I'm going to guess with you. I just lost 16 viewers since you've talked. Clearly, uh, you're robbing me. How do you know that if you're not boring? Wait, what? Maybe you're the fucking boring one. Oh, you're saying it's impossible to know because we we only have one. No, I know line, you're right? you're definitely more boring and not as fun to watch. Oh, that's okay, a fact. Well, that... well that... The awkward, probably not a good response. I think Ethan realizes that pretty soon now, and he actually like, yeah. uh, pulls it back. Really, um, that's a joke, of course. I think you're very entertaining. You're very talented. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Because it came across super petty. And, yeah. Like, the, yeah. the thing is, XUC's, uh, this is like his big chance, because he's, he's kind of right here. So I'll say this. Uh, ultimately, uh, I'm, I'm pretty perplexed by this, uh, this uh, conclusion that, I guess, negative data, even just one data set, Okay, I got you. Uh, you know what, dude? You want you want to go? I really didn't think you would bite on a data thing because you were gonna get fucking clapped, right? Just bring out the data. You've got bring it. Out the data. Bring it. This out. is the time. Bring it. This out. is like this is why you have the data so that if you're in a big debate on the internet, you can use that shit. What are you holding on to? You're what? What are you holding on to it for? In case you need it later. Yeah, this you is, don't, this you is, don't this expend is a it. Take a shit or get off the pot situation. Get the data or move on from this point. Yeah. <laughs> but since you want the data, okay, I mean, even though you're the one that has to prove something that's negative, I can I'll, I'll prove Before you, you do that, can you do me a favor? Read number three of his stipulation. Mm, we'll go back well, to this because it's don't, really, don't. really solid, you know? Yeah. Dan will pull it up for you. This is one of his stipulations. Use a different thumbnail for excuse me, video. Any direct competition in my video and minimize. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'll read it because. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I'll read it. I'll read it because I can English. It sounds so mean, but it's so true. But with peace and love, I don't think many people understood that. Use a different <laughs> thumbnail. With, I mean, just, 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 with peace and love. Being fair, use a different <laughs> thumbnail for XQC's reaction video to prevent any direct competition with my video and to minimize viewer confusion. Direct competition, viewer confusion. He just Even fucking he threw so. his bottle That's away. That's why you oh, use the same title. And yeah. I didn't say that. The maid. Yeah, from the maid. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see. To prevent any direct it. competition yeah. with my video it? and to minimize viewer confusion. Direct competition, like, viewer Holy confusion. Holy shit. Dude, at least he screwed the top on so it would at fucking drool all over the carpet. Sure, but like, God. Holy crap, he just tossed it over his shoulder. I know. Confusion. Even he thinks so. That's why you use the same animal. title and thumbnail, bro. Why are you denying reality? Well, that Valor accent, I just lost fucking 16 viewers again. Holy fuck, it's kind of crazy. It better be funny um, or something, bro.
See, like, it's, it sucks, because um, as much as I, I obviously on Ethan's side of this argument, it, it, like, XUC had something, uh, Ethan dragged him back to the thumbnail, because it's been, like, his strongest point, and XUC's just let him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm just telling you, React harder, XQC. The way it says, you, bro, <laughs> listen, hey, listen, you're the guy who sits like this in fucking 20 degrees and does this. Oh, so, okay, so, the, <laughs> the transformative nature and, is, is about how, how straight you sit. Got it. Oh, Ethan, you want to talk about amount of transformation, then if we want to move on to that topic, let's just get some of your, uh, your, I think your wife's old merch, right? Which is a oh, direct yes. I one to one. Topic. I love so for anyone who doesn't know, this gets brought up a lot that Teddy Fresh had a, a big old controversy because he looked Klein, that's, that's her business, I believe, Teddy Fresh. They sell clothing, and uh, one of their designers mm -hmm. basically straight up stole a design, and they got in serious trouble for it. But it's been sorted. Was it only know, one okay. design? As far as I'm aware, I don't know if it was more than one. I can't claim otherwise, mm -hmm. but this conversation, they'll cover most of it anyway. I saw that. Oh, I've seen it. I'm and some sure of the arguments you had. had some of the arguments you had against it. But obviously this is just optically speaking, like actually see what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh this, my god. This is where he's just reaching for whatever he can grab. He knows that this Anything. is a thing, a drama that happened, so he's using yeah. it. Meanwhile see, you're evil too. If you look at like right. Ethan's smile, he knows exactly what XQC is walking into. Yeah, and they would have prepped for this. Mm -hmm. I think I changed the angle by 16 degrees, and I changed a little bit of the gamma color on this one. That's very transformative. Okay, Ethan, I'm going to watch your entire thing, not react in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to change the color of the gamma and opacity, and I'm going to rotate it sideways. That's going to be transformative, right? Ethan, come on. So let me That's ask it. you, let me, before I address that, and I'm happy to, I'm going to address everything you said about Teddy Fresh. Go ahead. What does it matter if I'm a hypocrite? How does that affect this conversation we're having? Genuinely. He did try this before. Uh, it didn't work. Yeah, for him. we like, had that XQC before. Doesn't answer this question XQC ever. isn't intelligent enough to understand what's being said to him. Because we're talking about the philosophical nature of taking people's videos, right? And I'm having this conversation with you, but instead of answering the question, you're constantly deflecting to prove that, no, I'm a bad guy. And I don't see how, why you would do that other than the fact that you don't have a good argument to, to argue the substance. Like, why do you keep deflecting? What does it matter if I'm a hypocrite? Ethan, you know sometimes you, you send a, you send a, like a tweet, and people still uh, people comment in the bottom and they say there's still time to delete this. Um, listen, Ethan, there's still time to fucking end the call and you go about your day, okay? Before you say some really fucking dumb shit, okay? When you're out here, well, okay. Again, it, like uh, it's like XUC wasn't even fucking listening. Did you not hear anything Ethan said? Like, no, he's just not. angry. I just like it, it was. <laughs> And there's ways out of this. You just be like, I'm just trying to prove that you don't believe in what you're claiming to believe. That's all. That's all you have to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. What does it matter that, I, to the that, fucking I, point, that I'm a hypocrite? I'm just saying, when you say, well, dude, um, what does it matter that I'm a, that I'm a hypocrite? Well, no, it, I'm it, genuinely curious, but I'll answer the Teddy Fresh it, before you do your monologue. It discredits all your points and makes you look no, like it does it. No, I'm you genuinely took the curious. High road. No, no, no. You took the high XUC, road no, I really want you to answer it. And, and you fell on your face flat. No time to let on the facts. No, it's an interesting Prove philosophical question. Prove me wrong. Okay, first of all, t the Teddy Fresh thing. So, Teddy uh, Fresh is a company with 30 employees. And by the way, I love whenever someone's losing a debate to me, they bring this up. It's literally <laughs> the lowest hanging fruit. And if you know anything about me, you oh! know I've talked about this a thousand times. Yo. But I'll address it because you brought it up. Go we, ahead. We Ethan. have like a whole team of designers. And Don't sometimes care. our designers um, are, are taking stuff way too close to the source. And I agree. I and it's not okay. give a fuck. So does my editors, which makes us about equal on that topic. So you no, can... No, it's what you do as a result. Oh, it's so fucking right. you find insane. Out that one of, well, yeah, because if, uh -huh. if, if you find out that one of your employees nicked someone else's design and you like you fire them and you compensate the person who was wrong then like you're you're good to go that's what it is it rags she yeah. doesn't see the difference between the people who find out the problem happened and try to rectify it and prevent it in future and the person who just lets it happen he's like the same but it both happened. damage was done both times so fuck you yeah it happened though it's it's a uh, <laughs> really great position really strong position to have Still, sometimes mm. when somebody gets confused no. at the company, you want to? when when you when one of the sweatshop guys gets gets it wrong, hold on, oh, my bad. But when my editor gets it wrong, oh no, we we it's... are thieving. Hold on, hold on, let me finish my point. Yeah, no. bring out Hila. Hey, bring him oh in. Oh my god, <laughs> bring yeah, her in. But... Like it's oh okay, dude. Don't... He's oh like comes god. across as he's freaking out because now there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs>
God. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I didn't. Hold on. Hold on. Your husband is bald. Oh, they are too Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Oh, my husband God. looks awesome. Dude, my hairline is. You awesome. really. Okay, dude, the fact that you're coming for my hairline just proves how fucking delusional. <laughs> Your whole, that's a <laughs> metaphor for your, all of your arguments. Okay, Teddy Fresh, we have designers, right? And it's a big, we have a fairly large company. This is a common problem in all streetwear. We've had designers who, who have pretty much close to stole designs. We fired people over it. And every time it comes up, we have company meetings and say, guys, this is unacceptable. If we, you're caught, you see how like XQC's bored because now he's gonna have to listen to the whole explanation. He's like, like, why did you bring it up? It up? Yeah. yeah, like this is yeah, exactly. you brought it up. Of course, he's gonna it talk about waste it. Waste of time. You... He's gonna know Dumbo. it way better than you. All you've Especially got is someone told you. Stuff that he's already, it, it, he, which I imagine I'm not very familiar with this. I imagine he's already talked about this at length. Probably yeah. with how obsessive he is about the legality of everything. Obviously, <laughs> they have squared all of this away. Like, mm -hmm. no way they haven't. So now you've just invited them to explain how innocent they are. Doing this, mm -hmm. you will be fired. And the we've made a strict guideline, and it doesn't happen anymore. What have it you hasn't done? happened. What have you done yeah. to prevent it? Okay. So, okay. This video, you, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 okay. You done? Okay. That's what you sounded like. <laughs> Is he done? It's, it's so bad. <laughs> no, he's done. You can talk. He's done. It's I'm like just being child, silly. But... Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how you put up with this shit. I would fucking leave his ass. Uh, anyway. Oh my oh, god. god. Jesus. Jesus. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, XC, you're flailing, buddy. Stop. Get back it's on top. This is, this is looking bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A third child with him. <laughs> oh, no, you're getting god. divorced. <laughs> Wait, XC didn't even say we're getting divorced yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. XUC is getting oh. you know, You know, our four year old oh, though no. would love you. Oh, 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 no. shit. Wait, what was that? Oh, I didn't catch that. I'll, I'll throw it back because that was a very snide and quick comment from one of the people on Ethan's team. But XUC is currently going through a divorce, as far as I'm aware. And uh, he, he, like, like, so Ethan making reference, like, he didn't even make fun of my divorce. And then the guy in the background said, he's going through a divorce. Oh, it's like, no. oh. but again, the if, problem is XQC was the first one to start talking. He brought about up the relationship. relationship. For me, it's, it's just shit slinging. Yeah. That's a little bit. Yeah. I was in grass yeah. huts. Damn it! Is he done or? <laughs> no, he's done. You can talk. He's done. This I'm like just being child, silly. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how you put up with this shit. I would fucking leave his ass. Uh, anyway. You're bro. I'm uh, having a third child with him. <laughs> oh no, you're getting God. divorced. <laughs> Wait, XQC didn't even say we're getting divorced yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. XUC is getting you know, you know, our four year old though would like it, it just giraffe. sneaks in that little comment. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, isn't, isn't there like a, a rumor going around though that Ethan is getting divorced? And there is hiding. a rumor, there was, apparently, it's, but it's not true. It's not anything. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, not true. That was a while ago though. Mm. I don't know who you got <laughs> it for, but our four year old would love your giraffe in the back. Don't buy it. It's a, it's it's what you're pricey for no reason. It's a, uh, but I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah, like really a cute. watch. Uh, okay. So let me, let me just. Hey, I'm sorry, so, Ela came to defend Teddy Fresh because you're talking about I her business. I actually wasn't yeah. planning I'm, to come in, but yes. you brought up Teddy Fresh. Listen, then talk to me because uh, I'm um, the person okay. running Teddy Fresh, yes. not him. Yes. If you oh, want to talk about it? Talk to me. I uh, understand, Hila. Okay. And the reason why I brought up that point, okay, is that sometimes some things happen where some it's somebody else's it's somebody else's fault. It's a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's a whatever, right? And some things just gonna happen, right? Is he implying it's the editor's fault? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some things are gonna happen. I'm not gonna change anything about mm. it because I, as I already said, I don't give a shit. But you did that something, so good. actually I have nothing to stand on, so I don't know why I brought it up. Mistakes were made, okay. And it's right. human, human nature and just totally. of time. That's and such that... bullshit. And the question is, what do you do about yeah, it? Yeah, what are you doing about it on a daily basis? I took, exactly. I took action about it, yeah. and it's not, it hasn't happened. Yeah. Since so things so, so came up so online, people pointed out to us. We had meeting, we had meetings at the office. We made oh. guidelines when we work with new graphics. What are you designs. doing about it? That's the question. What are you doing? Okay, okay. So if you guys stop bombarding and you actually listen to the this answer, isn't bombarding. Well, no, the I'm stop talking. with the fucking posturing. I'm defending my to, company. You don't, just answer the question. You don't need to do these. You, these like, if you'll stop interrupt, just answer the fucking question, bro. Nobody cares. All right. I. I, I okay. I'll answer the question. Okay. Um, so what you what you are agreeing with me is that sometimes, right? There's gonna be a mistake. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be something that somebody doesn't want. Daily and you'll basis with you. Go on, and, go on. And you will rectify it after the fact, in hindsight, correct? Yes. yes. What what we did is not okay. You continue to do it on a daily basis several times. That is the point in full. Just yeah. Mm -hmm. 
basic point, but for some reason, yeah. XQC keeps trying to appeal to the fact that it's like, we've both done it in the past, therefore we are the same, therefore that's it. Done and done. It would be Holy different God. if I came here and I said, I don't care. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm distributing to those guys who made the original graphic. I'm making Whatever. their life better while I'm sitting so, in a Gucci shirt, you know? Okay. Um, yeah, that was like a thousand bucks, is what it is. I um, know. Exactly. Um, okay, which good for you, I don't know I guess. Yeah, that felt Wait, weird. The shirt he's wearing is a Apparently thousand dollars. Yeah, that's the ugliest thousand dollars I've ever seen in my life. I don't, he's I don't one know. of those wealthy people that buys all this expensive, dumbass shit. Yeah, he's, oh he definitely God. buys stuff because it's expensive. It's crazy that there's a market Boy. to just make things that are expensive just so people can buy yeah. them because they're expensive. Like, it's, it's just not a show. I don't. Else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, it, it's not even for, like, clothes. a practical use or a beauty use, like, any kind of no, anything. I... It's just, it's worth a lot of money, and that's it. I don't know how There's a shirt no would value look, at has all. to look, I don't know how a shirt would have to look like that I would be like, yeah, I'm going to pay a thousand bucks for that. <laughs> like, <that's> a fair <laughs> Maybe if it had Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin on it, then I'd be like, okay. And if that Maybe. shirt costs yeah. a thousand bucks, you got fucking scammed. No. It's worth a thousand <laughs> bucks at that point, okay? It has Mr. Freeze on it, okay? If it had well, on the back, 2, like, you know, be cool or something, it'd be like, okay, that's two thousand. Yeah. Why you would bring that up, to be honest? That's kind of... You want to talk about low-hanging fruit? I thought that it was a good point, because you're taking... Because you're, you're saying hold that on, you on, care. Let's not money. Let's not answer okay. the question. You do nothing to rectify it while we do. So go ahead. What are you doing about it on a daily basis? Every single person that has brought up a negative point about the videos. But you don't change everything. what you do. We, we have. Well, 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 absolutely. We have. You it. literally said, I don't care. Oh, yeah, but I still do the right thing, though. Which is what? Right. The Wait, well, uh, which is work to make better thumbnails, better description, and to better work with the creators. Uh, that are make better thumbnails. I found the bodies. Make That's better a thumbnails. fucking lie. He's still doing it yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Behind the video. So yeah, that we don't fuck them over, posted. and they actually gain something from it. Now, I'd like to talk with Hila for a minute. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is that you're repairing from hindsight, which is something that they even try to get at, get at me at, right? And then you, you can't the fact that we do it if it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, he, keep, he keeps trying to pin them on the fact that we're both doing the same thing. We both repair the uh, the problems when they come across. Employees help us out. Okay, fair enough. Then I, XQC, or whatever the, the, the corporate company, a parent company is, right? Um, well, we only have like two employees, two editors, right? Mm -hmm. And help, we'll help us out, your... guys. Like, this is so sad. We only have two guys. We're playing the victim card here, right? Um, well, they sometimes make mistakes too, right? It and hasn't that happened to us in a long, long it's, time it's, since we took well, action. This just happened to you on a daily basis. Just. Okay. I think the difference, if I can say, is that <clears throat> I've been listening. And when Ethan is asking you about this, for example, mm -hmm. you don't say that this is wrong. You, the you thumbnail, wanted, uh, the missing well. the matching thumbnail and title, you say, I did it because I like it. No, he says they're working on better thumbnails. So, so, it's, so but, the answer has changed now. <laughs> <laughs> if this is your answer, that sounds a lot better. better thumbnail. You know? it, 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 the the why it's okay. There is an irony of if he <laughs> did have like a really good thumbnail and title, it might get into its own sort of algorithmic feedback that's mm -hmm. better than right. trying to siphon the original video. Who knows? Is that I'm trying to make a bold point for him to latch off the fact that he's on the fucking high road. He shows a high what? road of the whole process. Okay, that's your problem. When, when, well, yeah. The, well, he, he does have the high road. Ethan though. is pointing it's out a bold every time. Point. All he's trying to do is point out he's a hypocrite. He keeps trying to do that, which is just like it's not even yeah. that great of a point, even if you were com completely correct. And, and I'm you, right. When you are on the high road, it that's is a thin fuck. It is a thin fucking road when on the high road, okay? Because yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is like seven metaphors, like having a contest to see which one could manifest in that reality. That road is thin and icy, and you can slip and crack and fall in the in bold. You have to be really tight <laughs> with what you do, the bold things that you road. say, and how you act, right? The high road is a bold fine. road. He's uh, live every day for hours. Please, That's a, yeah. please, please, I'm talking to Ethan, Aesop's or you uh, don't interrupt me. Okay, um, woman, so, now you're taking the high road. Bitch, okay? <laughs> Silence, woman. You have to be really tight in how you operate. Silence, right? when? We say things like, oh, well, he does this, and, and I never do this, right? Well, you are wrong. And I just told you. You haven't proven that. I, what? Okay, so the designs you stole. That's called, that's called being a thief. A thief, oh, yeah. piece of shit, garbage. Yes, that was fuck. not right when but, that happened. Okay. It hasn't happened so, in a long time, and we made and we actually made efforts to prevent it. You have not. You said your efforts to prevent it is do. better thumbnails and titles, bro. This is your example of better thumbnails and titles. This was two weeks ago. Same <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> this is two weeks ago. What's funny about it is you know the editor saw it was like, if I put XQC's face on it, it'll cover the airplanes and maybe the six. I gotta move it.
All right, what do yeah, I do? Right, I'll right. put this there and that. Yeah, I've done it. There we go. Name, I'm a good same person. Same fucking thumbnail. You, the guy you did the experiment says, change my thumbnail, change the name so that my audience doesn't get confused and so that you don't steal my views. Why are you denying that? It's so obvious. Okay, so like I said, like I said, um, we work... Answer the question. We, what's the question? That was the statement. question is, how is it that you can deny that you're stealing views and intentionally misleading audience to clicking your fucking video? It, intentionally? I, that is not intentional. How is... Oh, my God. No, <laughs> they accidentally look the same. That's the thing. It's it's so clear to the audience as well at this point. It's like, what do you mean yeah. you're not intending to do that? You, it's obvious. Is it possible? Uh, is it possible? Now, let not, me... Not, go ahead. Let's say someone comes from your stream. They've watched you all day. They love you. They're a big fan. They watched you react to, let's say, Mr. Beast's new video, okay? Yeah. And then they come to the homepage, and guess what they see there? Mr. Beast's new video. Do you think that they're, there's, are they less likely or more likely to click his video after they saw it on your channel? That is an excellent question. Nice and clean. That's unworthy of consideration. Very um, clean. <clears throat> the reason why this is a good question is because it doesn't... Um, actually change a lot of XQC's argument about the benefits, but it sounds fantastic to hear him say they yeah, wouldn't right. click sets it. Up a, yeah. yeah, sets up a pretty decent, like, good mental image. Concise yeah. question, yeah. I'm gonna Answer the question, that. dude. Well, the more or less likely. Okay. Okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. Ant just answer. One or the other. Two choices. Less. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> what? And that's the thing. Got him. It's like, XUC uh, knows, Ethan knows, Hila knows, the whole audience knows. It's like, well, there it is. That's is. That's been said now. And so it feels blatant. And yeah. if he knows that, and he's doing the thumbnail and title thing, it's just like, you're not being sold as a great participant in this whole industry, you know? It really yeah. feels like you yeah. are just trying to steal Economy, shit from people. as you say. Yeah. Did. Damn. So, so then you're Mr. Fucking, Beast is... That proves that you're stealing people's that... views intentionally. Okay, Thank you, bro. So, so, so... The views and, and, and the click rate in that particular instance, do you think that would, that will end up being a raw loss of the creator or not? And this is the correct place to go next. The overall, the net gain or loss, is it, is it higher or lower? Is, is the channel going to benefit, though, overall, even if the views on that particular video don't go up as opposed to you know, the alternate timeline? That's where the conversation mm -hmm. should go next. But Ethan just needs to cut him off now. All he, yeah, and all he has to say is, you're the one doing the, the thievery. The mm -hmm. burden of proof is on you. To show that it does and also just because you steal from someone and incidentally some good comes of it do you think that's something we want to be promoting sorry are we done talking um, about yeah, teddy fresh I, yeah if we're done talking about teddy okay. fresh it'd be better because i don't yeah, want to feel like get, we're out, getting get, out, uh, get out thief before i fucking robin hood this shit before i start spreading the wealth of what is, to is, is what? the only what? figure Dude. that he knows from literature robin hood is that like the <laughs> only character that he's ever heard <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> Robin Hood isn't even Robin quite, Hood. quite useful for this. Cause no, the, the... Robin Hood isn't analogous because Robin Hood was a thief. He was just, he was a noble thief. He was like a yeah, thief who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. System, right? what, what, what XCC so, like, wants to paint the image of is someone who hunts for victims. He needs to pick victims. someone who's like an enforcer. He needs to pick like yeah, a... Uh, like, um, like an enforcer well, type Well, a white character. knight. A white knight would be what you're yeah, looking for. Yeah, exactly. Like, think... well, call him Prince Charming. Or, well, I oh, guess you probably wouldn't say that. <laughs> I have it on good authority that XQC is white. He did mention it. Other people, holy he shit, I'm gonna come at you guys. There's things and designs. Jesus Christ, bro. You're being pretty silly, but ours is defensible. Yours is not. Or at least we've Ooh. made... It's not defensible, but anyway, thank... You know what? I mean, I don't see oh, this conversation... Uh... That sucks. He completely misspoke because two yeah. kinds of defensible. Defensible in the sense that you did what was right once the event took place. That is defensible. Right. The act itself was obviously not defensible. Yeah, yeah. Station going much. Guys, guys, it is defensible thievery, guys. They no, no I, I, it, I, he pulled it back before you made fun of him, so it's too late. He did. I, I, back. I, it's I, stealing in the right yeah, way. No, I, 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 I retracted that as soon as I said it, right? What you heard. Yep. I said we, we've we've corrected the error, uh, an understandable yep. error, uh, in my opinion, one that you refuse to remedy after time and time and time again. You provide me zero direct answers. Oh my and, god, uh, he, and, it, and it, this frankly, would be the time to do the speech to wheel out that line. It does feel like uh, Ethan is trying to end it. He's done all the he's damage. He's ramping up. Yeah. He's yeah. ramping up to his, mm -hmm. his big climactic I think you know speech. you're wrong, and I think you don't care that you're wrong, because it benefits you greatly. You make a yes. lot of money. You don't want to change what you do. And here's another thing. 
You're not going to be able to make uh, 12 hours of content for Kick, who paid you $100 million, if you can't steal other people's content. Because if you... Nailed it. True, true, true. Don't. What the fuck are you going to do all day? Sit there and gamble? Nobody's going to watch that shit. Oh, this is the thing. It's like Ethan Ethan has presented a very uh, compelling story about this entire situation. And it's so important to present a story that people uh, understand and, you know, essentially believe to be true. And there's like a lot of facts (laughs) that he can point to. It's mm-hmm. just such a cons- it's such a thorough like breakdown compared to the sporadic like scattershot insults that XQC yeah, I mean, has been you, around the whole time. You fucking prepare for shit like this. Yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I got. You, well, see, here's the thing. E- even if it's not necessarily a hundred percent true, because I guarantee you, if XQC decided to play games, he'd get a lot of viewers anyway. Oh yeah. Right? So, so when, when Ethan says no one's gonna watch that shit, no, you you XQC could do other things. Well, it's, are, it's just watching YouTube videos. The, the problem like is that, that X, XQC is not good at refuting the narrative that that Ethan is presenting. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. As you said, it's a really good story, especially after everything that's yeah. been said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so exactly. even though there's like even though that little bit was wrong, and maybe some other, some other little tiny bit was wrong, the fact that the whole story makes sense and is pretty powerful, it's just. It's done. Well, I have to say, again, not a fan of Ethan Klein, but like he's this is a pretty strong performance. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's pretty good. You'd have to be delusional to think that XQC came out of this looking <laughs> better in any way. Well, uh, as, as, how did XQC's audience react to this? I'm sure they yeah. thought he won. Well, uh, you know? prob- oh, they don't know how to react. They don't know what reactions are. Well, judging by <laughs> XQC's reactions, I guess well, that's true. Speaking of that, look at his face right now when he said, "You just sit there and gamble," like that. Like, yeah. You're know, like, what do you say to that? It's like, oh, fuck. You can watch this shit already. They don't care about you even having arguments. Clearly, you're not very good at that. You lost 12 viewers, man. Oh. <laughs> My views are very nice good. Nice right throwback. Now, so I think we need like a therapist to give us a hint on where, when the tantrum ends. When does it end, Ethan? It seems like tantrum. when you go on these tangents, you just, you just go on a rampage and you just ramble and ramble without making any concise point or a question. Is it you don't you're not allowed shit? to say that. You can't yeah. say that. <laughs> I, think he, I think he realized right. that as he was saying it. Like... Man, I do that all the time. <laughs> like, oh, we talk like adults now or not? Oh, shit. Oh. Um, I think this that conversation is, funny is as well. kind of We talk like adults exhausted. after saying that he was balding the whole time. <laughs> yeah, and, um, <laughs> and if you call it Ethan's cutting it off, he's like, we, we, yep. this is exhausted. Because, yeah, he's done everything he needs to do now. There's it's no time benefit. For the re- yeah, time to withdraw. People it's, would uh, rather watch me full screen cam do the fucking warm. Do watch that. Your prime, Bro, then watch your do prime it for content. a week. Do a week oh, of no comes. reaction oh, content no, and see how many clip. fucking views you get. <laughs> oh, he's crying in the corner. What is this? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, that's what? not even the worm. What the yeah, fuck? that's true. That's what not even the worm. What the fuck is going on? He just got on the ground and started scrolling around. Sure like, did. Listen, this is this is when you're not balding. This this is what I. Mean. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. This is lucidity in its highest form. <laughs> just take a screenshot of this with his ass in there. Say, like, this is balding. this is zen. <laughs> this is zen. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> Ethan couldn't have like you couldn't have given him more than of what he wanted. This this oh. could have, like it's gone so I his know. way. Well, then at the end of the debate, you're so <laughs> mad that you get on the ground and start crawling around like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It is. This, oh, this, this, this obviously. Bizarre, uh, I'm surprised you hadn't seen this through just osmosis. Like, it's been, this clip got shared everywhere, obviously. Yeah, I've seen that as well. Yeah. I've not seen this. this um, is I new. think this conversation has kind of ex- been exhausted. <laughs> People would rather watch me full screen cam do the fucking warm. Do watch that. Your prime, Bro, then watch your do prime it for content. a week. Do a week of no reaction content and see how many fucking views you get. Oh, he's crying in the corner. <laughs> He, oh, okay, sure. Oh, okay. I mean, okay, that's content, sure. man. It's original, it's original <laughs> content, at least. Like yes, it, do man. that, bro. That was, uh, that was sick, dude. dude, do it. The only reason he could do that is the mates cleaned up for, before that. Oh, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, so, you know, not the greatest <laughs> performance for XCC, yeah. Bro, this is the best showing. Great, fucking four years, bitch. It's, it's awesome. Do a week of no React content. Oh man! Oh, even man, a day, oh, even a day. Okay, do one hitting. day without React content. I'm. I'm Doesn't that seem like hey, it'd be a, a fun challenge? 
to see what you could do for a day. His response is usually like, fuck any... off. You don't understand the stats. You don't understand. Shut oh, up. that, man, <laughs> that seems like a fun challenge. Um, I mean, I mean, we've done experimental EFAP episodes that are just like full discussions. Yep. Wow. And then, of course, movie breakdowns and things like that. It's, it's, it would be interesting to see, like, what does it look like if you try to stream for 12 hours with nothing but what's going on in your head yeah. as, a, as a source of inspiration? But yeah, I, I don't think you'd be very receptive to, to that idea. <laughs> yeah. well, well, how did those work out? Oh, we've had a lot of... Positively. We, uh, the ones where yeah. we talked about a lot of uh, the important aspects of storytelling for you know, like each individual person on the panel, favorite uh, story and why. Like that was, a, that was a really good episode. I really liked that one. I think it's um, it's a lower viewed but fan favorite probably is my guess anyway. Uh, it's some of those because like you know like recently the Secret Invasion one like apparently everyone's fucking watching that one but you know how many Even people will right. consider it their greatest and favorite years from now? I don't know. Mm. The Drax song was pretty funny. Dude, that Drax song was hilarious. I can't like sometimes the entertainment that. writes itself. Some poor VFX guy was like looking at the still frame and thinking, "Fucking hell! <laughs> like, <laughs> why did they make me do this?" Yeah, Let's at least see, they uh... paid me a little bit. Well, isn't uh, isn't the recent development that like Marvel VFX uh, artists uh, looking thinking at about the... unionizing? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, they are. That's what God. I've heard. Yeah. There's a lot of shaking up going on in uh, Hollywood. Uh... A lot of changes. Um, your wife's uh, merch sale. Um, sales on the on the first wave when <laughs> knives and designs were stolen. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. Yeah. Well, yeah. dang. Uh, well, that's well, a claim. That's just a theory. And let's do the figures. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Theory. Theory. You're just being, you're just being silly, bro. I'm bold theory. Let me silly. Prove me wrong. Because clearly, the burden of proof is is, is uh, on you now, right? Because if you make an argument, then you have to prove it. go ahead and prove it. You haven't even shown. I mean. What? Uh, Dude, what? what? Does he not understand? He made the claim. Do you like that Ethan was like, you haven't even shown what? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're being you silly, bro. You're being ridiculous. Well, it seems like a... I have to prove everything, and you have to prove nothing. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if you say that, that if you say the ninety percent thing, then yeah, the burden of proof is on the person making the claim. This is not so, yes, edit, by it the is way. up to you to prove that. I figured this was this one is of the still things. their show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Not at all. What's going to happen? Inner Jason and Statham's coming out. Some... All right. Thank you, buddy. Addison it was a good action. chat. I think well, that we've I, I done a good done. job at getting There's to the heart points, of what you, what you care about and uh, how you feel to... about taking people's videos. I think it was illuminating. I think we had a really good conversation. Oh, my so... God. It's Jover. Yeah. Jover. I mean, I, I don't think you have anything else interesting to say. So I think we can wrap Really? Well, I think your audience thinks I have something interesting to say. It's just the problem is that you're running. How so long fast. do you want me to sit here and listen to you? See, watch you crawl around on the ground like a worm. I mean, I have a show to do, dude. <laughs> I'm like you. I actually yeah. fucking organize and put work into my show. Whoa. I understand for you, you're just burning time. You could sit here for 12 hours. That'd make your life easier. You wouldn't have to go steal videos. But me, I plan this. I have a show. I have a schedule. This is stop being interesting because you're just sitting there saying silly shit and doing the worm. So with that being said. Thank Ethan, you for calling. I feel it, like gotcha. it was very illuminating, and I wish you the best, and I hope you have a great stream. Gotcha. Oh. oh, one more question. I wanted to ask uh, him, who is Mr. Chair? Hold on, hold on, real quick. That was a subtle dig at the end. Did you hear that when you said, thank you for calling? As if he was like a like a caller in a call-in, it wasn't like a scheduled debate? Or he yeah, said, between two content creators sort of thing. No, he said, he said, thank you for calling, specifically. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, like, it, it's cute that you wanted to try and explain this nonsense, but, you know, it's time to go. Yeah. It's time for you to go. Right. Mr. Have, have Chair is... Here, actually, I'll show this. <laughs> Fuck. I wanted to ask him that. There's some good fucking memes one point the for... memes chat. Oh, yeah. The, the one point he forgot to do while he was here, because I actually think this would have been interesting to see XQC's response to saying this. Sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's, 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 that was not going anywhere. But here, for the people still watching... Here's him talking about so, Mr. See, Chair. See, I have a concept in, in my chat um, called Mr. Chair. If I'm gone and I watch a video and I, I leave, uh, Mr. Chair watches the video for me. And chat fucking <laughs> loves Mr. Chair more than like, they like oh. me. Chat hates me. I think me. that means that they like the original video. Hey, did he steal like, Chelly from me? Pretty much same concept, yes. Oh. And, but the Yo, thing is, like, if he had played this as part of it. all of it, watched him squirm after it, this is great for the audience too. He's saying that he, he literally says here, chat hates me. 
Like, it's admitting that yeah. chat would rather him not be there so that they can watch the original content unobstructed. Which yeah, is something without, we discovered, yeah, by the way. Uh, Bullshit. When he was pausing yeah, and when he was talking, people were telling him to hit play and to shut the fuck up. Uh, unfortunately, the culture surrounding React content is part of the reason why it's such a problem. Mm -hmm. The views yeah. of which you're stealing. But he's, he's saying, yeah, I just walk away in my chair. My chair does the work for me. They love Mr. Chair, okay? And for them, that has value. And I think that that is can't be understated. That The chair adds value. <laughs> that can't be understated. <laughs> it can't be understated. Chair. Uh, uh, and see, getting getting XQC to acknowledge that and defend it on, on the live show would have been funny. That would have been the, fun. chair, yeah. the empty chair adds value. How can I have a conversation with this guy? The truth is that... He wants to be radically honest about what he's doing. He wants to say, I don't care about this. I'm doing it. I don't care. He wants to make a million. He wants to make a million uh, exceptions. Of oh, if they come to me, I'll pay them. What's putting the, neck there? the fucking like, Kraken or something? Rats, basically. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, anyway, they're all like ticks. Onus on the victim to come to him, the biggest content creator in the world, where there's a huge power dynamic. The one guy I did talk to, Vince, says he doesn't want the heat. And of course, why would he, right? I mean, he's clearly not very stable to begin with. I mean, he hasn't slept in a fucking <laughs> Clearly. Day. And so, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, sending him a complaint could easily backfire on somebody. And um, he wants to be radically honest about it. But when, he, when it comes time to explain what he's doing is wrong, he won't own it. This is He's radically honest up to a point. Yeah. I mean, it, he wants, to, be, he wants yeah. to do the Chad yes while also not doing it. Yeah. Where you say, yeah. why are you yeah. naming it the same title and the same thumbnail as their video? Because I wanted to. He, he, can't, he can't go there because he knows he's wrong. That's just me. Pretty much. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> what an interesting debate yeah. that was it was interesting he uh he got fucking minced ethan he took did. him to yeah that was an annihilation that was bad it's just that crazy to me that his yeah. prep was made by his editor and he didn't even watch the was edit. Shit. <laughs> was bad. And he also didn't watch the didn't original even review video. his own evidence and bad. then when ethan explains to him it's like why is this cut off like there's part of the transformation like right there of the content it's like no just pre pre react pre acting it's like what what is what is happening what are we doing <laughs> this is all part of be of reacting you talk about what is happening then you lead into the topic or whatever show the clip talk more that's that's how you do it oh, and uh, just so everyone can't knows just, you can't just term it something well, else and it's like no it doesn't count because that's pre acting it's like fuck off there is another mm -hmm. chapter left because this caused fallout for hassan and it's funny Ooh. That's what's okay Ooh, another, another chapter, chapter. I remember that but, but before that, really that. that. Right? yes we're going to talk a little bit about these vinyl figures because the entire audience oh, has shit. cycled in now it's a completely new audience Woo! than when we started the show i'm sure of it uh yes you guys What's don't that? know We've got vinyl figures for the EFAB crew. Look at that. Look at how amazing this yes. is. Look at them. Oh, oh my goodness. Shiny, wow. cool. I'm gorgeous. so erect. Beautiful. So gorgeous. Equipped with goo, popcorn, and film reels, because that pretty much summarizes the whole thing. Got to get them together. Goo, popcorn, and film. So that you can get a discount. And That's they right. come That's in these true. beautiful little packages. Look at, look at it. Look at them go. Gorgeous. Wow. That one says Mahler. Wow. This one, says, one says Rex. This one says Fringy. Oh my goodness. Look at him sitting there, there, standing there, holding <laughs> goo, popcorn, and film reel. And just being happy fellas. They I they really do look great. <laughs> I mm -hmm. really like the way that they've turned and out. Look at him spin. That's how you know they're top quality. That's a Beautiful. good trick. I've heard. We figured you guys uh, might like something different this time. Not the plushie. That's right. The vinyl. It's these things can be stood up on a shelf, maybe on your desk. Yeah. And of course, you know, if you want to keep them in the box or take them out of the box, as people like to do with their uh, vinyl figures. That's why. That's true. And uh, I'm not course... that glued into the vinyl figure culture. I'll have to. I'll have to learn what it is. You know, that's the cool thing to do. Uh, these are hyper limited edition. You will likely that's never right. have a chance to get these again. In your life. That's how special that they is are, true. Cosmically. These are uh, these are particularly potentially uh, unique. Uh, these will never be made again, and who knows 
how many more vinyl figures will be made. So, as a, as exclusive as they were before, these are even more exclusiver. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be looking back if if months from now you don't buy these all three of them together for the fifteen percent discount, you will look back at your old self and you'll say, "What a what a fool I was." I could but, be sitting right here with my beautiful, gorgeous EFAP limited edition vinyl figurines, and yet here I am, sans figurines, wallowing in the misery of loneliness. This is what you'll be telling yourself months from now if you don't buy these. But remember, all together for fifty percent discount. They're available for a limited time. You got time, but it is a limited. You do have time. time. You do have time. <laughs> Specifically, a limited it time is... of twenty-eight days, nineteen hours, twenty minutes, and fifty-five you have seconds. Five minutes left. Right. So you go, still go, got go. a lot of time, five but minutes. not a lot of time. Not the greatest amount of time, but some time. Mm -hmm. It is and, some uh... time, but time fleet. Time, time fleets away. It flitters away. With every second that passes, is one more second that you did oh not God. spend buying As these. It's knows, one less second that you could use to buy them. Time does eventually go bald, and that is time. Just, just <laughs> never <laughs> time does you eventually look kind of bald here. Bald. Would you say I, that your yeah. vinyl's bald here? My yeah, vinyl is bald. bald. Yeah. You look very shiny on the. You also I look shiny. Kind of shiny. I am you all shiny. look very shiny. We're just shiny, happy people. And happy. That's what we are. That's right. Yeah, um, man, I'm ready to watch these bundles movies. of happiness, you know, sitting on your shelf, your bookcase, on your desk, or, you know, next to your TV, anywhere. Yeah. And they'll last forever. They'll outlive you. You can pat These could become cherished heirlooms for your children that they can pass down to their children, that they can pass down to their children. And one day, your children and One day, there'll probably you. be, like, a mythology <laughs> about these strange creatures. <laughs> the Eldritch Gas Mask Man. And the green plague doctor, bird, maybe and the guy. Malaria and the, that will pass. That will that that will go on. As your, the your dog descendants with the pixelated <laughs> sunglasses. Yeah, they will be asking yourselves after the apocrypse. They will say, "What what do these figures mean? What are these symbols on the boxes? What are they?" Because English will have disappeared and civilization will have restarted oh after the great wars. But you'll still have these vinyl figurines. They'll become religious icons for around which to build the new civilization and the new world. <laughs> Ailed as God. The, ch this is this is this, chariot this to the gods man. kind of stuff right those. here. I think everything that's been said is pretty normal. <laughs> this is all everything <laughs> that I'm telling you is. Don't truthful. forget when bought together, this is fifty percent discount, and it's part of the lore. collection. They are, that's in, part they of are the lore. collection. They are indeed. So anyway, well, you guys want more small videos? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Wow. I have, this odd, I have this craving for popcorn right now. They oh are my indeed. goodness. I wish I I wish I had some yummy delicious I popcorn. I have a craving to consume well, my goo right now, but ugh. I don't want to eat film but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a One question. Of, yeah. I got a okay. question here, Mahler. Do, do you do you have set up in this next segment um the aftermath of the debate on Destiny's channel? I do not. But obviously, okay. the summary of that is Destiny tries to explain to XQC how he lost. But, uh, it <laughs> yeah. doesn't, and, doesn't and, work but, out that but, great. What was, I'm sure it went what well. Was, <laughs> what, what was wild about that is XQC came in and was like, I won. I feel amazing about this. And I was like, what? <laughs> no one. No one felt amazing about this for you, XQC. Well, I mean, no. I guess he's trying to convince himself, right? Yes. He's his own hype man. I mean, <laughs> well, do you, well, you think do he could you, afford one, that, but... What, he could afford, think, like, that jerk family guy, your own personal suck-up, who <laughs> just agrees with everything you say. <laughs> nice weather today. I, <laughs> that's a little cloudy. It's, like, horrible. Nice tie. I hate that. I hate this tie. It's awful. It's gaudy. It's gotta go. And I hate myself. Well, I hate you, too, you fat sack of crap. But I'm the president. <laughs> the best one there is. But you just said you hated me. But not you, the president. You, you who hates light clouds. And then his head explodes. Oh, family guys. <laughs> so, um, anyway, moving on. Sorry, <laughs> it's just. Do you think he actually was just coping, or did do you think he genuinely believed that he won that? Yeah, Game I Game think Game? the the big thing that was pushing him is he thought that Ethan went to insults and like cheap tactics way faster, and so that he won the optics battle. But um, obviously he did not. He was mistaken. No, am a man of ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he said that so, he said that first we got this was uh, yeah, some immediate aftermath there was a couple of DMs but this was the one that I wanted to look at so uh, Rags do you want to play XQC I, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yes, of course, of course I would. Why would you even? Wait, wait. Why, can, can you would you even accent? ask that? Huh? Can you his, his accent though? is his accent is stutter. His accent is XQC. There's no one else. <laughs> <laughs> what does XQC stand for? I have no clue. Not like thievery or anything. I mean, like, what do the letters mean? No clue. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's on you. He's the first. All you right. sent the message first. I know, Ethan. I know it kills you inside. You inside. You lost so much time and money in that lawsuit. Wait, to slow. Um, <laughs> which one? I, 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 I don't know. Whichever, really. You seem so bitter after it. I'm fine. Anyways, when the bills kick in and and you're you're struggling, r remind yourself you leaked DMs out of insecurity. Look at my watch. <laughs> oh, my yep, God. the watch and my nail. <laughs> Look at my watch and my nail. And and don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. So, just for reference, we'll, we'll, we'll chuck in our Simpsons reference now. There was a joke in The Simpsons where, I can't remember which character, they have a watch that's gold, and it has jewels inside that are so big that the hand can't move. <laughs> just something to think about. Wait, <laughs> truly the hand watch. moves, right? I figured that the hand moves in this one, but it's the spirit of the thing, yeah, which the, is the wow. Joke. The watch is so it's so important that it looks expensive that it's no longer well, usable. He's got like a, I, like, a diamond what is that? nail wrapped around his wrist too. Oh, so let me. Yeah. Um, oh, so there are the hands one. on the bottom side. Okay, so I think it is eight. I want to say eight twenty. So yeah, this like watch, eight twenty one ish. Yeah, uh, this is an. Uh, an, a royal oak frosted gold double balance wheel open worked from Audemars Piquet. Um, if you go to their website, and for those of you who are interested here, I will, in case you want to get your own royal oak frosted gold double balance wheel open worked uh, watch from Audemars Piquet, you can go here to this link. Um, you might notice if you go to this link that, uh, that you that it's price on request and you could plan an appointment to yeah. discuss your potential NC. future purchase of the Royal Oak Frosted Gold Double Balance Wheel Open Worked. You know it's um, expensive when you have name. to ask them. <laughs> like yeah, plan an appointment to find out the cost. I've heard it's like a, like a six-digit six uh, kind of price. Of course it is. Well, yeah. uh, according to Dexerto.com, the watch in question, uh, Audemars Piquet's Royal Oak Frosted Gold Double Balance Wheel Open Worked uh, can sell for up to $456,255 USD. The things I could do with that kind of money, man. Yeah, you could buy a watch. Ugly. <laughs> now, so ugly. Yeah. I you know. see the reason a hunk of you can't buy pretty, Sitch. You can't buy pretty. Um, now, you can try, why, why, why is this watch, watch so expensive? Bald, okay. It is very bald, but it's beautiful bald. Because... Bald watch. You'll notice for the price, for instance, the shimmering 18 karat frosted gold case and bracelet are enhanced by a bezel set with 32 baguette cut rainbow colored sapphires, 2.24 carats, all individually cut. How incredible. It's, it's, it's excellent. And the case is a hammered 18 karat white gold case bezel set with rainbow colored baguette cut sapphires, glare proof sapphire crystal, and case back screw locked crown. So. Uh, the dial, a rhodium-toned open-work dial, pink gold applied hour markers, and royal oak hands with luminescent coating. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of um, there's a lot there's a lot that's going on here. A lot that's going yeah. on here. Too much. So yeah, there's the, too fucking I mean, much going what on was there. The price again? What was the price? Uh, they sell for up to four hundred and fifty-six thousand two hundred fifty-five dollars uh, USD. This is something <laughs> that he wears on his wrist and he wanted ethan he, to first know off, it's expensive let's, yeah. and let's be very clear here xqc mm. cannot read this watch not because <laughs> it's very confusing but because he doesn't know how to read an analog clock almost certainly i would it is would it a safe bet that he doesn't know what an analog clock is like in the words themselves you know what i mean i'm, right. I'm probably yeah I, I can believe it but yes wait um well Okay, first of all, obviously, showing off your wealth, like, rubbing your wealth in someone's face, obviously, like, one of the Whoa, most low-class thing you can do, right? But then on top of that, like, as a mansion eight, himself. 
I was gonna say Ethan and Ela live in a very rich mansion, don't they? They live in a giant mansion. They're very wealthy. The idea it's like calling them bald. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, wait. You, I don't know. It's just like it, it'd be like if Jeff Bezos called up Bill Gates and was flexing about like his watch or something. It's yeah, like, like, he's like, wait, wait. Like, hey, Bill, like, got myself a yacht outside. And, and, and of course, there is <laughs> a flyer. It sounds like, like a Holy fucking shit. Family Guy joke or a Simpsons, like, like a cartoon I, show. I, I don't know. It, it, it really is because you said like you think that he probably thinks he won the debate, but is this winning behavior sending no, somebody on no. the debate? Look no, at my no, expensive no. watch. No. Oh, Look at what cringe. my thievery bought me. Was this how long after the debate was this? Uh, I, think, uh, I think it was like a well, day. Well, see, you see the time; it's like three forty-five in the morning. Oh yeah, was it the same day? <laughs> I actually think this this was just yeah after the debate. So I remember Ethan saying that he didn't even know why he was awake at this point because he was molding. There are plenty <laughs> no. of content creators that I don't ask Mouth. for permission beforehand yeah, as well. One, because why they're my friends, it, or two, you, you because like it's a compelling video that, that, that I know I'm going to make a transformative product out of, right? So and if I make a transformative product so out of that and you see it on my you YouTube- are... So this is Hassan coping, trying to explain that uh, <laughs> he only ever does it with permission or transformative. He doesn't steal, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Page. That's that. you fucking lying again. It's, it's, like, it's like you watch. It's the cookie jar shit. It's like, what are you doing? We saw you. Everyone saw you. <laughs> you know that, that would yeah. be inappropriate. Does he just have random internet. letters on his jacket? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it spells something. Like a C E N D. Is that an H I L? You can make something out of that. Endel? Yeah, it's like a little picture, a little game you could play. Yeah. With your appropriate song. for them to try and strike it down. No uh, Peter Santanello's uh, uh, videos are a great example of this. It's like three hours long yeah. usually. You know, what a lot of the pros do, Hassan, is that when you're talking, you pause the video no. that's playing so that... This, this is the weirdest thing. When I was uh, covering this to yeah. grab the relevant clips, they he like never pauses any like live show thing, I guess, because it's just to stay like up to date, even though he's like ignoring everything they're saying. It's Wait, just do you want to mute shit. it or quiet it? Does, does he have like a big cardboard cutout of Queen Elizabeth with crosses on her eyes? Yes, he hates yes, her. He does. Oh, she's that's a, a little, little, little yeah. tasteless, but you know. Yeah. And, I yeah, remember they were all thrilled when she died. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was very weird. Strange and is that is that Obama standing next to her in a, like a in a yes. suit? Yeah. Sure is. Okay. You didn't mention what the queen was wearing, but you mentioned what Obama I, I was wearing. I can't see. He's in the way. Because he's I a can... sexist. He doesn't well, care. you can tell she's got a got... crown on. You still got. You think you think Bernie would approve of that? <laughs> I'm just... He's sitting there looking at you. Judgmentally. Judgmentally. Mm -hmm. And I don't re so uh, ever do the full react. So wait. Do you think that he's doing this where he's not pausing the video because this way he can say he reacted to the video without actually addressing it's any of the It's funny you say that. In... That is entirely my theory. I think that he wanted to get okay. through this as quickly as possible because this was incredibly stressful and awkward for him to watch. He had to choose mm -hmm. sides and uh, mm -hmm. XQC oversteps at one point and Hassan chooses a side. Oh, JCS are another great example as well that, I mean, where, where I have uh, communicated with JCS and he does appreciate it, but it doesn't even matter. I'm sure you're Ultimately, thrilled. Yeah, to steal all of JCS's stuff, of course. Yeah, 100%. Go out there, right? It's got permission. It's like, yeah, but you don't have to do fuck all because JCS is super what's, entertaining. And what's JCS up to these days? Is he still making uh, videos? He, or I'm pretty sure a couple of months ago he, he put a new one out. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if he was, you know, still doing stuff. There's a uh, there's a channel that keep up with. kind of cropped up around the same time Matt Orchard that also does like similar format. He uploads a bit more frequently. Talking Ultimately, about uh, there is the still a lot of gray that. areas in this, yeah, we, we, we but yeah, given yeah. the we fact that yeah, fucking conveniently for you, <laughs> you'll jump into those gray areas <laughs> and swim around as much as you can. <laughs> swim around. Gray areas. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. How do you, how do you Given the fact that? that the overwhelming majority of YouTubers don't even care about it, and uh, like, keep, here we keep go repeating again. that. They just don't just care about, about it, on, so dude. I can steal it. Do whatever Fuck you can off. to keep saying that. that. There are benefits to it as long uh, as you're, you're giving it your honest go-ahead. Um, it, it, well, no, you you do well, have to actually have to transform it, it regardless it's so of funny. Yeah, honest. Exactly, you know, if, you, exactly. if you give it a jolly good college try and you're still not able to squeeze out some actual transformative reactions, then you can't just do it and say, well, I tried. It's but, nice that you tried, but it needs to be sufficiently transformative. Yeah. As yeah, he walks uh, away, like, I'm yeah, trying, yeah. guys. Here I go trying.
Trying I'm is trying. the anyway, first I'm go step on the nuggies. pathway to actually succeeding. Uh, so it's not it, it's not that serious of a of a conversation. Uh huh. We're sucking his balls okay. out. Well, when, that's when he again, does this is, uh, Mr. Cherry act out. and. Uh, with all Dude, you're so dishonest. You don't you don't even know what you're talking about. Last week, I chewed him out for an hour to the point where I had to apologize because people were mad at me. That wait, what? You people are, wait, that did this turn to me problem. now? It is my problem, but you're not. Did this fucking dumb Quebecer oh, three no. IQ the, what, schnauzer? Why? Why? why he always do does that. that. He always, do he always that. picks somewhere where they're from. He always, why you that? he always just lunges for like where they're from. Ooh. It's so weird. He's it was racist. like Clippery went after well, him being like Hungarian. The, it was like that, yeah. that guy Adam something, right? Where he, he was he was calling like F1 calling him Hungarian, Hungarian as an insult. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what, you know, what as a Hungarian, that? I take a little bit of offense. Oh, it's to just, that. Why why are you doing that? Why why are you just latching onto where they're so... from? Like, oh yeah, you oh, Becca, which it's like, all right, <laughs> it, calm down. <laughs> It, it seems to be the case when you're dealing with someone who's like very ideologically left, like Hassan, you can still be racist towards white people. That's just pretty it's much it. Totally fine, but um, yeah. in yeah. the previous episode, we discovered they were friends. Uh, XUC referred yep. to him as Chair Reacts, and this was Hassan was like, "Oh, right, that's it. We're done. Bridge burn. Fuck you." <laughs> people, <laughs> no are, wait, did this turn to me like now? This, huh? It is my problem, but you're not. Did this fucking dumb Quebecer? Three oh, IQ sorry. schnozzers? I, I don't think I've ever heard somebody call it Quebecer. It's a song. I've, I've only ever heard Quebec, Quebec which I believe is... Quebec. Is, I, I, think, I think Quebec Quebeca? is the Quebec. pronunciation that's correct. And then Quebec, not Quebec. 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 Like a cue ball? The province like of a Quebec. bald person? Cue ball, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is a schnozzer? Schnozzer. I think he's Big making fun of his nose. nose. Yeah. Is he making fun of his yeah. nose? Okay. Snake rat say I'm cherry oh ass. You cock sucking motherfucker. Uh, Fuck what you. Chair rat? guy? I feel like you're you're not snake the chair rat guy. Is the not chair guy. The chair guy. Oh you gotta pick one. A oh, snake rat. Uh, I feel like a snake rat's, rat's just uh, a, a vicious. Well, that's what makes yeah. him the ultimate oh, yeah. creature, I guess. The snake rat. He, he is, his, snake his, rat. Nature, his very nature is contradictory. Yes. Schnauzer. Much like the pigeon rat. Schnauzer. Do you, I feel like rat say I'm cherry. Wait, this feels very performative. Oh yeah, well this it is the thing. Very so I'm, think, I'm think about what happened. He, he pulled him cherry. Did he watch this beforehand? Did he watch this, this, no, no, this, this beforehand? Live. And he came up with this insult, and he was just waiting for this moment to attack. I, I I'll buy the second half. This is live, so he's not doing this as prepare. I don't think he's watching it as it's happening. But oh, no, I think if he, he was, saw this before, he was prepared oh, no, this to is deliver this insult with the stream. Clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's watching H three and XUC live. So, oh, okay, never mind. This, but just, remember, but this, not, this line of insult, like, like he was clearly of, of being very knee jerky. Yeah, and he he was ready well, to no, sell like, XUC down the river, basically. What he's saying is so angry, but his face and voice are not like matching the things he's saying. It's very bizarre. It, it is a bit like, performative. Kind of yeah, this is yeah, a bit yeah, when, no, he was, when he was going on the big rant about that Adam something guy. That one seemed angry. Remember, mm -hmm. um, when Ethan on the the last EFAP on this, e Ethan said something like he's a disgusting, thieving like piece of shit, and then Hassan's response was, yeah, XUC is an interesting guy, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 like, like The angle, of course, being he hadn't dropped him yet, but I think at this point right, he was yeah. like, I'm so ready, just give me a reason to drop you. I mean, and an excuse he to write you off. Yeah, and he did. That he was okay. Cherry Axe. Axe, you cocksucking motherfucker! Oh Fuck my god! You. Why, why, why... Are, why are you allowed to use cocksucker as a as an insult? That's a homophobic. Story. I don't understand yeah, these lefties, right? I don't you, can't, you shouldn't be allowed to say that. I know. Like, Ooh, how can you be upset guy? that we say retard? But then you're like, you're the call chair guy, a bitch. Fucking suck my balls, dude. Yeah. The reason why the high balls road conversation works is because it's inherently a conservative counter argument, which is that Wait, everyone's sorry, immoral. What? 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 All right. what is suck my what? balls, dude? Yeah. <laughs> the Mr. reason why the high road conversation works is because it's inherently a conservative counter argument, which is that everyone's what? immoral, everyone's imperfect. So uh, if I've done something bad, well, you've done something bad at a certain point in your life as well, which makes your argument. What does this have to do with conservatism? So everything you have to, I think, let him say the whole thing because I don't make it. <laughs> okay, I, I don't yeah. understand any of it myself. Like he, it, to give you a slight bit of help, he's responding to the. Like the high roading, like that, the concept of it. We'll we'll start there. He's talking about that. Counter argument, which is that everyone's immoral, everyone's imperfect. 
So uh, if I've done something bad, well, you've done something bad at a certain point in your life as well, which makes your argument useless because everyone is stupid ultimately. So they our, our lizard brains go, oh, yeah, you're right. This is a bad guy too. Why is he talking about this? It's, it's hypocrisy. It's by your logic. It is a logical fallacy that is utilized in every debate. I do it too. You want to know why? Because it's rhetorically awesome to do. Click his video after because they debates are bullshit. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, ain't that just just, just what a what a roller coaster, okay. you know? What a paragraph. He just admitted to being dishonest as fuck. He's like, yeah, and I do it too. This is yeah, but it sounds good. Can debates are dumb. Debates are gay. Oh my god. It's it's just. It's like everyone's getting it's reminded, amazing. like, oh yeah, this is Hassan, of course. It's like, yeah, did you forget? Yeah. <laughs> well, Remember? like, the beginning of his, beginning of that rant was, it's the Republicans that do whataboutism. And then he Service. ends up saying, I also do the whataboutism. Yeah, because it's good. <laughs> because it sounds good. Yes. Approach this one from what, the you think conservatives. Got pseudo fair use and react content, pretty dope shit that he hates it when ACU does it. Yeah, he, that, so, I, I don't know if you guys recognize it or understand it. He, this ultimately comes down to, I don't like the way you're reacting, which is why I don't like this argument, which is why I was trying to tell Ethan when we were having that conversation together that like, then you're basically policing someone else's reacts, which is not the best yes. argument to make against well, it. It's uh, a really damn he, good he argument. Never brought any really reaction. That, that never happened. We watched the whole thing. Uh, he never like tried to push back that hard on Ethan. Ethan was grilling him like crazy. And he remember he was timid mm -hmm. and scared. It was, it was sad to watch. <laughs> it was just, it's yeah. just funny to watch him now be like, yeah, I was trying to tell Ethan this, but you know. Oh, yeah, and you said, okay, this sure is why are, Ethan's argument is not good, because it always... Ethan watched the stream, and so now Ethan wants to poke at Hassan at this. He's like, what do you want to say that? <laughs> there we go. You, yes. don't, you don't react hard enough. Because at the end of the day, there are no clear-cut guidelines, no clear-cut boundaries on... Appeal to the blur. Everyone's yep. in the blue. It's great. Like, what to oh, do? No, great. like, standardized best practices. And like the argument because always... Because there's no standardized best practice, you can't try to, like, suss one out for yourself. Yeah. You can't hold yourself to a standard. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there's no, there's no standardized industry standard, which is already a funny sort of statement. Therefore, yeah, what? Yeah, you know? What I mean. Therefore, what? So fuck it. Just do whatever you want. It's the Wild West, baby will in the eyes of the audience especially uh devolve i don't into... think so i think i i circumvented that pretty good sorry to interrupt you i'm not kidding I, I was yeah that. Go ahead. uh it will always devolve into uh you're not reacting hard enough obviously there are devolve boundaries into... that i think point. Aren't... Yeah, it is a fair point it is a fair point to say that you are not reacting in a way well, ultimately it is you are not transforming this content yeah. When people say you're not reacting hard enough, they mean you're not transforming well, we, this content. We can just be honest. What is the point of streamers going, oh, react hard? It's, it's deflection. That's all you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is deflection. But you yep. hold them to it and you say, yeah, unironically un react harder. Is yes, that a problem? React can you harder. not do it? Yeah. Yes. I'm happy to even use to that terminology, react harder. They want to make yeah, it sound It's basically stupid, try harder. True. Give a shit. Yep. Exactly. React do harder. Do better work. Pretty simple. Aren't established, but like most people, uh, most people understand are bad. However, especially if you're doing like long form content, uh, especially if you're doing live streamed content without pre-production like you do. Can you, you get do, to the point, please? Um, yeah. Because you have your own uh, version of that as well as like the members only broadcast. There will always be lulls and and moments of like dead air or even- And it's your you job it. to try and minimize those as much as yeah. possible. Yeah, but for you yes. to understand, Everyone, even the highest end of transformative content, they'll have a time where it's not a hundred billion percent transformative. Don't you know what Therefore, I don't understand? What? You know? It's like, Therefore, oh, yeah, they're, we're they're all the same, what? really. Kind of. Yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, it would be convenient if that was the case for, uh, for Hassan. It would Hassan. certainly be helpful for Hassan. <laughs> Thing up. But that's also that. live reaction. Here I'm, I'm talking, talking about... and I made it clear, I'm talking specifically about his YouTube channel. I wouldn't make yeah. this claim. Okay, well that that that's something I made clear at the beginning. So I uh, uh, so okay, so we're talking about his YouTube channel. Now, I would never claim that about streaming because I agree that streaming is too much of a gray area. Yeah. And I don't think it's ever even been not gray if you just go principally dark nah. steel. It's easy. Yeah. If you hold yourself to a standard, you have a really clear line and tested. So there's not really any precedent in that regard. 
So in the context of talking about his YouTube channel, I have to disagree that it's not about React Harder. There is clearly zones. There's like... The funny thing is that it is about React Harder, if there are clearly mm -hmm. zones. Yeah. But I get what he's yeah. saying. Yeah. S-tier zones, which would be, for example, I'll e just I'll say one of my old React... Pretty much. We're S+. Plus. Action videos, which uh, is like highly... Mm -hmm. We're S-class? Oh, uh, you beat me to it, baby. I will. I ain't in that stingy ass class. <laughs> wow. I'm in Team Mongo. Devil May Cry, smoking sexy style. True. Dude, Ooh, with sketches. Yeah. It's like obvious, mm -hmm. right? Nice. Yeah. And then there's a massive gray zone. Massive gray zone. Which yeah. Would prob which this podcast would probably even fall in, which would be like high, 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 high up in the gray zone. I don't think so. Well, regardless, I'm just trying to show you what I'm. But like, if you showed the best reactor and the worst. You can clearly tell there's a massive amount of difference. And even the most mm -hmm. dim-witted moron can imagine in their head, you know, the differences in between there of how much you react and what you say. Well, right. This they is do. really not they complicated. They totally do. They, they know all exactly. know. Yeah, they all know. Them mm -hmm. acting like, oh, react harder. I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, you do. Shut the fuck up. You know exactly what yeah. that means. Liars. It's performative stupidity. Well, and that's, uh, Ethan's trying to make it as simple, like, building blocks, Play-Doh level shit. He's like, really good, completely transformative, gray zone, and then under the gray zone is clearly where he's trying to get at, is where XQC is. Right. I mean, but Hassan knows pretty... all this. Like, he yeah, understands but... all this. He's just pretending, but like, it, well, oh, I don't you... understand what you're saying. To be fair, what did Hassan just say for the past, like, 10 million years? He was trying to explain that there's a gray zone. There's a big old gray zone. Everything's gray. <laughs> all he said. Exactly. Cut. Why is he wearing a Bush Reagan '84 hat? Is it's that funny. like a meme? Funny. He's okay. Channeling Republican. I, I, what aboutism? The, the videos would, that you watch are pre-cut. Hassan, if you don't it, want that, that hat, my dad would. I think so. it does matter. Give me, well, even me because it make. Well, you, it doesn't matter. Fair use doesn't. It doesn't. Oh matter. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying like the way I see it, your oh, yeah, yeah. highly edited sketch videos, your sketch react videos, are those are S tier. Yeah, those are S tier. This podcast would be like a little bit below it, but it still is like we're we're sh we're cutting this live, but every single thing that we're looking at, we already know what we're going to by, be looking by at. By gray zone, wise. I mean like it's we can have a discussion about it. Sure, it's all debatable, and that's the nature of fair use. It's all up to a judge and jury to decide based yeah. on the merits of this one particular instance, and so that's what I mean. There's like a massive gray zone, and I would include like. Myself at the top of that gray zone, and then like may potentially even sniper wolf at the bottom of the gray zone. Yeah, I've seen now, dude. I've seen gray zone. So him now, agreeing with know. Ethan, I wouldn't allow her in the, the gray zone. He she's kicked the out of the gray zone. And also, she's not in the gray zone. She's in the no. the red zone. She's on the of bottom. Of she's in the danger yeah. zone. Yeah, the danger zone. Oh, <laughs> the, the danger zone. The old danger zone. zone. <laughs> So hold on. In terms, talking about let's say the the black zone, the very bottom, right? Whoa! Is there a zone within the black? Okay. <laughs> what color do you want to use, Sitch? Well, it's the danger we're... zone. We just said it. Yeah, it's, said kind of, red. it's kind of weird. We red called it danger. the danger zone, and red then and you yellow. said the red black zone. zone. The red Deadly zone? fellow. Okay, fucked up. All right, all right. So anyway. Yeah, and black think... means like if you're in the black, you're on top, right? But you're in the exactly. black. You think there's black like degrees? degrees? You're uh, at a surplus. Yeah. 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 Dev, just because you hear black and you associate negativity with it doesn't mean that you need to, you know, lump us in with that kind of thing. God damn it. Okay. So, I'm black. If we're talking about the danger zone, then yeah, I think there's like the red zone. There's 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 three tiers in there, okay? So you have hmm. Sniper Wolf at the top, who is just blatant, but is still present and then reacting. And then you have at the very bottom, you have chair reacts, where the person just walks away, and that's the chair react to it, right? Mm -hmm. But there's this middle, there's a zone in the middle. I don't know, guys, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but you ever like, you ever see your parents, like you go, you go home to visit your parents, and they're scrolling on Facebook or something, and they watch a video. And the video is... Um, like Steve Harvey reacts. Have you ever seen these? No, like it's just wait, is... a video and it's Steve Harvey in the corner laughing and going, Oh my God, I can't believe he did that. That's crazy. However, you watch enough of these and you realize that Steve Harvey, Harvey recorded like 25 reactions and they just play them over the exact same clips. Oh no. Over and over <laughs> and over. So you see, oh, you see the no. same Steve Harvey reaction oh, reacting a to a completely content. different video. And it's Quite like, wow, you've just turned this into a into a fucking mill, haven't you? 
you, you get Steve Harvey for one day to shoot a bunch of reactions to nothing, and then you just put it all together and just use it for a year. That's pretty bad. In the wise YouTube, words though. of Steve Harvey, if we evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did he you can't explain that? that. The tides go in, yeah. tides go out. Tide goes in, tide goes down. <laughs> you can't explain uh, that. An old you school ex- babe. Oh, Bill That's O'Reilly. Like we'll do it live! <laughs> Fuck it! Do it live! I'll, I'll do it! it. We'll do... The best part <laughs> was the fact that it cut to, like, you know, the, the wide shot and him getting up in silence yeah. just throwing his shit nice. across the room. <laughs> I can understand getting upset while, like, at the workplace. I don't understand why you don't think we know where tides come from. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, we all had our bad like days. But... Right, Jesus yeah. did the tides. Yeah. Wasn't it? What? The reason why he got angry was because the thing on the teleprompter was vague, right? It wasn't like a clear, you know, set of lines for him to say. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it exactly. probably right. didn't say "fuck it, we'll do it live." Though no, it didn't. It, did it didn't say happen. that. But it, it, I think it, I think all it said was like something like something to do with Sting. <laughs> like, it, said, gotta... it said Sting will play him out, and he didn't understand what that to meant. play him out. out. To play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go. Go. <laughs> Ray zone. Yeah. There's like unacceptable dog shit, straight up content theft. Yeah, just that's like where XQC is. Direct okay. uploads of someone else's XQC YouTube is. video would be at the bottom, right? Like, no, it's not even like outside the gray zone. It's in the black zone. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Oh, like black... Wow, he did it too. <laughs> Damn, Jeez. wow. Black zone would be uh, the the unacceptable barrier would be like at the top of that barrier <laughs> you have like someone who's a streamer who like uploads a straight vod rip and they're not even fully there. They're like barely reacting to it. They're just like kind of letting the video There's play as a substitute. Done. Yeah, for their chat to be, with me. For their chat to be entertained with. No, I don't disagree with you on that. The only the only element of the outside of the gray zone uh, conversation that we could be having is that uh, there, even in that even in that situation, there is not enough data. Um, you had you pulled up uh, yeah. Vince's video or uh, Vince's statement on it. But Holy there's still shit. not enough data on. It takes so long to yeah, make a point. This yeah, this is like, man, I'm gonna need you to do a little bit of planning with your words. No, yeah, whether this is like or movie not Bob that... levels of just. No, nah, this rambling. isn't Movie Bob because at least he no, writes Movie it Bob down. is definitely different. Movie Bob is like reading off and a it's script really quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just dense with bullshit. This is just rambling. This is meandering. That is. Uh, valuable or not, especially if like valuable. certain. Um, what do you mean? Is it displacing in the algorithm? Is it what good it for a mid sized channel? Really matter. Well, like, it'd the be reason, nice, but it doesn't really matter. The reason why it, w- the reason why this is always not like a, you can't fucking do this, you piece of shit, stop it, and then everyone changes their uh, uh, attitude towards it immediately. The reason why this keeps resurfacing over and over again. Is because there's inconsistency, not enough data on whether or not it is appropriate. It no, matter. it's because you guys keep defending well, no, your it's behavior. Because you but, it's, you yeah. want to do it. That's why it keeps but happening. Because like, it's it. easy money. How, how his tune is completely different to his own stream. He's like, uh, there's, there's yeah, inconsistent you know, it's, very, it's a very different energy. Uh, isn't uh, it? You know, when he's because he knows that Ethan's right there to be like, he's just staring at him, waiting to pounce on him. It is and remarkable, yet, isn't it? It's such different energy. It matters because, for the most part, creators don't either out of the fear, either thought... out of fear that they don't want to get into trouble with the large content creator, or because they genuinely see value in it. We don't have uh, the stats, they but most don't, people you know, uh, complain yeah. about it. <laughs> but I have don't, the stats. Um, do anything about it. Well, as bump. XQC uh, clearly exemplified by now attacking Vince on Twitter. I don't know if you saw this. I did see that. Oh, that was sure really fucked up. So not gummy. Can you pull that up? I fucking hate that. That dude. was that was definitely fucked up. Cuz he, um, he he's not show. he's not doing uh well, I don't think at this moment. Well, I don't I'm going to pull that up. up. I figured uh, to help demonstrate what you were talking about, Ethan, I'd do an XQC style paint uh thing for you. Like so Alex bald. Here's the oh, chart that, that you're talking about. Then? Here's Ethan <laughs> oh, the top the outside. There you go. Kermit the Frog. Ethan is yeah. above the gray okay. zone. Ethan is also, with his words. podcast, just about the top of the gray zone. And Sniper Wolf is at the bottom of the gray zone. Next you see is outside the bottom of the gray zone. What do you Very think of that? Image. Sniper Wolf should not be in the gray zone. No fucking no. way. Nope. No do you way. think she's above or below XQC though? 
I think uh, I might need to see more of Sniper uh, Wolf, but I I think she's below. Yeah. That's tough to say. Probably above. That's tough to say. She, um, the, uh, so her time reacting compared to time stolen is is way better ratio than XQC's. Mm. Okay. Okay. Out of the gray zone. This is actually really good. The thing about her that's po possibly more damaging than XQC is that she directly just rips the uh, yeah the TikToks right. So they they just dwindle on TikTok <clears throat> forever, not not getting anything. And she's, you know, someone does something funny or creative, they put it up, and she's like, "Thank you, that's mine." And it's as simple as that. Meanwhile, XQC, mm -hmm. a lot of the videos he's taking are very, very, very popular anyway. Like, uh, mm -hmm. Lemino yeah. isn't going to be destroyed by XQC uploading his React. Actually, you know what? I've got a question now that I'm thinking about this, because you have some TikTok accounts where the TikTok accounts are, they actually put together, like, produced content, like, little 30-second or, like, two-minute skits or something, right? Then you have some TikTok accounts where it's just people talking about an idea or sharing their day or something. Right, I do a TikTok react series, but I only choose people who like people who just talk about their day because I think they're fucking insane. I don't, I, I, I do not choose people who um make like very produced comedic content. Or if I do, I've done it a couple times where they kind of sneaked in. I've definitely linked back. All right. Do you think it's different between those two different types of TikTok uh, content? Like somewhat like like a. Like a vlog kind of person who's just like, yo, my day was shit because capitalism. Uh, yeah, something like that, where they're like, yeah, let me tell you why like capitalism. Just something, and I, like, I just take that a and I respond to that. A meaningful difference between taking something that is essentially off the cuff and took zero effort to make? Probably to some degree. Um... Well, yeah. I, I mean, mean, as long as you're, you know, reacting to it and transforming it, you're, you know, you're okie dokie. But... I guess it would be worse to take something that was, you know, really, you know, difficult to make and took a whole bunch of time instead of something that could just be, like, pumped out ad nauseum. If, um, if you had 30 seconds of Hassan just simply trying to say React content is fully ethical, he spends 30 seconds saying that, and then at the end you just go, it's not, you fucking moron. Um, that would be funny and probably transformative. If it was 30 seconds of a Flash gets animation, and at the end you go, <laughs> then I'd be like, you just stole that. Mm-hmm. Yep, fair enough. And to be fair, I've done that second thing a couple times, and I feel bad about it. I won't do it again. Bad oh, dev. Goodness. Dev. Here is also Ethan, but in yeah. the gray zone. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's a, a, a sniper wolf down here. That's just mean. And, and then, then this is like, dog. This is like you're stealing yeah. content, and it doesn't matter if it's good for people because he's literally, literally as leafy. To he's can, can, this kid literally ruined literally. I literally, mean, how do you do that? Literally, um, literally, he, he's re uploading videos. How many sound bites yeah. do you have? Period, like straight with, up. With, they probably, probably got a giant sound board. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably get did. the button that has him saying literally. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised Thank if God he mentioned it more digital, right? I and guess, have like a yeah. search bar thing, yeah. and then they can hit whatever they want with very little yeah, feedback. No, no, oh, no, yeah. no, that's Who? not even applicable. Like, what are we talking the about? XQC. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. he uploads videos of him adding zero runtime or like two seconds runtime, and all he says is "That's crazy, chat." Okay, Ethan. That yeah. is that is a re-upload. You do you do realize that? <laughs> okay, that Ethan. conversation still turns into like, I I, I agree with you, but even he's trying what? so hard to maintain his mm -hmm. right. stance of defending the shit, but he knows he can't do it in front of Ethan. Go oh, ahead. I agree with you. That conversation is still like, I don't like the way you're reacting, and that can be no. expanded. No, it oh doesn't. Which is a it, fine argument to make. It's a fine to argument like anyway. You're wrong. But that's not even the argument he's making. This is crazy, chat. Is not. You're, it's not additive. It's not critical. It literally doesn't transform. You're sitting there, re-uploaded a video. It's not. There's. You cannot debate that. I'll give you. That's I'll, my problem with. Uh, I, I felt like you were running D for XQC a little bit when I watched you. No. Um, yeah, because you're like no, no, no. So no, the truth no, is, he's not no, no, running no, defense no, no, for XCC, He's running defense no, for himself. No. This whole uh, react harder thing is kind of like, like you I'll, can't criticize I'll you, anybody's. Uh, I'll give react. you another example. Technically, technically, we well, should give a first, but um, well, 
At the end of the day, all of this is entirely dependent on the IP holder and what they want to do with their IP. If they don't That's my want, point of why yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's it why it's like, a, that's why there's always going to be back and forth. But if the IP holder is like, I don't give a shit. I love that XC fucking watched it. Of course. Said, it doesn't matter uh, oh if it's God, chat. Yet. It literally um, doesn't but matter. But there are, of course, going to be examples of people that say, no, actually, I don't like that. And I had no way of like even communicating that to XQC because I was terrified that his fans would eat my ass. Mm, eat my ass and suck the ball. <laughs> suck the balls right out. Suck those balls out. Um, Do it, dear Which God, is valid. I think that is out. what's happening currently with Vince. So, from Shamar? Um, what I was trying to say is, if we're looking at fair use, like completely, the reality is that unless you are directly engaging in commentary on the video that you are currently watching. Mm -hmm. The video that you're currently watching, you can't even use it as a narrative tool in a most circumstances. Uh, I, I know this no from my days working at the Young tool. Turks, and I know this from what I technically do in violation of like the actual fair use laws. I'm even when I'm uploading my YouTube videos, right? When I upload my regular YouTube videos of a news, uh, when I'm providing news analysis, unless I am directly engaging in media criticism, if I'm using a news clip, as a narrative piece, that that's, is still something that I'm technically supposed to license out. That's a no. change from what he said last time, isn't it? I thought mm -hmm. he was under the, the case of, like, all of news is fine because it's, yeah. like, we need it for the public sort of thing. Like that. I'm not going crazy, right? Like, that was something that he said last time, wasn't it? I could have sworn that was I can't his remember, but that does sound like something... Like, I associate him with having that opinion, and I wonder where it's from... There is a, an exception for uh, journalism and fair use as well. There's a clause for journalists and news stuff. You, but still, as can't, a, as you a, still can't a, use someone else's footage to, like, for example. I don't know exactly what you mean, but I'm going to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you are talking to Hassan. That's a pretty it's a, safe, it's a safe bet. Yeah. That's, that's the best response. I don't know what you're fucking talking about, but you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can't. Let's say... Instead no. of me introing my my uh, video, like uh, Rudy Giuliani wanted to see some titties today, and we're gonna take a look at that, and then go do directly like into titties. like uh, I don't know the news yes. article where, that I'm reading uh, through. Yeah. Instead of doing that, if I played an ABC News broadcast, yeah. that's like Rudy Giuliani was found, uh, or you know, court documents revealed that Rudy Giuliani was really interested in seeing some tits. If I put that clip in there, mm -hmm. and I don't actually immediately commentate on that clip or criticize that clip that's technically a violation of fair use you uh, especially if you don't license it but so i get again it depends on the whole the whole co context of the clip but okay let's say it is so what the reason why i'm saying that <laughs> is because there is a lot more He's finding his point. Give him a sec, okay? Oh he like, spoke for five minutes, and he's just like, okay, I grant all that, so what? <laughs> like, it's just, like, whatever. That could be utilized. There is a lot more IP that that could be acted on in a legal sense. Hold on. Do you it's okay to talk is... about something if you don't really have, like, a perspective that's fully informed on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you that's okay. Just not have a... How dare you, you can make him you, think about it? You can abstain from a conversation if you're not ready for it. You're That's fine. No. Even a professional opinion haver doesn't have to have an opinion on everything. On everything. No. They do. They're yeah. a professional no. opinion haver. Though, no, you oh, would think goodness. that in this case, he would have a really robust opinion on it, considering that React content comprises not a small amount of what he does. Right. Not acted on. You're ch the, the focus is changing. You're saying that IP law is too, uh, too onerous. And I agree with that. Yeah. I'm not talking about the law necessarily. I'm talking about um, this notion that certain stuff that people do is just outright unacceptable and not up for debate, which I think that you seem to disagree with. It's the easiest fucking agreement ever, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. awkward because Hassan has broken this rule so many times. With like React Harder, this whole React Harder uh, meme. The reason why I brought up the other side of it and how uh, IP law, if in enforced to its maximum degree, would be really messed up and would legitimately stop any kind of video from- You know what? It probably would be really messed up, and it's not going to be helped by you guys stealing everything. Yeah. yeah. Poking the bear. 
from being uh, created unless you are going into a process and like, you know, even getting here. What? What you doing? Oh, I'll use this because it's not gonna. So you can see it. The other one is green. Cloud amplifier. Are I, you when I put this that up, if the other one's green, this I is showing see in the it? background. Like uh, this maybe could, because I got a green screen. A green screen yeah. Could technically oh, be legally enforceable. Okay. Cloud amplifier could come and say, "We didn't give you rights to use this in your broadcast," and like that yeah, is you can a, sue so anything, anyone for anything. I agree. Dude. That is that is something that I'm terrified of. It's, it's a I mean. case by case basis. You can sue anyone for anything. You're not terrified of it at all. It's no, fucking bullshit. If you were terrified, yeah. would you have, like, pulled it out and so, like, boldly? Yeah, yeah and would you stream well, all Master Chef? Would you stream everybody's Look. fucking... All... No, just no. He's, this is like, um... What is the word for this when you're, like... like pretending to be is. scared of something to make it seem like it's a reason for why you make the shitty arguments you're making? There's probably a word for this. <laughs> it's some type you know of gaslighting, I, mean? I think. This Which is, is precisely why the conversation... Bold always goes back to are you reacting hard i don't like the way you're reacting and then it's entirely in the hands of the ip holder who can say i don't like the way you reacted i'm going to dmca you and therefore okay let me ask you this we all agree if you upload let's just we're going to talk about vince's video i re-upload it to my channel wholesale unacceptable let's right yeah. Can you believe you have to fucking clarify with Assad? Can I just re-upload the whole video? It's like, that's bad, right? Right? <laughs> it's just making right, sure. Right, bad. right. Mm -hmm. Start so now I base level stuff. re-upload the channel of me just too. sitting there in the corner like this. Okay? Bad, just right? Upload the same video, re-upload it, except there's just a square of me sitting like this. <laughs> just blankly the whole time. Is that acceptable? It's dependent on what- No! Just oh, say no! No! Oh, no! No! Why are you making an aww? Oh, this is it depends. painful. This is tossing sucks. you the olive, the but olive this branch. Is, but, but this is so lame. <laughs> this is acceptable or not. That means it's not. Because you don't need permission to transform content. True. Yes! Yes, oh. but- So true. you no think way. that it's not straight up indefensible to sit in a box and stare at the camera while the video plays? I think that it is. My personal opinion on it is that uh, it is absolutely it is. one oh, not yeah. good personal, content and two indefensible opinion, yep. to do that. Uh -huh. However, but, however, given that it's entirely up to the IP holder themselves oh to either make a claim, DMCA yeah, the I channel. Mean, you say you could say about anything. I mean, I, no, no. I, but but, but the that, reason that takes the React harder thing. I want to talk about that. So the reason why I'm stating that, the reason why I'm mentioning this, is I, the reason God, why. I, I hate the way he talks. <laughs> yeah, it's painful. It's really so, annoying. The, the, I, I always miss the XQC manner yeah. of speaking. <laughs> XQC was more um, I do. honest. He was more engaging. And yeah. more honest. And more honest. Yeah. You got what yeah, he was thinking. So, yeah, it almost yeah. helps that it's harder to understand him. It focus. It makes you focus on like paying attention. It's like, mm -hmm. like it's like listening. It's the, it's the manual transmission version of listening. Like you have to pay attention so it's safer <laughs> on the road or something. <laughs> so so like if you guys think that I hedge my fucking bets, this yeah, guy. This is, yeah. All right. So so like he, he, so if you ever ask him a hard question, he'll always say, "Well, I personally think." Yeah. Because that's just a way of him. It's a way that he can describe what he thinks. But just say, oh, well, I don't want this to be, like, applied society-wide to everyone, even though he probably Yeah, I'm not saying actually, anyone should, but... and I'm not saying the law should reflect it, but I personally... Yeah. It's just like, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, well, that, seem, that seems like you're just a bit allergic to making moral prescriptions, then. A lot of people yeah, are but... still going to be confused at the end of this conversation, because no matter what happens, Who's we are not that? going to end up with clear-cut boundaries, like, well-defined boundaries. I... I fucking hate how much he presses the appeal to the goo button, the gray goo of yeah. not knowing, the mist, the the blur, jumping right in there every single time, whatever he can. That are even enforceable, not legally, but like enforceable from a terms of service or uh, enforceable. There will, be terms of service. There will never what? Okay. <laughs> be terms of service because it's not a policy thing. Yeah. But I I disagree. Because I feel like it's pretty obvious when it's not, when it's clear cut wrong. Like if you were to sit yeah. in a box and Generally, stare, yeah. which yeah. is essentially what XQC does. He adds, it is it's so funny. That is the normal thing to think and to say and to know. You're stealing someone's shit. It's, it's so bizarre. We're at this point where we have to keep talking about how, whether or not it's okay. Stuff like what, what crazy, what? So.
Speaking of what what crazy, I have a fresh delivery of a meme. I have a I have a Beowin meme of the stream, the stream meme. <laughs> got it. Oh my god. You got it. <laughs> Oh, look. Look at you. <laughs> Giraffe. Friendly giraffe's one of those critters guy. where I'm like, you can't... It's, it's probably not often that you draw a giraffe. So whenever probably you're like, okay, are. I'm going to draw a giraffe, you got to be like, okay, I got to like plan this out. You know, cats and dogs, I probably draw those a lot. You know, some mice and rats and snakes are pretty much, pretty fucking easy. Um, but like a giraffe, it's like, oh, I don't do one of these. So I, I like, but yeah, this looks really good. Like the pattern I, on the giraffe. I wonder how. Yeah, that one's really great. Yeah, that's a really good giraffe. Giraffes that's are a very good yeah, giraffe. That's a very good giraffe. Look at him. I, I really good. like this meme. This is a very good meme. Good Puts a smile on my good. face. Wholesome Makes meme. me happy. It is nice and wholesome. Thank you, babe. Whenever when I look at this meme and I see all the images of you up top, I think it's like I, I get like rotoscope vibes. I don't know why, I just kinda do. Like someone like they they, they you know took a you know picture and drew over it and stuff like photos and stuff of people and they drew over it like, oh look at them. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. There you go. But that Crap. is that's not different than sitting in a box and staring. I don't disagree with you on that. I do. I do think that from a like content standpoint, uh, I think that it is unacceptable to do that. From a content what? standpoint, what does that mean? What does it mean from a content what standpoint? Does that mean? I don't know what I mean. Content standpoint. You didn't say moral. It's like content. What? That, so yeah, you that kind of sounds like it means he's just talking about the the raw data of making content. So like whether that be a subs or views or revenue you know money how much money you make off of it from a content standpoint it seems like he's referring to just the the material reality of what you get out of making content no i, th I think he means like in terms of the goodness of the content or the quality of the content you provide for your audience yeah i like think it's not good actually uh sniper wolf you said that it's in the bottom of the gray area which means that there is like at least some level of debatability. That means that there's some level she of acceptability. Talks a lot. She talks through it, right? Yeah. More importantly than that, I think it's like pre clips. Oh my God. Like it's, it's pre. <laughs> but like uh, the pre selected the clips that she's reacting difference, to. The, the, it's like a bad faith versus good day faith. And like, I think that Sniper Wolf is. I'd have to look at it, frankly. I'd have to look at it really close. <laughs> He's right. Good choice. You have a good choice. I was, I was like, about to be worried there. He's like. <laughs> Yeah. Many but people would with disagree with you on that. Like people well, I'm, like Jack's well, films would right. say it's completely unacceptable. But that's, it's ridiculous. That's it's in the gray zone. Jax that's my point, correct, Hassan. Though. Yeah. Just so yeah. Clear. I, I know that Hassan's like their co hosts, their friends, but he's such a weaselly piece of shit. <laughs> and Ethan really needs to just <laughs> grab really his feel? weaselly little neck and be like, You need to answer the fucking question, okay? I I'm asking <laughs> very specific thing, and you keep saying, "But what about all these exceptions?" I don't care shit about the exceptions. It's just a question. Can't point of position. He, he yeah. can't own that, it. It's really it's annoying. Is yeah. that Lost of Us Two meme with the straggling and the and, and <laughs> while he's being straggled, he's like, "I yeah. just don't have a strong position on this." Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. What I'm simply stating is, depending on the IP holder and depending on how the crowd is receiving it. I almost want to ban him from referencing the IP holder. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. me too. I'm getting tired of him saying that. Clearly, people want to even watch XUC be in the fucking corner and go. Doesn't like, matter this. if they want to watch it, bro. <sighs> it doesn't transform. Yeah, that's fucking point, argument. Yeah. That's what exactly. people want. Like, people want a lot of shit. Format. Yeah, I know, but they find it transformative enough. But. If it's a they oh, find they it transformative. They find oh, it transformative. So, I, oh. so, it's, so that, that means as long as someone right. thinks it's transformable enough, trans the, you know what I mean, enough. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, then, but then how can you disagree with the argument that Ethan made, which is re-uploading? It's like, well, I find it transformative yeah. that it's on this channel rather than the original exactly. channel. Mm -hmm. This channel. Also, there's remember, an extra dash um, in the title, so that's great. Right. I think Abba actually brought this up in the... Um, the back and forth, like uh, when we take a film into maybe a crowd of like a hundred people and show it on a big projector, we've transformed it now because all of those people are there. 
Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, it, yeah, exactly. That watching it in a cinema is a different experience from watching it at home. Therefore, something I've transformed it now. I own it. It's like different. no. I mean, it's it's just well, it's just like if you took a film and then you did a color correction on every single frame of the film, you could be like, well, every single frame of the film is fundamentally different from the frames <laughs> as they were in the original film. It, it's well, it's just insane. not like. Is you he... can present a difference. That doesn't like it's if that difference is sufficient enough to transform the experience. Yeah, he he's strictly appealing to transforming the experience. So to the point where if I'm depressed or if I'm sick or if I'm particularly tired and I'm watching it, I'm like, this is different from last time. I've transformed it. Now it's yeah. mine. I yeah, own it. Exactly. Yeah. It's not <laughs> how it works. Exactly. exactly. Like you can you upload watch the a film when you're a time. kid, you watch it when you're a teenager, you watch it when you're an adult, you watch it later in your life as yeah. an adult, and you've got a different perspective every single time. Therefore, what <laughs> you know, like transform, just, just, upload it every, that. just upload it every single time and get all those clicks every time. You can literally just be like, Listen, death of the author, every individual person interprets this a little bit differently, they're transforming it in their mind. Okay, so I yeah. have the rights to this now. every different experience of watching it. Yeah, I just hate that. Um, well, just him appealing that the I, audience feel it's transformative. Like, what bullshit is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I, I think like. What he, what maybe let's let's call them, maybe the moral intuitions he's drawing on here is like, if you if you let's say you're you're a kid, right? We're going we're going we're going back to the '90s, and you're gonna have your your VHS Yay. copy of a movie that you liked, and mm -hmm. you take that movie over to your friend's house and you watch it with like five other friends, and the fact that you like you bought the the VHS tape so you can watch the movie, but. You can also go show it to people who don't own the VHS tape, right? So you could show it to mm -hmm. your friends at your friend's house. You could probably like bring it to a bar and put it on a bar. I mean, well, at you what probably point... could do that, but yeah, maybe not that. So there's obviously a line here, right? Like if right. you brought it to your local library and displayed it at, at at the library for anybody to walk in and watch, mm -hmm. or like if you like, sure. at some point as you scale it up and you add more people who are watching it, and you also change the method by which you transmit it it becomes a different type of thing than just watching it. So there's different levels of, of responsibility there, right? So, so yeah, it's a different experience watching the movie alone versus watching it with your friends at your friend's house. But that doesn't matter if you're broadcasting it versus just viewing it. Yeah, and this has and precedent. Of, you, do, do, like, you have to get licenses and shit for uh, projecting yeah, shit in yeah. bars and stuff, right? So, so I think because Twitch streamers just do this out of their house usually, they probably feel like they're just watching it when they're actually broadcasting it. Well, they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, so obviously they're wrong. They are wrong, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, there is this, like, mm -hmm. I'm not really working, I'm not really a business, I'm not really, you know, beholden to legalities. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. in my room, yeah. and people are just kind of chucking me money, and it's not even really a job. It's all good, you know? We're all having mm -hmm. a good time. Yeah, I also need to get up and wouldn't and, allow and them that to crawl into that reinforced. ignorance cave, because I would be like, you know full well what you're fucking doing. You have tens of thousands it's of people watching you. Yeah. Right. I, I think, like, that attitude is reinforced, at least culturally, every time somebody says that making videos or streaming isn't a real job. Like, some boomer says that, right? Like, no. get a real job or something. I, I, I think it's more just that they know what they're doing and they don't care. Like, I'm not even yeah, going to give I them this level of charitability. I think they've said that. They've no? said no, as much. So? They've no. totally they admitted to this care. that they don't give a shit. Like, yeah, the idea sure. that none of these guys recognize that they're broadcasting to like tens of thousands of people is laughable. But they're just like, yeah, I'm just chilling in my house. It's like, come on. I mean, you yeah. get a hundred million well, dollars well, deal. You know that what you're doing is like I, big business. I so, think it's so more not that like, they don't. Yes. I think it's not. I think it's more not that they don't think that like, oh, I'm just in my house, so it kind of changes the mental state. I think it's just that whenever you do anything online, like you download a movie or steal a song, it just doesn't have like the same psychological impact as if you were in a store and you grab something and steal it off a shelf. Mm -hmm. And so it's just yeah. like, oh, okay, this is acceptable, I guess. Well, in, mm -hmm. in the same sort of well, lizard brain way, when people see those uh, images of the search results and then a react to search results right next to it, people get very fucking angry very quickly right because they know no, people I, intuitively understand yeah 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 I don't know if this is, is a great way to put it oh. you uh yeah, you go, go ahead that's no, fine go ahead. all right uh someone in chat said i don't know if this is true but someone in chat said dsp apparently got one hundred thousand dollars in wwe gotcha written off as a business expense there's <laughs> legal precedent saying it's yes, all considered did. a job is that true yeah because he, yeah, he did he did it on stream yeah wow Wait, what happened damn yeah. 
So, he, so got, one, I, he got gambling losses written off as a business expense for tax purposes. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Which so like, so basically I, I see the logic, but damn. It is it is legal there is legal precedent that when a streamer buys a game to play on stream, they can write that off as like a business expense and attack and like taxes and all that. Right? Yeah, but gambling losses. Well, the thing is that he was he was playing a gacha game. Oh, okay. So he spent like a hundred thousand dollars gotcha of just purchases. rolling for shit gotcha. in mm-hmm. a gacha game. Yeah. Yeah. Substitute. If it's a substitute for the original video itself. Oh wait. Um. When... Did you have someone else to? Huh? I did, but I forgot it. That's all right. <laughs> on now. Just oh, think oh, on. R.I.P. Yeah. Well, oh, no, you, said, wait, you said lizard brain, right? Yep. You said something about lizard you said, brain. No, you said lizard brain. Oh, I think I, I think I said something like lizard brain, but Mueller said the words lizard brain. That's actually you a really good way to, um, to to look at it because I mean I, I called it moral intuition earlier. It's just it's just like these people obviously know what they're doing because they've probably all incorporated. They probably have like a payroll. They probably have you know all the things that you need to be a small business. But I think mm-hmm. in the moment, their like like their knee jerk reaction is I'm not actually doing anything wrong because I'm just here in my bedroom. Maybe. And they just have to get a handle on that because it's not true. I fuck even em. though it is, even though it's like kind of reasonable to think that way because we can all put ourselves in that headspace. It's still not the truth. So you gotta. It's, it's it's basically the only real action. The only real reaction is like, okay, I get it, but you have to grow up. You know. You found a mm-hmm. way. You found a pathway, an easy pathway to easy money, yeah. and you want to hold on to it. And, and that that's you know that's it. You just you just want to be able to keep stealing shit. Minimal yep. effort for your millions. Doesn't transform. And don't even it. want to bother with crediting the people who made yeah, the content work. you're stealing. Don't put any links down there. Don't show their their username on those TikToks or whatever the fuck you're watching. Well, the classic um, nothing. Uh, nothing. Jay off like of as as Jay promotes his own work. Like ah, get get yeah. blah, 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 blah. Like oh no, quickly. Oh, I'm so busy eating. Oh, he's promoting. No, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm suddenly I'm not so busy. Next video. <laughs> I'm not busy. I can eat my nuggets in, in uh, thirty seconds later. Uh, yeah, it's it's lame. It's really lame. I really I like know, that but... Jack's film is doing this whole sniper wolf bingo now. Yeah, it's funny. And just tries to get all the creators that are on screen and credits them and everything. I think it's great. It's a really fun watch, by the way. I've been. It's, yeah, it's, it's the thing I find most fascinating about it is that his his next attempt at making a difference because he's. Pretty jaded after the like decade of this not going away and only getting worse. He's like, yeah. oh, he's just made a whole channel dedicated to making fun of her now. <laughs> and to be fair, nice. he rewards when there's good stuff. That's the idea. Yeah. But they find it transformative enough. If it's a Does substitute, it? if it's a substitute for the original video itself, when XG's face is associated with it, then there's enough people. Like his argument, I think, is I'm. Yeah, see how see how that he was making a really bad argument that he shifted it over to. This is what XQC would oh, well, say. Well, this is his. <laughs> yeah, this is his argument. Yeah. yeah. So so if it's wrong and stupid and dumb and retarded, it's just not me. It was I'm, him. That's what he said. I'm just I'm just over here sitting with my with my hat. I'm just the humble messenger. I, uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to argue from his perspective, even though I don't agree with re-uploading his videos like in the way that he re. It's like, what's your perspective, Hassan? Let's hear yeah. from you. So um, you know? we had a whole with xqc fuck that let's tell me what you think xqc did uh we I, I said it did happen but we didn't show it on the previous react episode where he does go looking for bad reactions from hassan that are uploaded to youtube and there are plenty um ones that you oh, know gosh. are transformative but they're, they're skirting the line sort of thing the, the, they're probably ones that ethan would take issue with he uploads them for sure or re-uploading a video that's a straight vod rip where the only feedback you have is Come on, chat. That's crazy. Like the clip that you put together. I think that's silly. Um, However, I think his argument is, I don't care if these videos are out there, if they monetize it, if, if someone else of a smaller content creator has an MCN and they can monetize it, then they should monetize my video. So they have to find out, they have to have an MCN, they have to set it up and they have to have the balls to do all of that at the risk of whatever happens next. Yeah. All because yeah, you want to make money off them. It's, again, it's like, I steal the shit. You tell me if I'm when I'm wrong, and then I'll give it back to you. Maybe mm-hmm. it's not the the or onus isn't on day, me to not steal. You because it's I on you to catch millions me. of. Yeah, or I have a bad day when you do it, and it's like fuck you. I was transformative. Uh, sue me. I'm gonna fuck you up because I have millions of dollars. 
That's great. I, That's number one. I mean, it should be this surprising is... that the uh, guy who advocates and excuses shoplifting is making this position, right? Mm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Number two, if they don't want it and they want to DMCA it, I'm perfectly uh, happy to DMCA it as well because I'm not using YouTube as a way to to make additional money, generate additional revenue. I'm using it as a way for people to watch these VODs that- I'm trying to benefit from it, oh but I'm God. so rich, the pennies that come from the AdSense on those <laughs> uploads aren't important <laughs> to me. So they can have those pennies. I want the engagement. <laughs> they normally would not be able to take Keep part in- Keep it on Twitch, which don't upload it to YouTube. It doesn't matter that they have remedies. It's not their responsibility to chase him down, to fucking remedy his theft. I don't know. I don't to me. It's like I, I don't, don't disagree, I don't, I think, even though it's against I mean, everything the, I just said. But I don't disagree. The formula here is: <laughs> Hassan says a bunch of stupid shit for ages, and then Ethan says like one sentence. And it sounds like mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. And Hassan squirrels away, a little Weasley little liar. Weasley little. But even by rat. having this conversation, it's running defense for XQC a little bit. True. It is because it it, it 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 um you know it creates. It creates a sense of like, uh, like there's some conversation to be had about it, and I just don't think there is. I oh my god, I agree so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's yep. no fucking conversation to be had with these reactions, quote unquote. Really don't. Not in his case. Yeah. You know, I mean, you go all the way back to uh, Jax. What was his name? Jinx. 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 I don't, Everybody, about, I don't know anything about Jinx that, was a guy who was uploading videos exactly like XQC does today. Mm -hmm. It was like, how long ago was that? Like six years ago? Everybody agreed that somehow what this guy was doing was mega fucked up and he got like bullied off the internet. This is why everyone's so fucking confused who was alive and around yep. back then. It's like, why is mm -hmm. this hard now? It was easy then. What happened? Yeah, we just did Everybody it. Was yeah, we just said it was bad. I and know why. they stopped. They had to stop. That's it. Give us the truth, bomb sitch. What is it? Because these damn zoomers. Damn zoomers. These Zoomers They're don't bold. care about anything. They got Holy no principles. Zoomers don't have hair. Yeah. Hello, I like us millennials. <laughs> okay. Us Those old lost. men. Well, yeah. actually, now all of a sudden, it's, not stealing. it's good. XQC yeah. is doing it, and all these Twitch streamers are doing it, and it's like, oh, we like them. They're cool. Now we're going to upload. You know, when he said all these Twitch streamers are doing it, I wish the camera had just shown a shot with a song. It's even worse, frankly, than what he used to upload. And that's true. also true. Yeah. Jinx used to actually yeah, do he was, things. He actually sat there the whole time. He didn't he get had off a hat play. on. Yeah. Sometimes he would say, like, Haha, that's real funny. And, and it wouldn't be to make quality. nuggies. So, yeah. You know, and he would credit. That's true. Now that the yeah. cool guy is doing it. Uh, uh, let's have a conversation about if this fair use or not. I mean, it's fucking absurd, in my opinion. It's absurd. It's just wrong, period. Black. Done. Okay, so yeah, right. it's not fair use, and the reason why it's it's not fair use. I don't think that it would uh, be it, it, it would be deliberated on in a way that is like good for XUC if that actually came down to it. If by some insanity that, uh, XQC's YouTube channel Man, was DMCA. I love this broken grammar. I was about to say, did you did you track that sentence? It was fucked. It's that really was, tough. It, I have to try. I have to pay attention. Sentence. I that think what sucked. he was saying was that if ever a crazy situation happened where her, uh, XQC's channel got brought into like a courtroom to decide whether or not his reactions were fair use, he would of course lose. But he somehow like he, just listen to the way he constructs this sentence. It's fucking horrifying. It's not fair use, and the reason why it's it's not fair use. I don't think that it would. <laughs> Uh, be it, it it would be deliberated on in a way that is like good for XUC if that actually came down to it. If by some insanity that uh, XQC's YouTube channel was DMCA'd, following that is like a fucking mystery book. What? Like you don't, you don't know yeah, what you can end really next. Is. Like uh, uh, for one of those, or you'll get lost. Yep, vods. Yeah, and then he countered it, and it actually went to a court of law. He's getting fucking eviscerated, right? Right. Which is uh -huh. why he understands. Can you, can you tell that Ethan's getting more and more annoyed? Because he's like, yeah, makes this big point. Morally, this is fucked. Easy. And then he, uh, fucking Hassan takes 10 years to say, legally, if he was dragged into a courtroom. Like, what do you? I don't give a fuck. Is that which is why he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't care. Um, however, that is precisely what I'm trying to say is that.
I li- he, so what? Like you've what seen the trying? clips of Hassan, what exactly? Right? You've seen the clips where like his editor, he has one sentence, and there's like ten edits in the one <laughs> yes, sentence. So the editor cuts out all the ums and the pauses <laughs> and all this stuff. Unfortunately, that's I, I very guess. common. I've noticed yeah. that a lot of YouTube YouTubers they they say oh, a really? sentence or two sentences, and there's three, Lots four, of... five cuts, and I'm like, motherfucker, can you not say a sentence? Hassan is the worst <laughs> that I've seen. Like, well, yeah, no, I, yeah, I don't know. definitely. Did, did did you guys keep up with the um, super mega drama? It's very sordid. You don't got to go into it really, but basically, no. some, some some sort of sexual assault allegations, right? But the the video that comes out is of the girl who was making the allegations. By the way, it turns out that they were they were like ninety nine percent false allegations because that's how these things go on the internet nowadays in the age of Me Too, right? So her editor, who's what you're making, saying is they were kind of true. Uh, they're like one percent true. Yes, they're, they're in the black. <laughs> so her editor who cut together this this vlog that she intended to go viral to take down super mega um uh-huh. it's everything is cut every single pause every single um every single like it's and it's it's every, oh my god a sentence is, has five different cuts in it however when it's time for her to like cry for the camera not a single cut mm. everything is just perfect it all plays and it's like okay you can you can clearly see something's something's being done here. Mm-hmm. Sneaky. Um, did you catch the like dragon breath from uh, uh, Ethan as Hassan is talking in the background? Because you can tell it's the kind of breath that's like <sighs> that sort of thing. <laughs> just, uh, just give a listen. He's getting uh, fucking eviscerated, right? Right. Which is why he understands that. Which is why he doesn't want to. You know, he doesn't care. Um, however. That is precisely what I'm right trying there. to say. There, there it was. Like, oh, that, just that, was a, that was a weird one. It's just it, it, it comes across as like a. Uh, what's, what are you? Where's this going now? Yeah, like, is that fair use? Is actually um, is is. Here, let me just. So, you see how it's probably coming out of his nose. You know. Yeah. Well, no, it's not just that. It's also that he's put himself close to the mic. He doesn't give a fuck because he's annoyed. Yeah. Cause like, because the, cause the, way, the way the mic's angled and the way the nose is, it's like he's like he's nose breathing down into the mic. Also, what what is Hassan like popping here? He's like getting a new gum every two minutes or something? I don't That's know. What it looks like. Anything to delay the inevitable of having to make a point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Far more expansive. Like you have been able to create, you've uh, actually done something crazy and have been able to create some precedent. But beyond that precedent, fair use in the way that we still analyze it and the way that we still... Uh, utilize it even in ways that the content watchers don't understand but take for granted is still outside of the boundaries of fair use it's not even a discussion about legality yeah, it's just it's all of that was fucking waste yeah. of time it's, yep. I'm not even listening to Ethan that. or if he is listening to Ethan he's just trying to find ways to respond to it without making any actual points okay because again who's to decide well the reason why i but mention it from a legality it, point of view is because you're asking like why are people not getting uh more mad at this or why are people not stopping this if that's your question then no, he's xqc should be ostracized this should not be a norm that people are like yeah this is cool he's just re-uploading people's content whole fucking sale this should not be like something that people can do without catching the whole you know and that's that's it. Uh, Ethan's advocating for what I imagine we'd all advocate for, which is social pressure. That's what we really want. We don't really want yep. them to be like banned. Mm-hmm. We, we don't want them to be DMCA'd. We just want people to be like, stop. Stop making shit yeah. content. You steal everything. Stop it. Making shit is- from the whole, whole internet. It, it's, not, it's not even about fair use law. Yeah, it's my- about right and wrong. Okay? Ultimately, I think if I'm going to be as like, um, uh, it, in order to wrap this up, I think what you're trying oh, please, to say is yes. that there should be some well-established boundaries that are not legally enforceable, obviously, because technically everything that you mentioned in the gray area is quite literally a violation potentially of fair use, right? That's Ooh, what that a means. That's what the gray area means is that it's potentially... Vi- great. <gasps> no, no, Mahler, Mahler, the, the gray area means it might potentially be violation you if it's in the gray gaps, area. More gaps in between all those words. Oh and, and well, I would do it, but for for I would do it, but I just you don't. I actually <laughs> just don't give a shit right now. Yeah. I don't even wanna. It ain't worth it. Not we're not talking about like legally enforceable no. uh, fair use. We're talking simply about uh, what level of commentary 
uh, like, what is the bottom level of commentary of a? This man streams for a living. He's he a millionaire. Does. This is a guy. A, <laughs> this, this is a streamer who is a millionaire. One of the most successful people on the planet. It's one of those things right? of our entire civilization. He is one of the most successful people in the history of human civilization, spanning tens of thousands of years. Actually, true. Yeah. One well, of the most listened to just, people. And not just streaming. Like, XQC at least has the excuse that he plays video games. Hassan and he's good streams at them. for, like, his political right. mind, supposedly. Yes. It's, it's the kind of thing where he needs to make, like, a, a point at any one point in his stream, any random point, and you pause, and then you have, like, a, you know, a device that asks every single person listening, what did he just say? What was his point? And all <laughs> of them are like, um... Uh, oh, something like, about gray. This <laughs> talking about gray. Thing, maybe just no <laughs> strong opinions were stated. Reagan Bush, eighty-four. There you go. Acceptability and how can we in and what's below some, that? Some kind of yeah. How can we create some kind of social enforcement of it by ostracizing people for violating it clearly and like you. You do. Yeah. You know, yeah, there we go. You got to be on a big <laughs> podcast with some other famous dude. Sit and on your ass and say nonsense and get paid. Does indeed. Regularly, right? That's what you're trying to say. Because uh, uh, if yeah. that's your point of view... There's a black zone. There's a yes. black zone. If, if, if that's your point of view, in, if yeah. that's your point of view, I agree with you, especially when it is uh, in an effort, in a way to protect smaller content creators that want to generate revenue. big content under. creators. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't get to steal... Oh, so true. Yeah. Don't just... Steal anything from yeah. anybody? Fuck you! That's no steal. No, you can shoplift <laughs> from Walgreens because they have a lot of money or whatever. Like how yeah. yeah. steal from Santa? Like how gray area makes things harder. Let's expand it so that yeah. now you <laughs> have to factor in how large or small the creator is. Mm -hmm. well, anybody I mean, like, shit. That's no, kind I know. Of part I'm of his politics. Though, right? like, you, you I, see... I agree with you. Oh Jesus! What? Yeah, there's. Well, there's just there's you see a lot of people who are coming out like in defense of in defense of you know shoplifting or looting. There's literally a book called In Defense of Looting. So there's there's this push from some very radical segments that, that Hassan's part of that are very like, okay, if you're poor, you should be able to just shoplift from Walmart or just loot a store because fuck does, you. Uh, does Hassan capitalism. know that like the shrinkage that happens from like shoplifting is Our most challenge. immediately felt by the employees who work? at that given shop. Does he know that? Well, he advocates yeah, for but... stealing from Santa, and the elves the ones that feel it. Listen, That's, I mean... all, all profit is theft, so shut up. Yeah. Yeah, actually. I mean, like, there, there, was, there, was, there, was, there was an article recently, maybe an, uh, a month or two ago, where Walmart said, listen, we're just closing down all of our stores in Portland. Because they keep fucking looting them, and we can't make a profit there, so we're just going to yep. leave. And it's like, well, well it's now just, you yeah, have nowhere to like, buy your stuff. Where, where do they think the shrinkage is, like, absorbed? Who do you think pays the price for that? It's the employees who work at that store. They lose shifts. Yeah, the brand mm -hmm. Walmart is not going to and then yeah, off. And then, and then it leads to that, oh, right? Where be... the, store, the store may well close in that area, and then those people now yeah. permanently have lost their jobs. Yeah, and if we go by that logic, now we have more people that just start looting shit, and then more things go down, and oh, whoops, it's a cycle, yeah. and then we're all fighting. <laughs> They're tearing down capitalism, so it's just and then Santa fine. doesn't visit that town anymore. Yep. Yeah. Like you're all bad eggs. Not even for coal. No, no but coal. I think, I, I think it's, it's that death, stuff, <laughs> because whenever there's like a, a video that goes viral of a store getting looted, Hassan always comments on it, and he always says the same thing about fuck capitalism. So, well, that was I the think... thing he got in trouble in recently, right? Was he was what celebrating that old guy getting? Oh, what was gosh. what was that again? He, I don't want to. He wasn't wanna celebrating. He was right. laughing about the He's guy. Laughing, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't want to get it like wrong or confused. Get it wrong. <laughs> he was laughing, not celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I, I I think Jesus, it's I, I think. I think it's that attitude that's guiding his his ideas here. Like, if it's okay with actual property, why isn't it okay with it's okay with intellect? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I, I feel like it's just solipsism. <laughs> like, it's just <laughs> I like it. It benefits me. Fuck it. Like in terms of his Maybe. stance on this React content, he benefits greatly. It's less work. It's still making money. Um, mm -hmm. He would love to maintain the status quo as it exists right now. 
evidently, with how hard he's fighting well, yeah, Ethan on pretty pretty basic, normal if positions had, that you would hold. If he started a political podcast with XQC, which, holy fuck, could you imagine? But if he did, <laughs> they, they would have doubled, tripled, and quadrupled down on all of this. None of these points would ever have been yeah. made by him. It's because he's sitting across from e Ethan that he has to try and find a way to mm -hmm. wiggle out of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all he's doing is doing the same points, and then Ethan's like one sentence away of like, stop, stop, stop yeah. it, and slapping him on the hand. The son speaks in a fucking slow motion, and he barely says, he keeps repeating the law over and over and over and over and over and over again. Especially, as in like, I agree with you across the board, and especially on uh, defending smaller content creators. So I agree with you on that front. If you're talking about social ostracization, uh, what, so what is your point regarding the black zone? Because that's the part I'm I'm curious about. Regarding the black zone, social ostracization would still ultimately rely on. Um, Let's not even what, talk about it, consequence. Just right or wrong. Do I think it's wrong to re-upload someone else? I can't. I can't yeah, I can't. the words that he said oh, is so fucking much because. Everyone knows what just happened. He heard yeah. the question. He was like, "Oh, this," because he's not even just thinking about what he actually thinks. He's thinking about how it will be heard, he's like, and what it'll mean going forward. What are the consequences, and what is it going to mean for his content? He's thinking about all these things, and so he's like, "Okay, repeat the question back. That'll give us a few extra seconds." Ah, mm -hmm. oh, so annoying. Your own vod rip that you didn't actually uh, put a yeah, tremendous amount of effort into. Yeah, yeah I, I, I said that already. We okay. agree on that. Onto YouTube, especially, is it? Because then it so does in, operate so in then some degree in, as a market substitute. Okay, so then it's in all, regard, you could Ethan's losing his shit. Like he's so tired. Yeah, he wants to yell. He wants to yell so badly. Hard to the black zone. The yeah. react harder meme isn't really applicable. <laughs> Look at this. He's like, answer me, you fucking muppet. Just give me, <laughs> give me what you think. That Kermit is looking at you. Kermit's watching, and he's not happy with your performance. Is mm -hmm. this I'm gonna repeat the question? The criticism is still you're not reacting hard enough. Right, but sometimes that's valid criticism. There we go. There oh, we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like of when course. you're just sitting there. It is, of course. So it's, what's it's wrong still with saying criticism. you're not reacting hard enough? So what's wrong with saying that in the black zone? Well, it's because it's not enforceable in any meaningful capacity. We're not talking about enforcement. And We're talking also about... that... Yeah, well, what the... Where, what does that have from? to do with fucking... Right that's right them wrong. on their show, that's not me, but... Um, talking about right and wrong. Just he think said of, that it, Yeah, think about time. the dynamic of the conversation. It's like, uh... It's bad when they don't react. Yes? Yes. Also, it is enforceable. What are you talking about? If you were doing that to, like, Warner Brothers or Disney or Paramount Films, they would enforce it. Well, the, infor about? Yeah, the enforceability that Ethan's already made clear is the social aspect. He says ostracization. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's Which, what we want. And, and, and at this, this point, Ethan's just asking if he finds point. it ethical. Not, exactly. This is all... Right. F this just follows from saying, do you think it's right or wrong? And he can't give a straight answer. Well, this is wild. Fucking the, annoying. The react harder line is a thought terminating cliche that's specifically used to distract away from a uh, valid argument. And Hassan understands this, so he's not going to give this one up. Boundary that you're setting is a boundary that you're setting is a boundary that your audience is setting. It's it's ultimately not a, a boundary that is always going to be the same for every single person. Obviously Just like you not. mentioned, XUC is what an irrelevant piece of information. This doesn't mean anything. Well liked. So for a very long time, it was not something that they yelled why, at him for. Why is he saying this? What Ethan, is stop this? him. <laughs> Put him back on track. <laughs> it's just nearly I... over. No. Yeah, I'm not very well liked. Video, you have a dog in this fight, so I don't know if you're ever going to be willing to meet me there. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, called out. I will say, yeah. that's probably the first example of Ethan actually going, like, step it. This, this could be considered step it over our line as a co-host. You basically just Look said, you're too biased face. to answer the fucking question, aren't you? Which is he true. Just yeah, it is true. It's true, yeah. But, like, if, yeah, if you are, um, you know, fucking aware of anything, you probably talk to him after the show and be like, that was a bit of a dick move, if you want to, on Assange's part, but they need to have a talk about being frank with each other anyway, because this conversation sucks ass. Well, I have two yeah. dogs in the fight. This is, we're talking about, like, pra in practice, application. Um, in theory, I, I also literally personally yeah. Uh, yeah, believe that by. <laughs> information is not a scarce good. Like, there is no scarcity in information. You put it out there. What, what does that have to do with re-uploading? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck are you talking I, about? I, I, I'm lost. 
Um, okay, hold on here. Everything. I'll, I'll, just, I'll jump that, in. I, I'll be I'll be the the retarded political philosophy explainer here. Okay. I so, know what he meant. It it hurt. It hurt. But I thought you were going to say <laughs> okay. you're going to be the Hassan whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I guess I am a little bit. So you know, th there's idea that like th there's an idea that if if a good is not scarce, it's fine to steal. Right. Right. So if there's an infinite amount of of water, who cares if you steal somebody's water because you can just go get more water. Something something like that, right? Right. So Hassan is saying, listen, you can watch a, a video an infinite number of times. So if you steal a view, it's not a big deal. You just go 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 get more views. But the issue is that the scarcity is not the the. The video is the, the video is the viewers. The scarcity yeah. is the viewers, yeah. yeah. The scarcity yes, the is viewers, there's only so many people viewers. on this yeah. planet with only so much time to watch anything. Exactly. There has yes. to be scarcity in terms of well, the consumption. Well, mm -hmm. to be clear, he's not saying that the views are not scarce. He's saying that, like, if you take a video, the video still exists. So the video itself yeah. isn't scarce. Yeah, sure, but, but as you that said, point, it's, the you view, to... right, it's the view that is worth value. That creates yeah, that's, value, not that's what we want to stuff. talk about that. We can just get to the fundamental of if you create something, do you have rights over how it's uh, used and distributed and duplicated? I mean, he would tell you, you think capitalism. That? He would tell you IP lore is ridiculous and draconian and needs to be Yeah, no, I know he would. Or or would yeah, sure. But except he wouldn't say that if it, if it was negatively affecting him to a degree that he couldn't like make as much money as he well, is now. Here's a question. Of course. What about like if I, a year after he was born, I guess that he's ran out of his own personal IP of his face and you know likeness and voice, and I just make an AI version, and he's more popular than Hassan. What, Ooh, what about that? That's a good question. Yeah. Fuck you, I and I get to make all the money off your likeness because I just make him go say stupid shit all day. <laughs> he's, he like watches it. And he's like, well, people like this. He's like, yeah, they do. That is the the basis of IP. IP is technically IP on content is technically a concept that. Uh, that that is is no different than enclosures, but this time in the digital sphere. Enclosures on what? Uh, art. I don't, I don't, I'm too tired. For it we're just means about ownership. Theory. It's just ownership. What does he wait, What does he mean by enclosures on art? I don't, I don't know what he means by enclosure. I don't if I'm talking about idealistically, mm -hmm. um, I that's my second dog in the fight. I think that uh, limiting information makes it. Oh, okay. Real quick, enclosure. It's a term used by socialists to refer to uh, common property that's been unclaimed by anybody that then becomes private property by someone's use, and they use it negatively. So he's basically saying that, like, so, so let's say, you know, you have unclaimed wild territory, then someone shows up and builds a fence and starts a farm and has a homestead. They have enclosed that property. And when a socialist says enclosure, they mean to say it, that you should not have done that because you have now stolen property from the commons. How so the fuck does that apply to IP? Yeah, yeah, that I, I was that, waiting for the second the half of that. that. Is the notion that like all ideas essentially exist already in the universe, and that like when you come up with it, you haven't created it, you've extracted it from the fabric of reality? Like, the platonic form like that, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. So oh, basically, you saying, you, yeah, like you that that's actually the case. Yeah, like, that's how you use it. Yeah. So like, if you if you have an idea, and then you and you have IP to protect that idea. You're taking the idea away from everyone else who could have also had it. Uh, oh but it's your idea. Okay. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. But they don't view it as your idea. They view it as humanity's but, idea. I mean, the idea doesn't Our exist without the agent to realize it, though. <laughs> I think yeah, the I same think, as in closing some, land. Some which, belief in like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's move. Moving on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, harder for new uh, forms of derivative art. Okay, to... but so. Wait, I just want to. I want to thank Dev for being here because this little gem. None of us knew what the fuck the stupidity yeah. was <laughs> in this actual thought. Means. But thank you for explaining how dumb no this problem. Is. <laughs> Are you created. against all IP law? Oh, um, got him. Can I just can you just appreciate um, his expression when he asked that question? <laughs> Look how fucking dead Ethan is asking this Makes question. Makes it uh, harder for new uh, forms of derivative art. Okay, to but so be are created. you against all IP law? He looks like he's given up. He's like... <laughs> just browsing porn uh, or something. Yeah. He just has so wait, better things to do. Hassan, he must have had this conversation with Hassan before because Ethan understood what he meant to ask this question. I think he has had this conversation with him before. That's yeah. why he's so despondent because I'm pretty sure he's, he's expecting like, oh uh, uh, Hassan to say, copyright law is well, actually <laughs> very 
restrictive. You, know, you need to understand. You need more I, words I, I, that I go got, to less I've places. I've got two dogs in this fight. I got the the principled, the 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 the, the, the principled, you know, idealistic position two dogs. thing. And and then and and on that front, it, my personal opinion, <laughs> you know, just speaking personally, two dogs in the fight. I think that you know, <laughs> if we want to talk about, that's like how it goes. Two dogs die. Two dogs. Yeah. Um, I don't know where the exact boundaries would be as we talked about last week. Yeah, let's not rehash but that. But there would be a yeah. no! But, uh, <laughs> not do rehash it. that. Well, because, it. yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, Ethan oh. realized, like, he doesn't want the fucking answer to that question. Of course he does. He'll be here for 10 years. Anyway. Um, yeah. There's actually a YouTuber I who's a libertarian uh, that, unironically, has a very interesting argument about copyright tax. Like, he believes that change the topic. America change could it. implement yep. some sort of copyright tax across the board, and then there would be no copyright in general. You cool. could still, um, you know, you could still what? go after people in in litigation for uh, re-uploading your content in its entirety. What? So there's still a. But how does copyright tax work? This is I'm a assuming it's not. Fred. It's not like a licensing, like the equivalent of that, is it? Like, what is he saying? What's a copyright tax? Uh, space of protection there, but overall, there would be a massive, you know, multi, almost trillion dollar fund that. By the way, this has nothing to do with anything. This is him trying <laughs> to create like a a, like, a barrier and distance between like what the conversation was, and he's like coming up with something to talk about, like mm -hmm. jettison him. That is away. true. This is all a punt. But what the idea that he's talking about, if I think I understand it clearly, is fucking moronic. He's saying that we should like in a in a country, everyone should get taxed. That goes into a pool, and then if you create something and someone infringes upon your your copyright, you get to draw from the pool of tax oh, so revenue. To create like a, and a libertarian fund based said that? On, a sovereign fund based on taxation of copyright. Why don't we just do this licensing? Licensing makes me more sense than what? that. You mean that thing that already exists? That's exactly what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> why like, should I have to why? pay for someone else's copyright infringement? Well, I, what the fuck kind of I, I don't. Is? What part of this idea is libertarian? Well, and, and if, you don't, you know, if you don't make anything in your life, then you just pay for everyone else stealing everyone's ideas. Like, what is yeah, that even? That doesn't make any started. sense at all. Cool. Reagan Bush would not approve of this <laughs> idea. That you go, that you spend on media, that the government would spend, therefore limiting at least one element of of, of profit seeking from the field of content creation and copyright, and this would actually open up. Oh, is this uh, back on that heavily subsidized government me like art thing that he talked about? Oh last god, time, that idea was insane. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. YouTube the videos other side should of the be subsidized from the by the government. <laughs> I love how much, he, like, obviously at the core, all the of the um, attempts to remove the profit motive from artistic works is like this thing that everyone believes would be a good thing to make it more pure. But it's just like, I, I am completely convinced if you remove the profit motive from creation of artwork it would like plummet in terms of some of the craziest awesome things we get of course no they'll just do it because they love it you will get people sure. who will do it because they love it that is true but you'll also lose you out on a shit ton of things because people who aren't anywhere near as motivated because they want to make a living and create art well yeah they'll be too busy at their job yeah conversation no, 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 that i've advocated them. for which is Not if the government true. pays them true is access them. to copyrighted material without having enough money that's why i talked about like growing up in turkey and why i believe in piracy if you don't have uh, this has nothing to fucking do with the fucking <laughs> conversation <laughs> it didn't have anything to do with it then and it doesn't now uh, the money or uh, access to be able to receive this copyrighted Oh, just wait. So I just noticed that it's past eight o'clock, and I had to be done by eight o'clock. Oh, so even though we're, we're so all, close we're, to we're the, the tail end. end. Oh, yeah, we're, even though we're at what tail if he end, says gotta, another word gotta... that we don't know? I know. Yeah. Can we, we text you? Send you a message and be like, Dev, can you explain this one? <laughs> Dev, what does he mean by bold? <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean by bold? <laughs> bold enclosures. What are they? A bold enclosure. A bold enclosure. <laughs> well, it's just a bunch of people running around doing the worm while also their hair is falling out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, do you prefer bald or bush? Nice. Um, or Reagan. Well, or Reagan. Th there, there were a few presidents, yeah. All right, you don't have to answer. That's all right. <laughs> Imagine if you, if you have like, like a president bald one day. Like President <laughs> Richard Bald has now taken the office. Richard Bald. Right. Excuse you would hate him. Dick Bald. Bush should have done bald. that for his VP. How how base would that have been? Bush and bald for president. Oh man, yeah. 
All right. Well, anyway, bye. Get out of here, Dev. Yeah. It's time. Yeah, all right. Wanna, you're, you're so close. Thanks for having end. me. Do you want to tell everybody what you do in these do, do days, wanna, where they can find you? You guys all know. I was here last time. You guys know it. You guys know, all know who I am. Oh, I think wow. I was just people on here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there could be new people. All right. Well, you can you can follow my channel. It's Short Fat Otaku. You can follow my Twitter. It's it's Sleepy Devo. Um, <gasps> I'm also on Twitch and Kick as well, but the YouTube's the biggest thing for sure. Um, and yeah, as always, thanks for having me. Oh, I know, I know, I know. The chat was complaining a bit that like I kind of disappeared in like for a half an hour there in like the middle of the of the. Uh, wow, yeah, so you owe us that time back. Put it into Sorry, the uh, into the copyright fund. The pay. I'll put it into the fund. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The no, time I, 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 got, I I got a call. I had to deal with more car shit, but I mean. Hopefully, I'm at the end of the nonsense now, but yeah. Thanks. It's all good. Very appreciative. Thanks for joining Thanks for us. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. So, Do-do-do. actually, I, I, before I go, I have one quick question. How come you're doing this one on Wednesday instead of Saturday? You guys because all busy Saturday? I'm putting my schedule video for you out because we thought you'd stay. On Saturday. Oh. And there's our anniversary the following Saturday, which you better turn up for, otherwise, you're not a true friend. Yep. The 26th, Whoa. right? Yeah, same for you, Sitch. All right. I'll make sure I'm there. I'll, I'll be there. Yep. Tell Adam to come. Sure. You're both going to buy our vinyls, oh. right? Yeah. Buy, well, I already bought your vinyls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. Again. <laughs> I got it. So listen, I know Adam that Adam said he'd be watching... Ad, Adam says he'd be watching this entire thing. So I just want to point out, since, since, since I know that you're listening, Adam, yeah. you know how I was able to explain enclosure there in the socialist sense? That's why I read all this dumb fuck literature that you complained about. Oh. Reading. All right? Yo, there you go. Adam, get uh, coming. Are you trying to justify why you read my cup right now? <laughs> I, remember, I know. Yes. Remember that discussion? Can you believe this? <laughs> this is just right, some interesting I'll, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so, thanks, for, uh, thanks for having me on. No I'll see problem. you guys later. Bye, okay? dude. Don't become a fascist. Bye. 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 See ya. Alrighty. Oh, what a fascist. Let's, Every frame let's get this let's done. We're end. so close. We're getting there. Oh. Yeah. I just, um, yeah. You know, I just want to make it property. clear because I'm not talking about any of that, and I don't want it to be confused. I'm just talking. But anyway, Eli- you're talking to the worst person on earth to, for those goals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about any of that, and I don't want it to be confused. Ela put it. Ela has some notes. She says. And I think there's a good point. We do. We shouldn't even call what XQC does react. It's a True. watch party. I really, yes, yeah, really appreciate point. this point. He shouldn't yeah. be allowed to call what yes. he does reacting. Yes, watch and when party you frame is a very like, excellent way to phrase it. Yeah. I like that. Like that. It's a watch party. Then yeah. you really understand that it's that's not... actually a really good point. It is. And yeah, uh, that's, he's touching the, his neck, like re- XQC said. Evil people do. Shit. Um, <laughs> he did. The watch party thing is interesting too because. If I think Jay tweeted about this, if the watch party thing was actually a watch party and that all of the view count, like the viewing of those individuals went into the video itself, if you don't, do you understand what I mean? Like you've got like a right. yeah, a yeah, watch yeah. together host that cycles all of the views from all of the views of the stream into the views of the video, like that would actually start to fix all of this. That'd be great. It's a watch party. It's not, yeah, a... you're not wrong about that at all. So there you go. You're just. Well, he's agreeing. He's saying you're not wrong about that at all. It's a watch party. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. So yeah, but then you need so the people really sus, right? You gotta bring up people sus because because mm-hmm. Hassan's like, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Isn't it? It's an awesome watch party. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, this wait. Here, here's the question. So if they had a system where you watched something on YouTube or Twitch, and it would give automatically, however it worked, it would like share your views with whoever you're watching or give them the views, like. What would you guys do? Because you are actually transforming it, and you are critiquing whatever you're watching. Like, would it take the views away from you and give it to them, or do you share the views? Um. So this is the thing. I actually suggesting it is a bit of a pipe dream because I just don't know how this would be set up properly, how it would function perfectly. There's so many things mm-hmm. that would get in the way of it, and you know, the the, the big thing stepping in the way of it is that there's just not enough. Uh, passion for this. This this topic dies every time it comes up. It dies straight away, and then they carry. Well, on. I would want because it depends how much revenue like YouTube loses from Twitch. Like if they could force Twitch to do this, like is it worth the cost to implement the system for YouTube's sake? The thing, well, that's the problem, isn't it? Uh, right. There's no incentive for companies to get this done because uh, I don't even know that they would see much of a. It doesn't right. it only helps the individuals. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it would help you two because they'd get some cut of whatever, right? In theory, um, yeah. Because, like, if you're on Twitch and you're cycling those Twitch viewers into the YouTube... Yeah, I don't... Crossing the platforms, I don't even think they would... There's so much well, that wouldn't would make it weird. Why would Twitch Yeah. Right, unless YouTube started suing them or something. It'd be, yeah, I mean, it'd be such a hassle to do. And but you know what? Moral, probably. You just start to realize, like, just fucking credit the channel. Just send people to the yeah. channel. For fuck's sake. Sharing this video. You're not... Yeah. Transforming it. Yeah. I, so there it is. I, I think XQC would agree with that. Technically, it is a watch party. I mean, XQC would go as far as saying he makes dog shit, bottom of the barrel, goblin crap content that steals yeah. from people, but that everyone enjoys but it and it's transformative the for the chat alone. As well. Yeah, and he's well, also saying he's got all he the statistics on his side, all of the statistics and facts. Yeah, all those facts. Yeah, we'll so see that many, so many of them. Now. He has the best facts. Best. Nice. There, yeah, is a watch party, a That's there is the a watch party mechanism on uh, on Twitch as well, as a matter of fact. The only issue is, given international IP restrictions, the watch party uh, mechanism only works for Amazon. Yeah, I couldn't imagine the fucking red tape you'd have to deal with to get all of that stuff in working mm -hmm. order for, like, actual TV shows and stuff. Studios mm -hmm. properties, and it basically destroys your VOD, and it shuts off people that aren't in Canada or aren't in the United States of America from actually watching your stream. It, like, geolocks your stream, which is so really there it shitty. Is. That's, that's the black. So, like, how are we just not doing TV again at this point? <laughs> like, you mean does a, a channel, Hassan... a channel has to pay, because a channel is like a, like a TV channel is like a watch party. A network, and, yeah. Yeah, like on a, on a network, but they have to pay money to buy the rights to a bunch of things to show yeah. to people so that advertisers will then give them money to broadcast all those things. So in a sense, it's like compartmentalized watch party. And mm -hmm. like that's, you know, I mean, I mean, typical, you know, TV, you know, setups and channels, those are going, you know, they're getting smaller. They're kind of shrinking well, as the internet, you know, starts to take it's over. It's not the so. same though. Because on this watch party, there's like a little guy's head at the corner of the screen. Oh, that's true. Well, don't forget all the And there's like frogs. a chat bar. And there's little, little frogs, frogs in the everywhere. chat bar. Smiling, yeah, jumping so around, it is dancing. different. It is transformative. I mean, the, the real part of it that actually can't be understated is the feeling of not being alone. So, it, yeah. It, this is the big change from when you're sitting on your sofa back in the 80s and 90s, just skipping through TV, being like, ah. This is now. Where you're doing that, but you've also got the feeling of a crowd of people all around you with the same values and interests and same disposition, and you're like, mm -hmm. oh. yeah, because text is scrolling by faster than you. You can, can feel like you're a part of something you. big, right? I mean, I just want to see, when I was younger, flipping through the channels, I was really like, I wish half the screen had a bunch of Pepe's on, like covering it up. That's what well, I was missing the... from my TV experience. That's the reality. When you go see Oppenheimer in the cinema, you don't want a bunch of fucking Pepe's on the screen. That's not what you're looking for. I mean, it may make it better. I don't you don't want that. You don't want it. Yes. Maybe that's my one wish. That's and look at a, look at this XQC not. box down here, right? Great. With the, yeah. the fucking the little light and the skeleton legs on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so sad. And he's just he makes a gajillion million dollars just sitting there yeah. stealing shit. Yep. And he doesn't even try. His watch, watch party should not bro. be re-uploaded. Yeah, but he put more work into arranging and purchasing that watch than he has for like any of his content. True. Tr 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 true. Period. Yeah, so many That's little it. frogs. Yeah. There. No react Yum. harder. It's just not even. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. So that's that. The watch party. But I do think the watch party I, distinction is actually very good. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's yeah. But I do yeah. think like that's on. like XQC watching a whole ass he's movie so and then, hard to uh, move on. Whatever. The point is that. I do think that the way you framed the React Harder argument isn't a total, totally fair or accurate and does end up running defense for people like XQC who are re-uploading watch parties to YouTube. You need to end that with, and please don't respond. We're just going to talk about something yeah, else. Now. Just please, please don't, don't ramble, ramble for two minutes. Thank you. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> sure, I'll agree. I rest my case. <laughs> Got him. All right. That's just me, though. Okay, shut up, XQC. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show this, just to kind of... I, I think this is, the point, this is the point where I have to do the worm. 
Do the fucking work right now. I can't do the work. I can't. I can't. That's why I'm uh, I'm extra owned. He owned you. Well, I I told this yesterday, but when I was doing my members live, they're like, dude, do the worm. I was like, hell no, I'm not getting that in, that video out on the internet. That's true. I'm and, not gonna and make you're that a man mistake. with a lot of videos of himself out on the internet that your haters yeah. use against you all the time. I don't need that, that one. You fucking personally uploaded. Yeah, there's already me in a diaper. I don't need fucking <laughs> worms. It's so <laughs> stupid when they're like, they do that to me too, or like the Andrew Tate fanboys would be like. Luckily, XQC has provided. So we've always got that. That's yeah, magic. we always have that worm. Yeah, always there. Like. Remember when Hassan was in a dress? I'm like, bro, I put that out there. That's like a very viral TikTok that you are clipping to be like, I owned you. What, you think I accidentally dressed like a beautiful woman? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, what do you think? <laughs> no, yes, that's you did. <laughs> you think people that make mistakes? Accident. You think Fucking you can take an hour something intentional and use it for other means? Or of makeup, idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, it's the same. And I look fucking hot. So, in this uh, conversation with XUC, oh, I thought we were done. he says Aww. that if anybody wants to come to me and say, hey, you stole my shit, I'll take it down, I'll pay them, I'll do whatever it takes. Please, 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 I'm so sorry. Yeah, this was fucked up. <laughs> so, as I told him, this guy Vinti Vince Vintage actually uh, shared his message. Now, this morning, or last night, this, this message pissed me the fuck off. This is some scumbag level shit. Now, in... Basically, uh, a contrast to what he said the day before. He says, this Vint, Vince Vintage guy tagging him, he praises Real Mizka for doing the exact same thing I did. Now, let me go back and say that Vince Vintage already in his message explained why he called out XQC and not other React streamers. So already he's pretending to not know that. Uh, to make him look like dishonest or a hypocrite for doing the exact same thing I did and flips it on me when the tide shift shut the fuck up bitch You've always been an asshole. There's Wait, no can tide. I say something about this part? Go ahead, no. please. Please. Yeah, I'm just curious about like if XUC would ever call the friend card on Assad He's like, why do you let your co-host just rip into me constantly without saying a thing to defend me other than I'm interesting? <laughs> <laughs> He didn't just flip it on him when the tide shifted. Yeah. I didn't even know this. Uh, I responded to his tweet. He tweeted about how much he loved my reaction to his video in fucking 2022, way before the tides had ever shifted. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, when people were ripping on me for reacts uh -huh. and saying Mr. Chair React guy, like XQC did, ironically. But I mean. Wow. Why, it wasn't why ironic. Think, why do you think he really? said that? You do that. Like, so, yeah. no, this guy has been, like, uh, Obviously. openly Obviously. Uh, openly praising yeah. uh, uh, Twitch streamers that have reacted to his videos in a way that he uh, considers to be good and transformative and also yeah. beneficial to his channel yeah. for a year, like, for an entire fucking year. Also, if somebody okay, who wait, shit wait, wait, you wait, wait, stole... Wait. What's wrong with that? He can, he can praise people that have watched his content, that's helped him, and criticize people that have watched his content and haven't helped them. That's that's a rational, logical thing to do. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but Hassan is saying that in in contradiction to what XQC is saying. XQC's point is that hey, he's been pro these streamers, and he only flipped on me when it was you know a good time to do it. Yeah, but is he? It sounds like he's trying to defend XQC. I think he's trying to shit on XQC. Or did I just misunderstand what he's what he's saying? Yeah, my impression is Hassan is 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 jumping in on XQC, like saying that he's wrong because okay. this this guy was pro Hassan because of the style of React, and he was right. anti XQC okay. because of the style of React. It's like, yeah, I didn't like the way you do that. Then you shut the fuck oh, up and listen. Hand. Yeah, that's uh, it, dude. Let me give you a great example of this. There's Please, a YouTuber dude. out. You guys, you know, ready for this? This is, this is the big chungus part. Uh oh there who has made a fuck ton of videos about me okay there's a youtuber out there who's made a fuck ton of videos about me okay mm. mm -hmm, they okay. were 100 percent right when uh they got mad at me for for uh playing their video and not watching it which is ironic who do you think he's talking about jay it's jay Jay, have you yeah. made oh? a fuck ton of videos on Hassan? Uh, no, there was He's a about Jay? One. As far as I'm aware, there's one mainline video and two streams. That is yeah. it. Well, he's probably putting all the like your guys' videos on everyone else talking about it. Is all like that's all Jay's videos. That's absolutely fucking nuts, and I hate the way he rewrites history like this all the fucking time.
It was the it was the most reasonable thing that ever happened on the internet ever. Jay was like, credit the people you watch. And remember, Hassan, when someone in his chat said, isn't it just like simple, just credit the people, he was like, oh yeah, just just fucking credit the chat that he banned them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think any of the videos that they've made about me uh, since then features this part. I've apologized. Mm -hmm. I've apologized multiple- uh, So in Jay's video, there's an acknowledgement of the apology. And it's like, the, there's, there's a thanks for it, but like, there's also a recognition mm -hmm. that the problem is that you just need to start crediting. That's all. Just credit. ...multiple times and said like, I'm changing certain things. You're absolutely right about this. Like, I apologized three fucking years ago. Now that- You say this like Jay's making videos right now! <laughs> like, what's I know. going on? Yeah. That person, they still make videos all the time. No, they don't! What? <laughs> you fucking liar! But I am truly, I am, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I owned up to it. I was fucking wrong. Um, even though I hate when people try to draw, uh, uh, you know, farm drama as much as they possibly can off of shit like that. You but brought it up! What is, what is he talking about? What is about? happening? Like, what? This all just lies, and obviously Ethan has no context, he's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, you have to- you have Well, wait, this is good, Jay can make another video now. Oh, drama this. farmer Jay, huh? <laughs> yeah. You have to admit, it. if you're doing this sort of thing, and someone gets mad at you, and I hadn't even re-uploaded that, by the way, to YouTube. Doesn't my matter. Don't get oh, Chair React or whatever, yeah. even though that's where the Chair React meme comes from. Yeah, that's still bad. So bad. It doesn't matter if you did it on yeah. Twitch. I love that he's saying, like, uh, praise me for not re-uploading onto YouTube the reactions where I'm just not even in my chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you deserve praise for that, Hassan. Good stuff. And I stopped doing that. You have to, you can't on the one hand be like, if you DMCA me, I have no issue with this. Uh, I will pay you 10x. And then turn around and <laughs> fucking shit on the person and be like, that's a paid actor. Because you're then Pay proving their point. You're, dude, yeah. Well, Proof yeah. Point. And, and during the debate, he was. Yeah, all of that was bullshit except for those last like yeah, two sentences. Well, what mm -hmm. the fuck was that? So, Insane. What prompted Hassan to like finally turn somewhat on XQC here? Uh, it's, it's the getting cold cherry act that got to him like crazy. Oh, he's referenced it twice in this uh, stream. And then, of course, he saw what happened when he saw it live. He was fucking furious. Yeah, and, but like. Oh, yeah. Going into this conversation with Ethan from the beginning, he knew that he called him Cher Hassan. Well, yeah, but um, isn't it easy to like offload onto XQC? They're not actually friends. They only said that about each other because they're obviously higher up on Twitch. They they are friends by mm -hmm. you know circumstance. It's all gonna be, it's, it's hyper transactional. It's like right. transactional. If there's no benefit, you're out. And the second that either of them even. <laughs> Slightly tossed them under the bus. The other one was like, I'm tossing you under the bus. Fuck you. No, I'm tossing you under the bus. Fuck you. <laughs> it was like, Yeah, dude, no, I'll, I'll make it up to them. I care so much about them. They've created like a perpetual energy machine by trying to stab each other in the back while the other one moves, the other <laughs> one follows, and it just goes right. on forever. Then he goes, This guy blatantly lies in a tweet because I didn't respond to his DM 12 hours later. Not true. It was two days later. After you literally said in the debate, I'll, I'll pay him. 12 hours Up because I was times. flying. To Vegas, bitch? How long's that flight? Flying. Yet we had sent an email two days before. I talked to Vince. You know why he didn't see this email? They sent it to some random fucking email for his, like, manager. He didn't even, it didn't even go to his box. And by the way, remember how he said... I will say it is really funny that XQC doesn't have any stock in the idea that people like Vince or whoever would... Have any like trepidation about going after a big creator because of what can happen. And then he, like, publicly blasts him. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Thanks, dude. That's a Appreciate great point. Yeah. 10x. Here's his editor reaching out. I can compensate you for the full revenue. Oh, really, bitch? What happened to 10x? <sighs> Why don't you open with that, you fucking scammer? <laughs> um, Snake rat. So here he shows, I guess, him saying Ms. Kiff showing love. Again, where's the tweet of him saying, Thanks, XQC, for reacting to my video? Why didn't you show that one? Because he fucking doesn't like the way you react to his video. <clears throat> yeah. Um, he also sent him a DM. Him. And by the way, I know, <laughs> Felix, you see those DMs because I, when I type you shit, you respond within five seconds. <laughs> well, you know, he's he's out there flexing on you. Flexing on his haters. <laughs> Bro, uh, he, has his whole house. he has your whole house on his wrist, okay? And then... Yeah, he yeah that worked out. The great move. Yep. Yeah.
He goes, I th thought I'd stay silent and let the storm pass, but no, everyone jumped on that bag one. It's currently spreading lies. I'm coming for you. Awesome, dude. Really cool fucking job here of making good on, on the way you steal content. Yeah. Scum. Scumbag, dude. Scum. Petulant fucking child. Hassan, defend your friends. Go. Incapable <laughs> of taking I think if you, any criticism. I think uh, the way XUC presented himself, if he... Uh, if he actually was like, oh yeah, I'll make amends and, uh, you know, responded to Vince's DM and was like, here, give me your PayPal. Uh, and then, and then replied with, uh, a, a, a way to make amends. How the fuck does it take you this long to say, give me a PayPal and I'll compensate you. <laughs> what's happening to you? Do you, are you having a know. stroke? Like, what's going on? I think that this, I feel would, like this I'm having a stroke. It should like, be a little bit different, be considering that that would mean that he is actually fulfilling what he told you on the stream. I mean, listen, which I think is what you're. I mean, I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah, I'd be if I was XQC after that conversation, I'd be pretty motivated to pay that guy immediately. Ethan is 110 billion percent correct. It's it's not only an ethical yeah. thing to do, but it, good God, it looks good. If you just said, "Give me a PayPal," and you paid him like a thousand dollars. You said that hopefully that yeah. covers it. You know, and, and fuck it, you could go even further, like ten thousand, and just be like, I, uh, you know, surely that's covered it. If you feel like you deserve more, then let me know. And we can sort it out. That would go a hell of a lot of a way instead of publicly blasting about your Twitter account. Well, yeah. after all of this, it's like good job. Yep. And then going to Vegas and lose a million, <laughs> which is another factor Why on top, not? which is kind of Why not? hilarious. And not wait two days, and then lie and said it's only been twelve hours. Such a scumbag, dude. I hate that guy. You want to know why I, I have a <laughs> Texas dog? Texas to in Vegas this fight? is three hours. You want to know why I have a dog in this fight? Love Quote to know. It's not to like defend sure XCC or whatever. Anyway. It's because I do worry that if more rigorous DMCA protocols oh, no, are no, implemented no, on Twitch in a similar automated times. fashion to YouTube, the live streaming on that website would be rendered useless because. That's one part of the reason why YouTube live streaming is so difficult. I just can't fucking believe he's actually like fear mongering about DMCA's being used more and more when he's uh, the one, along with the rest of the chuckle fucks, that is stealing everyone's fucking IPs. To accomplish, and you I know this it. better than anybody else. Um, Lots of people do it. I do it. Yeah, I know, but it's not the same as live streaming on Twitch. Yeah, oh, uh, if it more effort, which is sign which is dominant in the live streaming uh, it, sphere. If it happens, it will be because of people like XQC. True. Yes. It's not Earth. the fault of the people who are DMCAing at that point. It's the ones that have been wrong, or the wrongdoers, yeah. who just sit there and watch full episodes of Hunter Hunter. Yeah, and maybe we should socially ostracize them. That could be a good idea. Yeah, yes. that'd be great. Yeah, watch don't the give bucket. them podcasts. Oh Super yeah, Bowl. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or You're right about that. Back, yes. The Dark Knight. There you go, Hassan. He said he's right. Now we can move on, right? Again, yeah. Be, yeah. if it happens, is a result of that of the what is actually happening there. React channels. They've taken over you. Oh god. So this, this this is a little addendum. I think I find funny. This is called this channel's called Man Carrying Thing, and uh, he made a video about React channels. This is gonna be his his opinion on the matter. Ooh, okay. All Let's right. Check it out. YouTube for quite a while. Recently, there's been some controversy revolving streamers and reacting to YouTube content. Basically, YouTubers who are uploading original content are getting them reacted to by streamers. And the react. I don't know if he's this is his normal editing or if he's trying to evoke the time yeah, was... of like original YouTube because this. this so is... many cuts. Yeah, this kind of jump cutting. Words. Yeah. Feels classic I hope, YouTube. I hope almost. it's. Now, I personally have had some of my videos reacted to by streamers, and I have no issue with it. If anyone wants to react to my videos, they are welcome to it. But I also understand why some YouTubers don't like that. It's a very complex issue. I do want to look at the subject from all angles, and you know, I think XQC has a very interesting video, uh, added insight to the conversation, and hopefully, I, I can uh, you know critique and we can analyze some of what's going on here, and, and hopefully, learn more about the the subject. So. So this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to get his uh, in-depth take analysis wow. uh, based like, on okay. what XQC has to add to the conversation first. So he's going to break it down for us. going to give us some transformative content I'm based excited. on XQC Word stuff. breakdown. Let's take a look. Let's see. Uh, I got to grab something. I'll be right back. <laughs> right back. I saw that this and I had like 100k likes. Okay. People have been done about this. Okay. Uh, people are forgetting human nature. Okay. People want to sit the computer, open the one link, okay, have it on, have it on a second monitor, and play games and whatever, okay? That's what streams are about. 
Streams are shit content. <laughs> Uh, uh, streams geez. are shit okay. content. I'm tired of referring to his own job as oh shit. My God. Streams are shit content. Oh, well, I think ours are pretty great. I like ours, yeah. Streams, yeah. Shit. in their entirety, are shit content. Only oh. only about 1% of the time, or about 5%, <laughs> the content is going to be good enough, okay? Or it's going to be... It's gonna be main, main monitor content. Nobody wants to fucking switch channels 80 times like you're on a TV. Okay, so there. That's my, that's my talk. That, that's, this is my talk. Nobody wants to switch channels like they're on a TV. It's just like, what the mm -hmm. fuck, man? <laughs> how did, how did no, we, I am the one like, to switch the it. channels for you? I'm the good guy. How did we get I'm here? I'm your remote control. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I need to react shit, okay? Jungle. Yes, a lot of it is just watching it. Because that's what chat wants. If I commentate too much, chat gets fucking bored as chat gets mad if I got oh, any wow, videos that, that I make that, that are full, he's, that are full. Little, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Oh, I don't give a fuck. The money is so little on that end. I, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to play on top of the box, right? Because there's, if there's nothing in the box, it'll bow down a bit yeah. where the weight mm -hmm. of the Jenga tower is pressing. Relatively clear, he main, wanted man. it to fall. Yeah. <laughs> what? But that's yeah. not the point of Jenga. Or the your own rules. What is he? It's like, well, that's like well, corrupted content. That means that what kind of madness is this? Where we're all this making up our own thing. Jenga rules? What kind of who wants to live in that kind of world? If I go play Jenga with someone, then damn it, I think there needs to be an understanding that the objective is not for the Jenga tower to fall down. Well, you play this ball guy's Jenga? Like, oh, regular Jenga. Ball, 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 <laughs> ball <laughs> Jenga. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't think I've played ball Jenga. But well, it sounds lost. like something that would make me make me angry. Maybe it <laughs> would. Don't give a shit. <sighs> so yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Man that carrying thing. Crazy. He makes lots of funny, funny videos. Check him out. I don't support what? this Jenga, Ugh. he wants it to fall down kind of thing, though. I don't... No. I just don't... Well, I it's can't funny support that. If he watched, like, a 30-minute XQC video and just played Jenga in the background, that... I mean, you can make a strong argument that that's parody and thus protected completely by fair use. Oh. Yes. That's it for the next chapter of the React Wars. Uh, chapter... Is that chapter... Which which chapter is this? Is it six, uh, one, and then which... two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think this is six. Chapter Aren't six. Aren't I glad that I'm finally part of the? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Give it a Are year you... and we'll was... do, do it again. Yeah, I, I hope that it was everything no. you thought it would be <laughs> and more. Sure. I hope oh, that it was God. grandiose beyond your wildest imaginings. Yeah. So basically, yeah, react harder. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope you guys learned something to react today. Harder. Uh, uh, it's so funny because it drags in all these crazy characters and, and they all say yeah. such insane things. <laughs> it's like, they all suck. They all need to start a big TV show. Please the don't. B team. I don't think I'd watch it though. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, if they had to live together and interact with each other and like they would each rip other, each other apart. They'd be like, oh, oh, yeah. it's like um, I, big I brother, but they have to. People hate us. They have to react the mm. hardest. That's the challenges. Like a TV <laughs> show, and then they'll have to go like, "Whoa, this chat! Do you see this? Just, chat, look at this." And chat, chat house. is a little robot that walks around, and his face is all of chat. And they all have to like try and tempt him to follow them. Like whoever the other robot ends up following gets more points, you know. Oh, and the, and the chat would vote. Like, yeah, and it's like, oh, look at me, I'm jumping up and down, look at me, chat, and chat's like, whoa, he's jumping up and down, and someone else is like, I'm in the it's toilet, chat, you see me want to go to the toilet? Cool. Yeah. I'm doing the worm, I'm doing the worm, doing the let's go. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. We've designed it, there you go, that's the show. And the chat is controlled by, like, you know, all of the viewers putting in a command for who to follow, and then the, the top, right. you know, corrected one, the robot follows them. It was all fair. Yeah, we did it. It's a million dollar idea. Billion dollar. No. Trillion dollar. Oh my god, there's so much money. And then everyone will stream it. And restream it. We can buy it. the rights we'll restream to all Jenga the streams. Fucking fix the world. In. Then we'll take down all of the streams and combine them into one video and re-upload that. And it'll just be... It'll, it'll be Nirvana. We will have reached it. Like, as long as we're taking down streams and not Jenga Tower. Yeah. Not now, my stream, though. My streams are cool. It's time Your once again to probably right. talk for the vinyl figure. I'll take it. That's right.
the vinyl figures, that's high tier content. Because we have we have flushed out all the old viewers and now all the new ones are in now. None of you guys who are currently right. watching were here at the beginning. Guaranteed. Oh my god, what if that's how it worked? Every time a new person joins, it boots out someone who's already been here. Yeah. Jesus. Wow, that's awful. Yeah. Anyway, this no is real the mean one. Bringing that up, but... Mutually. Final figure. Ooh. Ooh, hey. Wow, look at you go. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, this is the Rags guy. one. Wow. Uh, Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, man. Good look boy. at that dog. Good Jeez. Boy. This is the Fringy one. Look at him. Got some... Got some look. Amazing. Look at him. Pretty happy. Little... Yeah. That's right. This one's me in my box. Safe. You know, warm. Keeping an eye on things. No dust is getting to me. This box. No, no jars. No way. Just box. Uh, just box. Rags in his box. You can always beat Rags dust, in his though. box. Rags in his box. This is my house where I live until you buy me. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe even for a while after that, 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 too. Yeah. That's true. Keep maybe me forever. forever. Yeah. You heard what I said earlier about the whole heirloom thing. Keeping you fresh. And it's the fringy one. Yodi. Look at that. Um, Wonderful. Whoa, Beautiful. Crazy. Links are in the description. And yes, yes indeed. You yeah, you grab should go and you should press too, that link with your mouse button. Because they won't be around forever. And if you grab mm, the collection together, you get yourself What's a your nice discount. Excuse? Remember, you get a good old discount if you get all three. Yes, yeah, Sitch That's has right, bought 15%. them. right, 15%. If Sitch can buy them, that means you guys, you gotta catch up to him. Because he's not even, yeah. even watch EFAP. He hates this. He's like, ugh, movies. I do. You don't even like I'm movies, I'm the most right? parasocial, okay? At the yeah. moment, so you better catch up. Well, cringe. Beautiful. <laughs> Which, you know, is a good way to segue into being like, hey, Sitch, why don't you tell them where they can find you and what you're up to, even though you were here last week. It doesn't matter. They don't remember. And you were yeah, on us? Yeah, have happened since then. I was on when you. When we were and on you. Guys you. Been on, yeah, you, were on, you were on me. You were literally <laughs> on me. Um... You can find us, me and Adam, at the Sitch and Adam Show. <gasps> oh my god! Is it 4 p.m. Eastern? Oh my god! Wait, what days? On on Tuesdays oh, and Sunday what? Sunday and Tuesdays. Sunday and Tuesday. Sunday and Tuesday. So there isn't one for right. ages. Who cares? <laughs> well, that's right. We're nearly no as far away Sunday. from it as we can get. Yeah. It's, it's the Sitch nearly, and Adam Show. Nearly, not quite, but nearly. Not the Adam and Sitch Show. Okay, don't let Mahler <laughs> tell you this. Wait, fake you news, told Adam Jack. that you're switching the name? No, that's what you want to tell him. Oh. Uh, is he listening right now? Adam, I believe it's called Probably Adam Probably not. Sitch. You need to He's make it He's working on the comic. He feels very guilty. How's that coming along, by the way? Cormic. Good. But, you know. Good. Good, but, you I mean, know. Yeah, it, do, it do be a grind. <laughs> awesome. It's, it's a grind. I don't know. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. He said yeah. good, but, you know. It makes me wonder. Well, you know. Well, he... I just I feel bad for him. It's just like every day he's just slaving away. Mm. He's like gonna he's like literally gonna cripple his body. I'm like, stop it, Adam. Don't don't hurt yourself for the comic. It's not worth it. Don't do it, Adam. And he's like, Sitch, I have to do it. I have to do it for the fans. Oh, Hey metal. Anything and Hello. Sitch will do anything for his fans. I did it. Let nah, the world know what you're really up mean. to. Where can they find wow. you? Well, I'm just Gleaming around. No, I'll, uh, I'll probably do some strumbling tomorrow. Uh, still working away on a video. Hopefully I can start the, the visual editing next week. That should work out, uh, I think. Uh, so hopefully soon people will know what the video is actually about. Woo. Whoa. So that's cool. Yeah, probably going to play some more Armored Core for Ansa tomorrow evening and uh then next i think next week already is armored core six so yeah it's next friday so that's gonna be on the list so gaming be happening and uh yeah that's just, just working away just working away we gaming boys nice hey. you gonna you gonna fraudge fraudge oh yeah yeah right i'm gonna do the the Froge? the, the beat 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 beetle man the beetle man uh, that's next week. Green uh, beetle? I, I coaxed in. Oh, sorry, red beetle. beetle. I don't know. Red beetle, yeah. No, blue, blue, I, blue I beetle. I still don't think you're right about that, yeah. Ugh, you don't have the El blue Escarabajo one. El Escarabajo Azul? Yeah, what Rack said. I coaxed in me <laughs> and, and, and Mark to, to watch it, and we're going to do a little fortunate sometime next week. Uh, They're paid actors, oh. though. 
They are. That's the only explanation now. for them wanting to go see Blue Beetle. They're paid by exposure, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That's a reference to another. Oof and uh, high. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn it, Mark is in chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be happening. Links both their channels and the channel uh, of the dev in Discrapsian. Uh, rags, Freaky, what did, what did you, you guys want to say anything before we go away? Boy, I was just thinking about how cool those vinyls were, and I wish that there was a way for me to acquire all three of them for a 15% discount mm -hmm, and display mm -hmm. them prominently in my house well, or you're bathroom in luck. or living room, or maybe what it would be like if I bought multiples of them and distributed them mm -hmm. amongst friends and family so that they too could experience the joy of every frame of pause every day even when we're not live every week on saturdays beginning at 1 p.m central but what was the question he didn't say 50 percent. <laughs> he said 15 good god yeah 15 percent almost said he said 50 it's like no, I didn't. <laughs> and if i did i didn't so what, what was yeah. the what was the question there? Is there anything you want to mention? You got to the anything audience? that you got to announce that you're working on? You know the um, thing you do like every end of EFAP? It's job, so. yeah. I game. do have some things I'm working on. Yeah, I do have some things I'm working on. <laughs> um, I may have figured out uh, a, a solution to my computer issue, which means now I can render videos. That's cool because for a while here, I, I it wouldn't just it just wouldn't render videos. I could work on them, but I'd try to render them and it just wouldn't. So I think I've got that fixed. So I'm going to try and be putting out a lot of dog bite stuff in particular. Uh, I'm working on a big video for the main channel, and that's going to be that's going to be a long boy, probably four hours when all said and done. Um, but we're no stranger to long videos here at Every Frame of Pause. Yeah. Um, I suppose though, I'm not going to give any more specifics because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to set myself up for that kind of thing. You know, I'm a free spirit. I'm just a tumbleweed going where the mm. wind blows. Where will I be tomorrow? Who knows? He's just an easygoing drifter, that that rags. Who knows what he'll be up to? You just gotta... <laughs> just Somebody gotta stop see. him. Uh, no, well, I can't be stopped. He's a sonning. <laughs> he's a sonning. I guess... Uh, he's a sonning. I've been working on a little cartoon, which will hopefully be done soon. It'll be done before good old anniversary, which reminds me, I probably should have let people know I made a cartoon about a cat throwing a ball <laughs> that Ooh. I've yet to mention. Ooh. Wow. But, uh, I, I saw that. That was fun. I've seen it I'm too. I'm glad it's you good. thought it was fun. Yeah, on dubious sanity. Wait, do I have a... Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, does that create the... Yeah, there you go. It's about a cat throwing a ball, but it doesn't pan out, and I'm making another one, but it's not like that one at all, and it'll be done soon. It's a uh, ball throwing a cat. Whoa. Maybe it will pan out. Uh, maybe in the sequel, but, you know, <laughs> if there is one. Oh, my goodness. It's the, it's the, the age of sequels, I suppose. Mm -hmm. No original the... ideas anymore. When's the remaster? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> or the life, will life will the frame rate adaption? be better on the remaster? Or will it still be, you know? But, you know, depends. Oh yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's about it. <laughs> Obviously, again, vinyls. Take a look. Pick Please them up do. if you think they, they look, look neat, which I think they are very cool. And make sure you yes. get that set because that gets you the discount. And we got a uh, we got good old anniversary coming up soon. Yes. Uh. So tomorrow <laughs> I got open bar. Of course, you'll see me streaming then, talking about movies and such Ooh. and whatnot. Uh, this Friday, I may or may not be appearing on Friday Night Tides to talk about that Beatle movie, which means I have to see it, <laughs> which is gonna be, I don't know, fucking, I guess, I guess, why not? And then, of course, Saturday, there is no EFAP, as you would have seen by the title of this one, it is the one before the anniversary, and it's not anniversary time yet on Saturday, it'll be video time, we're popping out <gasps> the, uh, the Ant-Man video, the fabled... Ant-Man video, which is ready to go. It's been proof to hell and back after every single gosh darn long process. Uh, me and Fringy have worked on it for a very long time, and it'll be neat yep. for you guys to see it. Um, my expectation well, would, would be... but I'm not there on Saturday. Wow! 
Yeah, Racism. you have to move it, so otherwise I will never watch it because it's gone forever after he premiered. <laughs> My God. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, it, was, it would be six or seven p.m. BST probably starting it. I guess I'm not 100 percent sure of when I would start it yet, but that'd be the Plorn. It is a six-hour video, and it is now guaranteed beyond a crazy circumstance to come out probably 6 p.m. on Saturday. BST. BST is the time zone. 6 p.m. If you want to make time for British it, that's the time you need to make time. for it. It'll be a long boy. Very, it's very long, long boy. Um, and yeah, and then uh, the following week, following Saturday, it'll be the EFAB 5th anniversary, where we will cover plenty of videos, have plenty of guests. That's like a four-hour stream, right? Um... Yeah, four, yeah. With a two at the beginning, but... Yeah, that's... Four, yeah, that's fair. Um, hopefully we'll make it. I'm sure we will. We always do. And who knows what we will cover. 250 episodes of this crazy show we call EFAP. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, that probably sums up everything, other than, of course, as mentioned, the vinyls, of which you can find links to in the description if you want to check them out. Other than that, thank you all so much for joining us. Really do appreciate it. Uh, well, good night. Uh, we shall see you soon enough, because all kinds of things mm -hmm. are coming out. Mm -hmm. yep. Bye bye, everybody. Bye, yeah, see goodbye, you later, everybody. everybody. Bye, boy. Bye, Red. See you later. <laughs> goodbye. Hello. <laughs> see ya. Bye.